Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 3NITC 30% Chapter 91 Sasuke's Will Naruto John in Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Hey, kid. What are you doing at my door? Naruto walked into Konohamaru and asked condescendingly. Konohamaru looked disappointed and asked with indignation. I heard that you found someone from outside to take over the Hokage position of grandpa? Yeah. Naruto replied casually, seeming not to care about Konohamaru's mood. Why? Konohamaru obviously raised his voice. Why do you need someone from outside to succeed grandpa as Hokage? Naruto is speechless. Does Konohamaru really regard Hokage as Serutobi's? The person who takes over the fifth Hokage is called Senju Tsunade, the granddaughter of Konoha's first Hokage, a disciple of your grandfather, who is stronger than your grandfather, do you have any opinions? Naruto said lightly. Konohamaru was stunned for a moment, why had he never heard of such a number one person? What you said is true. Konohamaru looked at Naruto and asked in a daze. Naruto. Even if it's not true, it's not your turn to worry about it. You are just the grandson of third Hokage. You don't really think that the position of fifth Hokage will be inherited by you when you grow up? Konohamaru blushed, and he admitted that he did think so. Okay, go ahead and do what you need to do, don't bother me anymore, Naruto hurriedly said. Wait a minute, brother Naruto. Konohamaru regained his former anger, can you teach me to be strong? Naruto opened the door, entered, and said flatly, no. Boom. The sunlight received by the closed door reflected Konohamaru's shadow, making him look very lonely. Hito's teaching was simply too slow for Konohamaru. He didn't want this way of slowly becoming stronger in 963. He wanted to become stronger quickly to avenge his grandfather. But there are too few people who are willing to help him, and too few people he knows. Without Grandpa Hokage, those Konoha Janin will not talk to him much at all, let alone teach him things. Ah. Sighing, Konohamaru was about to leave. Suddenly, the door opened. Konohamaru thought that Naruto had changed his mind, and immediately said excitedly, Brother Naruto. Before he finished speaking, Naruto threw him a bag of trash and said, Take out the trash for me, thank you. Why? Konohamaru. Three days later, Konoha held the Hokage succession ceremony. On the high platform of the Hokage building, Tsunade gave a series of powerful speeches from a commanding position, which eased the anxiety of Konoha village residents in the past October. With such a powerful, famous and imposing new Hokage, Konoha will not fall down. On the day of taking office, Tsunade went into high-intensity work. In the middle of the night, Tsunade was getting ready to rest. There was a knock on the door. Come in, Tsunade said. Kakashi walked in with Naruto and little Sakura. Advertisement. Master Tsunade. Kakashi saluted. Tsunade glanced at Naruto, then waved his hand and said to Kakashi, Just talk about the matter, come to me? It's like this. Kakashi told Tsunade about Sasuke. The matter is about Uchiha Itachi, and has nothing to do with Sasuke. I don't think Sasuke should be treated rashly as a traitor, Kakashi said. Do you want me to release Sasuke? Tsunade asked, tapping his pretty fingers on the table. Yes, Kakashi said seriously with his head down. At the same time, small Sakura and Naruto said, I hope Master Tsunade can tell right from wrong. For today's situation, Naruto had already greeted Tsunade, so she said, I'll think about it. Master Tsunade. Okay, I'll let you know when it's decided. Tsunade interrupted Kakashi. Kakashi showed unwillingness, hesitated for a moment, and sighed. I see, Master Tsunade. Speaking of Kakashi was about to take Naruto and little Sakura to leave, Tsunade said again, Naruto, you stay here for a while, I have something to see you. Naruto returned an apologetic look to Kakashi and little Sakura, and let them go first. When only Naruto was left, he waved his hand and removed Anbu who was hiding beside him. Then he said to Shizun behind him, Shizun, it's too late today, you should go back first. Shizun looked at Tsunade and Naruto suspiciously, and said, I see, Tsunade-sama. After waiting for a while, after making sure that no one was around, Master, everything has been done according to your order. Tsunade handed a scroll to Naruto. This is a scroll that can enter Konoha prison. Well, you're doing well. Naruto put away the scroll and looked at Tsunade. Aren't you used to doing Hokage? Tsunade shook his head. There are too many tiring things. If I have to sit here and revise documents for the next few decades, 
I think my waist will not be able to support it first. Naruto came behind Tsunade and gently kneaded his back. Didn't you teach Shizune the medical skills of massage? Tsunade blushed, teaching, but Shizune is also very busy. The two of us work together to barely complete today's task. Then it seems that I will come here to give you massages often. Naruto laughed. Tsunade blushed even more and didn't answer. Just kidding. Naruto leaned closer and tapped Tsunade's lips lightly. I'm leaving, pay attention to rest. Tsunade looked at Naruto's leaving back. His eyes were full of light, I see, master. This is the horror of distinguished heavenly gods. People have tampered with will but are completely unaware, and will never be affected by environmental factors that changed will. After Naruto left the Hokage building, he went straight to Konoha prison. After passing the scroll that Tsunade gave him to Chunin, the guard, he saw Sasuke again. Why are you here? Sasuke's voice was flat, but somewhat surprised. Since he entered Konoha prison, no one has ever visited him. It's not that I don't want to come, it's that I can't. Advertisement now Naruto has a way to come in openly, which makes him very puzzled. I'm here to ask for your opinion, lest you say that my teammate is ruthless. Naruto laughed, and at the same time arranged a small barrier to prevent the sound from spreading. Sasuke looked at the enchantment and had a new understanding of Naruto's method. You are still the same as before, forever invisible, Sasuke said. Naruto smiled slightly, and didn't want to explain this matter, I have a way to get you out of here now, but you can choose not to go out. Sasuke frowned slightly, not understanding what Naruto meant. What does it mean that I can choose to stay here? If possible, no one would want to stay in such a place, right? If you go out, you will naturally go back to Konoha and continue to perform tasks in class 7, but Orochimaru will send someone to pick you up soon, I think you will follow for the sake of strength, right? Sasuke looked at Naruto flatly and didn't answer. And if you choose to stay here, Orochimaru will also come to you. I don't know how you choose. The difference between the two is only that the former Sasuke can be free for a longer period of time, and deepen some of the fetters in Konoha. Sasuke thought for a while and asked, How did you know that Orochimaru would come to me? Naruto touched his neck and said, Do you think the one he left on your neck is a tattoo? Sasuke subconsciously touched his neck, was silent for a while, and said, I choose to stay here. Okay. Naruto seemed to have expected it long ago, it seems that you plan to completely cut off the connection with Konoha, but that's okay, you will have to take revenge on Konoha sooner or later. What do you mean? Sasuke was puzzled. You'll know later. Naruto doesn't want to spoil the spoiler. Before I leave, let me tell you one more good thing. Orochimaru can't wait to transfer his new body. I'm afraid he will have replaced it by the time he comes to you body. So you have three years to become stronger, and if you don't surpass Orochimaru within three years, then you will become his next body. After speaking, Naruto removed the barrier, turned and left. Sasuke firmly kept Naruto's words in his heart, and muttered to himself. Do I have three years? Kakashi waited for several days after returning home but was not summoned by Tsunade. Just when Kakashi felt that Sasuke's affairs were dirty, Tsunade finally summoned their seventh class. On this day, Kakashi came to the Hokage building with seven remaining two people. Since you lack one person in the seventh class, and Naruto's strength has reached Jonin, so in order to make better use of your strength, I decided to let Naruto form a team of its own, referred to as the Naruto team. The team members have. Wait. Please wait a moment, Master Tsunade. Kakashi wondered, you mean I don't need to lead the class anymore? Of course. Dot not. Tsunade said holding the document, you will continue to lead this class of ninja graduates, of course if the genin selected for you is not qualified, I will in addition, I will arrange three chunin for you. Kakashi was a little helpless, he still wanted to lead his familiar trio of Sasuke, Naruto and little Sakura. But now there seems to be no way. If that's the case, then I don't want to be the leading Jonin anymore. Disciples like the three of Naruto who make him happy are hard to come by. Tsunade thought for a while and said, okay, then you can participate in missions as an independent Jonin in the future. But considering your personal problems, you must perform missions with other ninjas when you handle missions above B-level. Understand? Understood. Kakashi sighed. Mr. Kakashi, don't be so sad. We are leaving your class now. You should be happy. Naruto comforted Kakashi while biting a lollipop. Advertisement Kakashi looked at Naruto with a smile that was uglier than crying, and thought, You really miss the old love, Naruto and little Sakura. Tsunade got up and came to little Sakura, and asked, would you like to be my disciple? It was naturally arranged by Naruto for little Sakura to learn art from Tsunade, 
otherwise it would be absolutely impossible for Tsunade to accept little Sakura as an apprentice given the current situation of Tsunade. How is it possible that they are not relatives? Little Sakura was taken aback for a moment, and then said pleasantly, is it true? Tsunade laughed. Naturally it is true. Little Sakura glanced at Naruto, then hesitated and said, then after I become a teacher, which class am I in? After Kakashi saw the little Sakura's little action, he felt chilling. For so many years, don't you think that my teacher has no weight in your hearts? Wu, XOX. Belongs to Naruto's class. If you want to go out on a mission, you go out with Naruto, Tsunade said. Well, then I would like to worship Master Tsunade as a teacher, little Sakura said happily. Under normal circumstances, if a little Sakura is so hypocritical, the relationship between master and apprentice may be broken. But who made Naruto give the order? Tsunade had to obey. After accepting apprentices, Tsunade took out a document and read. The members of the Naruto team are Mitarashi Enko, Tenten, Hayuga Neji, and Haruno Sakura. Considering that there are only two people left in Might Guy's team, and Naruto's team just needs to be reorganized, Tsunade pulls Tianshin and Neji over. Naruto although the strength is passed, the ability to be a Jonin is still to be discussed. Therefore, the team members given to him are all genin with certain experience and strength. 1.5 Teacher, why are there four people? Haruno Sakura asked a little puzzled. You will study with me as my student for the next two years, and you will have fewer opportunities to go on missions. You will be considered as a floating member of the Naruto team, Tsunade explained. Hearing that I will see Naruto less in the future, little Sakura was a little disappointed, oh. Tsunade ignored little Sakura's loss, she still wanted to fight for favor. How could she guess what little Sakura thought? Then this is the arrangement for you. Kakashi stays, Naruto and little Sakura go back first. Tsunade said. Kakashi, I'm sorry about what happened to Sasuke. Tsunade sat on the chair and said, although I know it's unfair to judge Sasuke as a traitor because of Uchiha Itachi, but I. Just succeeding Hokage, some things I said don't count. Tsunade blamed the two advisors for not being able to release Sasuke. I see. Kakashi sighed, I'll go first if it's okay. Wait a minute. Looking at Kakashi's lonely back, Tsunade couldn't bear it. Is there anything else, Master Tsunade? Kakashi stopped and asked. I'll fight for you about Sasuke, Tsunade said. Thank you Tsunade-sama. Eleven Kakashi said gratefully. This news is the only good news for Kakashi today. But he didn't know that Tsunade lied to him about the only good news. As long as Naruto doesn't speak for a day, Sasuke can't be released from Konoha prison. And for Naruto to speak, Sasuke must speak first. Chapter 92 Naruto Team Gathering Official Teaching Mitarashi Enko. Previous chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Naruto Squad. With the consent of 5th Hokage Tsunade, Naruto became the newly promoted Janin, responsible for leading the team. Hayuga Neji, Tenten, Mitarashi Enko, and Haruno Sakura. Among them, Sakura is an irregular member of Naruto's team because she wants to learn from Tsunade. On the first day of the formation of the team, everyone including little Sakura had to meet together. Training Ground 66, this will be the rendezvous point for the Naruto team going forward. Mitarashi Anko, especially Janin, I am good at summoning and poison. Mitarashi Anko has the most straightforward character and is very familiar with new players. Afterwards, the optimistic Tianchen accepted this self-introduction. My name is Tianchen, and my dream is to become a female ninja like Master Tsunade, a hidden weapon I am good at. My name is Hayuga Neji, and I am good at Taijutsu. Without the influence of Naruto's mouth, Hayuga Neji is still a cool genius. Haruno Sakura, because I have to learn from Master Tsunade in the future, I will have fewer opportunities to participate in missions. Haruno Sakura really doesn't have any abilities worth boasting about, so I can only make this kind of introduction. My name is Uzumaki Naruto, and I am good at Taijutsu, Illusion, Ninjutsu, Sealing. I will be the captain of your team from now on. Four inches is there anything this guy isn't good at? Well, we met for the first time today, and I don't have any good presents for everyone. I can only give you some lollipops, I hope you like it. 23, is this guy still a kid? Although they thought so in their hearts, the three of them accepted Naruto's greeting gift honestly. As for little Sakura, with her relationship with 18 Naruto, there is no need to give gifts so politely. After the three of them accepted the gift, Mitarashi Enko unpacked the candy and ate it. Hmm, it's sweet. Although it's not as good as meatballs, it's still good, Mitarashi Enko commented. Seeing this every day, 
I also opened the package and ate one, huh, minus sour. Tien Tien doesn't like to eat sour food, but he glanced at Naruto, and still didn't spit out the sugar in his mouth. In the end, only Neji was left. Seeing that both of his companions ate Naruto's greeting gift, he really enjoyed it. So he opened the package expressionlessly, threw a piece of candy into his mouth, and bit down. He didn't intend to keep it in his mouth, but to bite it into pieces and swallow it in two bites, but Neji obviously made a mistake. The lollipop that Naruto gave him is a rare spicy lollipop. Neji took a bite, and the capsaicin inside the lollipop poured out and filled his mouth directly. The strong irritating taste made Neji spit it out directly, pinched his throat with both hands, his face was flushed, and he spit out several mouthfuls of saliva. Advertisement, ah, what is this? Neji said with a grim expression. Tianshin. Neji, are you okay? Mitarashi Enko subconsciously took out the lollipop in her mouth, she didn't want to eat something strange. Spicy lollipop, you are honored to be its second taster. Naruto smiled and handed Neji a glass of water. Neji immediately took it, and took a few big gulps into his mouth, and he didn't recover until there was no more water in the glass. Are you the first to eat this lollipop? Neji asked. No, the first one is Konohamaru. Naruto smiled maliciously. Neji. Q. What should I do if I encounter a scary captain? Answer. Cold salad o, 1 carrot 1 plus. 0 It was the first time that Neji missed Might Guy's youth so much, but because of Shao Li, Might Guy has temporarily bid farewell to the mission. Now he has been busy taking care of Li, waiting for Master Tsunade's surgery. And even if Shao Li recovers gradually, Might Guy will not be in charge of their class again, but will be arranged to team up with Kakashi to perform tasks above the grade. Then the gift-giving session is over. Let me tell you about the rules of my team. Naruto took out a scroll in a dignified manner, and a lot of words were densely written on the scroll. So many rules. Neji's expression became serious, he finally saw something serious in Naruto. The first rule of the Naruto squad, obey the captain's orders 100%. The second rule of the Naruto team, um, there is no second rule. Oops. Several people fell to the ground one after another. They found out, Naruto is an idiot. Finally, let me talk about the captain's order, training, and waiting tasks. Do you understand? Naruto said. Understood. Four inches, little Sakura, you can go back to Tsunade's training, you don't need to participate in my training, Naruto said. Well, then I'll leave first. Little Sakura will have very few chances to appear in the team before she officially makes her debut. After little Sakura left, Neji practiced martial arts and practiced hidden weapons every day, and Mitarashi Anko came to Naruto. Tell me, what are we practicing today, Master? Mitarashi Anko shouted to Naruto with a displeased face. Master? Advertisement this breath caught Neji's attention. Why would a special Jonin in his twenties call a twelve-year-old Jonin Master? And why exactly did Naruto become Jonin? What about strength? These questions became something that both Neji and Tianshin were curious about. You are good at fighting with the summoning technique as the center, so the things you have to learn are naturally related to the summoning beast. As Naruto said, he raised his hand in mudra, summoning technique. Boom. A big snake appeared. Your training task is to subdue it, come on. Naruto patted Anko's shoulder, and then dodged to make room for Anko and Orochi. Anko looked at the big snake in front of him, with cold sweat dripping down his forehead. This big snake is the real strength of Jonin, how to fight it? The answer is to bite the bullet and fight. The big snake attacked Anko first, raised its tail and swept away. Anko used his flexible body to jump up and dodge, and stepped on the body of the big snake by the way. Shulker snake hand. Anko ran on the body of the big snake, and released countless small snakes from his hands to bite the big snake. But the big snake had rough skin and thick flesh, and the little snakes couldn't break through its defense at all. Instead, they were all crushed into a meat paste by the big snake rolling over. At the same time that the big snake rolled, Mitarashi Anko also lost his support and jumped off it. Has Chen Mao Yin. Fire style. Dragon fire technique. Seeing that his snake was useless against the big snake, Anko could only use other ninjutsu to fight back. Among other ninjutsu, fire style is the one she is best at. The meteor-like flames rushed towards the big snake. The big snake glanced coldly, and then swung its tail and hit it. The sea-level fire style was swept away by the big snake one tail. So strong. Tian Tian and Neji looked at the big snake and said in surprise. 
For both of them, this serpent of Jonan's strength is a corner of Naruto's display of strength. But it's this corner that leaves a special Jonan helpless. Then Mitarashi Anko, who lost his means, fought hand to hand with Orochi for a period of time. Even though Anko used exquisite skills, he was still far behind Orochi's absolute strength. Advertisement her taijutsu is not good enough, and neither is ninjutsu. I am really ashamed of the title of this special Jonan. After blocking the fatal blow of Orochi on Anko, and then sending Orochi back to Ryuchi Cave, Naruto looked at Mitarashi Anko and said, Your attack method is too simple, since you are good at fire style. So let's practice two fire styles starting tomorrow. Quote. I see, Sensei. Mitarashi Anko said, wiping off his sweat. If you know that training is exhausting, don't wear so much. Besides highlighting your figure, are there any other benefits to this net shirt? Naruto complained to Anko. Anko blushed, turned 110 and pretended not to hear. Net clothes were worn by her since she was a child, and now she is really reluctant to change her style. The training on Mitarashi Anko's side was temporarily suspended, and Naruto looked at Tiantian and Neji again. What are you two looking at? Want to practice against Orochi? Tien Tien decisively shook his head, while Neji was eager to try. He wondered how far he was from the Orochi, which even the special Jonin couldn't hurt. I want to try. Neji stood up and said. Neji. Although Tiantian always thought that Neji was a genius, this behavior still surprised Tiantian. A giant snake that was not even hurt by a Jonin, how dare you, a Jenin, do it? Are you sure? Naruto asked. I'm sure, Neji affirmed. Looking at Neji's serious eyes, Naruto thought for a while, and finally summoned a big snake. But this big snake is different from the previous one. The previous one was brown, but this one is pure black. Other than that, there is not much difference in strength between the two, and both are good at attacking like physical collisions. Neji saw that Naruto summoned another snake that was not weaker than the one just now, with a surprised expression on his face. Can this kind of summoning beast be caught without money? Inexplicably, Neji is also a little moved. If he can have a very strong summoning beast to help him fight, his strength can be improved by at least half a level. It's just that the big snake is said to come from Ruchi Cave, unless he worships Naruto as a teacher, he probably won't teach. Thinking of this, Neji dismissed the prying of the big snake. With Hayuga Neji's arrogance, it is absolutely impossible for him to trade face for strength. As for Mitarashi Anko's willingness to worship someone who is 12 years younger than him as a teacher, he is also very puzzled. What is the reason for this woman to pursue power so much? Chapter 93 Alternatives to Moonlight Gale Shai Hanada. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hayuga Neji made a Hayuga kick, and then rushed towards the black snake first. 8 trigrams 64 palms. After approaching the black serpent, Neji tried to hurt the serpent with his palm. But the big black snake just flicked its tail, and Neji's attack was forced to stop, and the whole person was forced to dodge in embarrassment. A giant beast with rough skin and thick flesh is too difficult to deal with. Neji gritted his teeth, and continued to rush towards the big snake from another angle. This time he wanted to use the big snake's blind spot to attack his head or eyes after getting close to the big snake. It's just that the idea is beautiful, but the reality is very skinny. Hayuga Neji scuttled around on the ground, and every time he managed to get close to the big snake, as long as the big snake rolled over with one death, or flicked its tail, his attack was completely in vain. In just one minute, Neji was hit by the big snake because of a mistake. The sweep of the huge tail is not something revolving heaven can stop. I saw Hayuga Neji being swept away by the huge tail, flew more than 10 meters away, and fell heavily to the ground. Neji. Tiantian ran towards Neji worriedly, but Naruto came one step ahead. At this time, Neji was not unconscious yet, but the blood spitting out of his mouth and the uncontrollable pain all over his body reminded him that he was no longer capable of fighting. He is still a long way from Jonin. Naruto checked him briefly, and then healed him with healing jutsu. Naruto, is Neji okay? Tien Tien worried. It's okay. Naruto replied casually while treating Neji. After two minutes, Naruto no longer uses healing jutsu. Okay, are you almost ready to stand up? Naruto asked. Neji nodded and stood up from the ground. Then you can rest here and continue training tomorrow. Naruto said and prepared to guide Tiantian. Wait a minute. Neji looked at Naruto and asked, Is there a weaker summoning beast? I want to try. 
For Neji, being able to practice against such a strong opponent every day is simply not too good. Advertisement in the past, he could only practice against Tian Tian, and Might Guy couldn't teach them. His focus was on Xiao Li, so his progress was slow. But if he can fight against these powerful summoning beasts every day in the future, then he is confident that he can defeat the big black snake within a year. Naruto looked at Neji and said, yes, but that's for tomorrow. After speaking, Naruto looked at Tiantian again, Tiantian, you also have some family ninjutsu. He always felt that Tiantian, who can use so many ninja tools as a grandmaster, is not an ordinary ninja, at least he should be a rich woman ninja. Tiantian shook his head and said, my family only has some scrolls recording how to use ninja tools, and there are also methods for making some special ninja tools. The method of making ninjas is obviously at least the heir of a ninja family. Well, if you are only good at ninja fighting, then you have to do two things, one is to enhance the destructive power of your ninja, for example, use more detonating symbols to fight. The other is to enhance your physical fitness, speed, and strength will determine how effective your ninja gear can be in battle. Tn Tn. Then what training should I do? It's mainly physical training. I think you can learn one or two tricks of Konoha fluid technique to enhance your melee combat ability and enrich your attack methods. Naruto said, as for ninja equipment, you need to explore it yourself. Can't help you with anything. But Captain Naruto, I don't know Konoha Ryu's taijutsu. Tiantian said. Didn't he teach you some martial arts when you were in Might Guy's class? Naruto asked curiously. Tian Tian blushed a little. Mr. Guy once wanted to teach us advanced gymnastics, but only Lee mastered it. Hmm. Naruto asked after some thought. Do you think you have a talent for swordsmanship? The next day, Naruto found a helper, Maoyang Shoyan. Since meeting Naruto at the training ground that day, the two still contact occasionally, and in Azuki Shian's words, it is to learn swordsmanship. But in Naruto's view, Azuki Shian regards herself as a substitute for Hayate. When the two meet each other with swords, Naruto can always see the gentleness she occasionally reveals, which is the yearning for Haifang. Naruto asked Tiantian to practice swords and didn't expect her to be able to learn the level of Azuki Shian, and he also didn't think Tiantian could learn Mikazuki dance or obscure Moonlight Knight. But as long as he knows how to dance the sword every day, and can bring out the value of the sword in battle, that is not a small progress. A master of basic swordsmanship will not be weaker than Chunin. Shian, Tiantian is counting on you. Naruto said to Shian. Shian stared at Naruto in a daze, then smiled and said, don't worry, I will definitely let Tiantian master Konoha Ryu's swordsmanship the fastest. On the other side, Mitarashi Anko looked at Azuki Yugao's attitude towards Naruto, feeling inexplicably amused. Take out a bunch of meatballs and eat four of them every day. Advertisement. While chewing, he complained. I have two girlfriends, and I'm still messing with flowers and grass everywhere. The brat will die in the flowers sooner or later. What did you say? Naruto's figure loomed from behind Mitarashi Anko. Mitarashi Anko trembled all over, and the ball in his mouth almost fell out of his mouth. After hastily chewing and swallowing the ball, Mitarashi Anko said with a smile, It's nothing, it's nothing, teacher, let's continue today's training task. Today Mitarashi Anko's training task is to learn some fire style, while Neji's task is to fight a toad whose strength is at the Chunin level. Each has its own arrangements, among which Mitarashi Anko is his personal disciple, and Naruto will personally teach. Come to a corner of the training ground, the fire style ninjutsu I'm going to teach you today is a very common fire style ninjutsu of the Uchiha clan, great fireball technique. Although this ninjutsu and dragon fire technique are both C-level ninjutsu, great fireball is more powerful, suitable for medium and short range attacks, and a very powerful and practical ninjutsu in fire style in a small range. Have not Shen Hai Noon Yin. Fire style. Great fireball technique. Demonstrated it to Mitarashi Anko, and talked to her about some theoretical stuff. The rest is up to her to learn by herself. Naruto hid in the distance, watching the training of several people bored. In this dull Jonin career, the only thing he finds interesting is the sweaty appearance of Mitarashi Anko practicing fire style in a white shirt. The sweat-soaked white shirt highlights the beauty of Mitarashi Anko's mature figure all the time. Mr. Naruto. A sudden cry caught Naruto's gaze. Hanada. Why are you here? Naruto stepped forward to hug Hanada and immediately attracted the attention of Azuki Yuyan, Mitarashi Anko and Tiantian. Mitarashi Anko's fire style suddenly misfired like an old man spitting. 
Azuki Shian made a mistake in swinging the sword, and almost cut to Tiantian. And Tiantian. Well, I don't know whether she was attracted by the movement of Naruto and Hanada, or was affected by Azuki Shian's mistakes, and she almost died. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Azuki Shian, who knew her teaching mistakes, immediately apologized to Tianshan. Tianshan patted his inconspicuous little chest, comforted himself, and said to Azuki Shian, It's okay, Senior Shian, let's continue. Yeah. Azuki Shian blushed and looked at Naruto's side again, and then continued to enter the training state. Advertisement to say that the only one who was not affected by the dog food of the two at all is Hayuga Neji. He was on par with a toad from beginning to end, and it was inseparable. Just like Naruto holding Hanada now, inseparable. Why are you here? Naruto asked while rubbing Hanada's hair. Hanada leaned her face on Naruto's chest, and whispered. After I finished the task my father gave me, I heard that you are now a Jonin, so I rushed over to see you as soon as possible. I will lead the team to carry out many tasks in the future, maybe we will not have so many opportunities to meet each other. Naruto also wanted to win Hanada over. But the team assignment is not up to Tsunade alone. Hayuga Hiyashi disagrees, and Tsunade can't force it. Hanada has already expected that there will be fewer meetings in the future, so she is not excited. Today's Konoha is still rebuilding politics, and it looks a little precarious from the outside. It is impossible for them to relax as ninjas. The two walked to a corner of the training ground, you and me. Ha! Huh. What kind of book is this? Hanada leaned, Jian Zhao's, on Naruto's shoulder, and accidentally saw a book in Naruto's clothes. Naruto took out the book and said solemnly, This is the proud work of teacher Jiraiya. Senior Jiraiya? Hanada was startled, that is an existence as famous as Hokage Senju Tsunade today. There must be something unique about a book written by such a person. With the spirit of exploration, Hanada took the book in Naruto's hand and read it silently. But after reading only a few chapters, Hanada blushed and returned the book to Naruto. Naruto-kun, you are dead. At night, the Naruto team went back to each house to fight. Naruto sends Hanada back to the Hyuga clan. Let's stop here, Naruto-kun. What will my father say further on? Hanada said with some frustration. Naruto stroked Hanada's cute little head and said with a smile. Don't worry, your father will definitely agree with me in the future. Naruto felt that if he just ran in and beat Hayuga Hiyashi, he would agree with him. However, for the sake of the relationship with his father-in-law in the future, Naruto gave up this plan. Watching Hanada walk into Hayuga's house slowly, Naruto turned to leave. An unexpected person stood in front of him. Hayuga Patriarch? Chapter 94. Hayuga Hiyashi's Shock A Level Mission Previous Chapter. Next chapter advertisement, Uzumaki Naruto Janin. I think we should have a serious chat. Hayuga Hiyashi spoke with a serious face. Naruto smiled, of course. The two looked straight into each other's eyes, as if the tip of a needle was pointing at a weed on. Hayuga Hiyashi said, Are you planning to continue like this with Hanada? Yes. Naruto replied, Hanada is going to be the patriarch. Hayuga Hiyashi said a little angrily. So is the head of the clan, she can't marry outside, right? Even the partner of her life can only choose a clan member, right? Naruto sneered. Hayuga Hiyashi doesn't take Naruto's ridicule to heart. In his opinion, outsiders can never understand the greatness of a group. I can't understand the sacrifice of the Hayuga branch house and the clan, let alone his difficulties as the head of the clan. That's the truth, Hanada she has to make sacrifices for the Hayuga family. Hayuga Hiyashi said in a deep voice. No, she doesn't have to. Naruto broke out with his aura while speaking. The terrifying momentum was controlled by Naruto and pressed on Hayuga Hiyashi. What power is this? Even third generation never gave me that kind of pressure. Hayuga Hiyashi stared at Naruto in horror, cold sweat dripping down his brow. I can seriously tell you that if you or your so-called Hayuga family force Hanada to do something, then there is no need for the Hayuga family to exist. You. I'm not kidding you, Hayuga Hiyashi. As long as I think about it, the Hayuga family will disappear in this Konoha overnight just like the Uchiha clan. And Hokage, will be on my side. How could Hokage be on your side? Hayuga Hiyashi thought Naruto was insane. Their Hayuga clan has always been a faction of Hokage, and now that they have no roots, it is even more impossible for them to stand against others. Compared to a Janin, a Jinchuriki, the entire Hayuga clan is definitely more important. It's just that this Janin's strength seems a little unexpectedly strong. Naruto didn't explain anything to Hayuga Hiyashi, just approached. 
Re627 Shang Hiyashi wanted to step back and go further, but his feet seemed to be bound by an invisible force. He cannot move. At this time, Naruto is only two steps away from Hayuga Hiyashi. The two looked at each other, and Naruto's eyes suddenly turned into Mangekio Sharingan. This, 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 this is, how is this possible? How do you have these eyes? As a high-ranking Konoha veteran, he has long known the Mangekio Sharingan of the Uchiha clan. Those are horrible eyes. These terrifying eyes belong only to the Uchiha clan. But now this pair of terrifying eyes appeared on Uzumaki Naruto, which made Hayuga Hiyashi feel even more terrifying. Mangekio disappeared, and everything just seemed to disappear in a flash. Advertisement, don't question my strength and influence, Chief Hayuga. After speaking, Uzumaki Naruto strayed away, leaving the stupid Hayuga Hiyashi standing there at a loss. Naruto didn't use illusions on him, nor did he use any attacks on him. But just the momentum Uzumaki Naruto released was enough to suppress him, and the ability he showed was enough to make him terrified. In a way, their Hayuga clan really can't afford to provoke Naruto. It's just that even if he realizes that this matter is useless, the entire Hayuga family will not realize how terrible Naruto is. Even if Hayuga Hiyashi said that Naruto surpassed Cage in strength and mastered Mangekio Sharingan in ability, those elders of the Hayuga clan would only think that Hayuga Hiyashi is old-fashioned and confused. Would not believe it at all. Who would believe that a Jinchuriki, a non-Uchiha guy, could perfectly master a pair of Mangekio Sharingan? And many more. The two consultants once said that the roots were destroyed in the hands of Uchiha Itachi, but now Uzumaki Naruto also has these eyes, it is not stipulated that only Uchiha Itachi can master this kind of pupil technique. Then Uzumaki Naruto is also suspected. What's more, this thing was done by him at all. Thinking about it carefully, even the roots of Konoha will be wiped out, by, by Naruto without anyone noticing. So what's the deal with his Hayuga clan? Of course the most important thing is that no matter what he says or does, other people will not doubt Uzumaki Naruto at all. Because he is a disciple of Jiraiya, not even Uchiha. And I don't know why, Uzumaki Naruto seems to be particularly valued by the fifth generation, otherwise he wouldn't have arranged for Naruto to be Jonin within two days of Jonin. Could it be that Naruto controlled fifth Hokage with those eyes? If that's the case, doesn't it mean that the entire Konoha is actually under Naruto's control now? Not daring to think about it anymore, I forcibly forgot my random thoughts just now. Whether this matter is true or not, Hihayuga Hiyashi has no ability to influence it. Regardless of whether it is true or not, as long as Hihayuga Hiyashi goes to prove it, Hihayuga Hiyashi, his family will be destroyed. He absolutely did not believe that Naruto would let them go for Hinata's sake. This kid has so many girlfriends, one can imagine the status of Hinata in his heart? Hey, where will the sleepy leaves go in the future? Sighing, Hayuga Hiyashi walks lonely towards the clan. The matter of Hinata and Naruto is out of his control, and he can only resign himself to fate. Half a month later, Naruto, who was instructing his subordinates in the training ground, received a message from Anbu. Konoha prison was broken. Countless imprisoned ninjas escaped. It is now rumored that the Naruto team quickly participated in the task of hunting down Konoha fugitives. Task level. A level. Is the mission finally out? Captain Naruto? Feeling that he has made great progress, Tntn looked excited, as if he couldn't wait to show his strength. Hayuga Neji was also eager to try, and Mitarashi Enko was so excited that he couldn't help himself. His two toes kept tapping the ground repeatedly, as if. Dot the ground was hot? Yeah. Naruto nodded and answered Tianshin, a level mission, intercept the escaped prisoners from Konoha prison, let's go. Advertisement Leafy Forest, Neji was looking for the escaped prisoners with blank eyes. Sudden, front right, we found four people. Neji pointed to the front right and reported to Naruto and others. Naruto waved his hand, motioning to step forward and surround him. In fact, Naruto's perception ability is better than Neji's, but he is used to the task of Buddhism and he doesn't want to do these things more. Anyway, my subordinates have this ability, so there is no need to use it for nothing. After a while, Naruto's team approached four people. Why are they? Naruto was slightly surprised. The first characters they encountered in this mission turned out to be the four Atonin. It seems that this time Konoha prison was forced to be related to Orochimaru. Mitarashi Anko said with a gloomy face. Naruto patted Mitarashi Anko on the shoulder and said, Don't worry, Orochimaru didn't come. You still have a chance to become stronger and defeat him by yourself. 
Naruto is well aware of Midarashi Anko's obsession. I wish he was here now. Midarashi Anko said viciously, completely forgetting that his own strength was all that matters. The Atonin Four obviously noticed Naruto and the others, and after hesitating for a while, they decided that the three of them would stay in the rear. Let Tayuya, the only woman among the four, leave first with the coffin containing Sasuke. Seeing this, Naruto said to the three of Midarashi Anko, I'll leave these three to you. I'll go after the one that got away. Is there any problem? Don't worry, Captain Naruto, TNTN was full of energy. Naruto nodded, and he dodged to chase after Tayuya. Naturally, he went to chase Tayuya not to rescue Sasuke, he just wanted to help this old teammate again. With Naruto's speed, Tayu didn't run very far before being caught up by Naruto. Looking at the Jonin in front of him, Tayuya showed a dignified expression. From Naruto's speed just now, she felt the pressure. Putting down the coffin containing Sasuke, she had no choice but to fight with her back without any other support. Hai Shu Shen Wei, Summoning Technique. Tayuya's own summoning beast, three ghosts, appeared amidst the smog. The three ghosts are all humanoid creatures. One ghost holds a thick wooden club. They are three strange summoning creatures. Duoyo also took the flute and played it, and the whole person directly entered the state of the first stage of spell seal. For Naruto, she dare not be careless. Magic flute, magic dance. As the flute sounded, the three ghosts rushed towards Naruto roaring. But Mickey's taijutsu strength is just that. The seemingly terrifying Mickey rushed to Naruto and was kicked away by Naruto. What? Duoyo couldn't believe it. The three ghosts she carefully cultivated were defeated by Naruto in a close combat. Without hesitation, Tayuya immediately entered the second stage of Curse Seal State. Advertisement the runes all over his body disappeared, and Tayuya became a monster instead. Her red hair grew longer, her skin darkened to dark green, her eyes seemed to have only black pupils left, and finally several irregular horns grew on her head. Such a beautiful girl has become like this, as expected, Inferior immortality is not advisable, Naruto said with some regret. Pretty? Only weak people care about such external things, Tiyuya mocked Naruto. She has always been this kind of character who likes to respond to people, and both opponents and teammates will habitually say this. You think I'm weak? Naruto asked with a smile. Hey. Tiyuya sneered and didn't want to say anything more, but this sneer expressed her attitude. Finale Chapter 9 Chaos in the Demon Realm the sound of the flute sounded again, and under Tayuya's control, the three ghosts would spit out a substance composed purely of spiritual energy, which was a bit like a soul out of its sheath. After the souls of these three ghosts appear, they will frantically search for physical energy, and if they bite an enemy, they will absorb the opponent's chakra. The ability is very weak, the souls of these three ghosts are not stronger than their bodies except that their actions are more weird. Naruto appeared next to the body of the three ghosts in a flash, and struck down with a heavy Rasengan, directly turning the three ghosts into real ghosts. Clapping his hands, Naruto looked at Tiyuya with a smile and said, Little girl, do you have any other means? Tiyuya stared at Naruto with a shocked expression. She felt that her last resort could deal with Jonin, but why couldn't she last a second under Naruto's hands? Gritting his teeth, Tiyuya insisted, Don't be complacent, I have plenty of means to deal with you. Naruto looked at Tiyuya, not in a hurry. He thought this girl was very interesting, so it would be good to play with her more. Tiyuya naturally also saw Naruto's banter, and she was very upset that he didn't take her seriously at all. There is no way, she can only use her last resort. Magic Flute Dream Sound Lock. This is a B-level illusion, combined with her flute sound and spell seal power, the power can reach a level. A level illusion is even Jonin, don't try to break free. During the illusion, Naruto instantly came to a dry place. His body was bound by spider silk from unknown places, and signs of slow corrosion began to appear under his feet. Naruto Wei Wei is surprised, there are not many illusions that can affect him. It can be seen that Duoyoi's move is very well developed. Turning his eyes, Naruto returned from illusion to reality. And Tayuya was backlashed by her own illusion, and now the person who was corroded by bones became herself. How come? Don't. Don't, in the illusion, Duoyo was also gradually corroded by the dry bones, and turned into dry bones. In reality, she passed out. Naruto came to Tiyuya, took out an unopened lollipop and poked her in the face, curled his lips and said, Aren't you very attractive? Pull another lollipop and show me? At this time, the coffin servant who imprisoned Sasuke loosened. 
Naruto looked in that direction, and a Sasuke covered with a curse mark walked out slowly. Chapter 95 Orochi and Shaozi kill Kimimaro in seconds. Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement, Long Time No See, Sasuke. Naruto greeted Sasuke with a smile. Are you here to take me back? Without appreciation, Sasuke looked at Naruto with a wary expression. Of course not, just capture some people who should be in prison, and kill some of Orochimaru's subordinates, Naruto said. Orochimaru urgently needs a new body right now. If you were sent to Orochimaru too soon, you will not learn anything and Orochimaru will take your body. So you have to go slowly, let Orochimaru be impatient, and use the spare body first. Sasuke frowned, he didn't know whether to believe Naruto's words or not. Because if he stays here for a long time, he won't be able to escape when other Konoha ninjas find him. But if what Naruto says is true, it's a dangerous thing indeed. Why do you know Orochimaru so well? Sasuke suspected that Naruto had arranged eyeliner around Orochimaru. Is it important? You just have to trust me? Naruto asked retortly. Sasuke glanced over in displeasure, he was determined to completely give up his bond with Konoha. But even at this time, Naruto actually helped him so much. It made him wonder how to be grateful. The other members of Naruto's team over there. The three of them have found their own opponents, and they are currently fighting fiercely. Mitarashi Ankov's Jiro Maru near Hayuga Nejiv's Tianshin vs Kitamaru. At this time, Mitarashi Anko was trapped by Jiro Maru using the Earth Style enchantment Dongmu. She doesn't have much ninjutsu that can deal with Earth Style. When encountering this self-healing imprisoned type, she currently has only one way. Summoning Technique. Ninjutsu Unleashed, Mitarashi Anko summoned a large snake. The big snake is more than 20 meters long, as wide as a small mountain, and its body is purple in color. It is a dangerous big snake with small pupils and big eyes. Xiao Zi, do me a favor and smash this earth style into pieces. Mitarashi Anko begged. She didn't completely tame the snake, but said that Mitarashi Anko just had a chance to make it work for him. Xiao Zi didn't move, it stared at Mitarashi Anko as if expecting something. Anko sighed, I didn't bring meatballs today, I'll buy you some after the mission is over, okay? That's right, this big snake really likes to eat meatballs. I don't know how my taste buds grew, and I like sweet and soft food for no reason. Advertisement Xiao Zi still didn't move, obviously it didn't like Anko's red gloves and white wolf. 100 skewers. As long as you help me complete this task, I will give you a hundred skewers of meatballs, Mitarashi Anko said to Xiao Zi with difficulty, as if he had spent all his money. But in fact she has no hard words at all. Naruto packs her meatballs for a year, eat as much as she wants, and buy as much as Naruto's money. Even so, Anko still had to pretend to be distressed in front of Xiao Zi. Because only in this way can Xiao Zi think that she has made money. Xiao Zi can't speak, but she can understand human language. A hundred skewers of meatballs. It has never seen so many meatballs. Excited, Xiao Zi got down directly and motioned for Mitarashi Anko to go up. Anko was not polite either, jumping directly on top of Xiao Zi's head, then flicked his windbreaker vigorously. Crush it, Xiao Zi, Xiao Zi responded, and one tail swept past. The powerful force belonging to the big snake directly slapped on the surrounding circle of the earth wall, smashing it to pieces. Jirobo had thought he had the winning hand and could easily deal with a particular janin. But who knew that the other party summoned a big snake? Snake? Jirobo was a little confused. Why does this person's painting style resemble Orochimaru so much? Come on, Xiao Zi, kill him. Xiao Zi knew and rushed towards Jirobo. Jirobo realized something was wrong, and directly activated the curse seal state. Earth style, dirt roads are back. Jirobo seals in situ and summons a solid earth wall, the defense ability of which is at least twice that of the previous seal. But even so, facing the powerful physical strength of the big snake, Hirobo's earthen walls still couldn't stop it. Xiao Zi flicked her tail lightly, the thick tail smashed the earthen wall and smashed it into pieces, and then hit Jirobo with a flick of her tail. He vomited blood three feet and flew tens of meters away. The power of the big snake is so terrifying. Unlike Mitarashi Anko, who had a lot of victories, Tianshin and Neji are fighting hard at this time. Kitamaru's spider web attack made Tian Tian keep dodging, very embarrassed. Occasionally throwing a hidden weapon in an attempt to attack is effective, but it is blocked by the tough spider web, or Kitamaru flexibly dodges under the spider web. Her hidden weapon is useless against Kitamaru. 
Zuo Jin's dual personality melee and explosive circle made it very troublesome for Neji to deal with. Advertisement its gentle fist is difficult to hit the opponent's main acupuncture points under the manipulation of the opponent's two consciousnesses, and cannot produce suppression. In addition to pulling, you have to be careful of the spells buried on the ground nearby. If he accidentally stepped on this thing, he would lose at least one leg. Back to Mitarashi Anko, at this time, Jirobo used the summoning technique to deal with the big snake and Shaozi, summoning a clay doll the size of a temple in the Tensong dynasty. A clay doll, as tall as a hill, with the ability to regenerate and absorb others' chakra. As long as the clay puppet is not destroyed by one blow, it can climb up and fight countless times. It seems very strong, but facing Xiao Zi, it is not enough. Xiao Zi's status in the big snake is not low, and her strength is maintained at the upper middle level. It is very easy to deal with a stupid clay puppet. I saw Xiao Zi approaching the clay puppet, slamming into it and flicking her tail to hang death entanglement. After some attacks, the clay puppet died on the spot. Not even Jirobo escaped, getting entangled in the death coil and suffocating. Good job, Xiao Zi. Mitarashi Anko praised Xiao Zi. But Xiao Zi didn't appreciate it. The only bond she had with Mitarashi Anko was Maruko. Simply put, it was a deal. Deals are dirty, it's Xiao Zi who is never emotional. After solving Jirobo, Anko looked at Tianshan and Neji who were fighting hard, and hesitated to help the weaker Tianshan first. Today's Tian Tian has been forced to retreat by countless spider webs, and he is about to be captured. Xiao Zi, go over there and kill that spider like guy. Xiao Zi didn't move, but put Mitarashi Anko on the ground and stared at her. Apparently, it comes at a premium. The Spider Man exists as a non human being, but its brother, how can he kill him at will? Need to add money. Xiao Zi, didn't we promise to give you a hundred balls if we finish this task? Mitarashi Anko looked at Xiao Zi with a displeased face, as if he was very dissatisfied with her breach of contract. Asking for flowers. Xiao Zi did not speak, nor could she speak. It just keeps staring at Mitarashi Anko and the meaning is obvious. No money? No work. Seeing this, Mitarashi Anko was a little helpless, and could only back down a step. Okay, okay, add another 50 strings. Xiao Zi didn't move, just shook her head, and then compared a word with her tail. 100 strings. Mitarashi Anko secretly scolded Xiao Zi for being greedy in his heart, but on the surface he agreed to Xiao Zi. Advertisement there is no way, she only has Xiao Zi as a big snake now. It was still traded with meatballs, otherwise it would not have signed a contract with Mitarashi Anko at all. Xiao Zi got a satisfactory answer and took Mitarashi Anko back to the top of her head. Really rich as a mother. Mitarashi Anko thought silently in his heart. Then Xiao Zi, support TNTN with all your strength and eliminate the Spider-Man. Naruto held Sasuke and waited for a while, when a figure suddenly appeared. Kimimaro. Yinren fifth people. Because Orochimaru is already impatient with the new body, Kimimaro can only be sent to ensure Sasuke's safe defection. When Kimimaro arrived, he saw that Sasuke was confronting Naruto, and saw Tiyuya who was lying on the ground, not knowing whether he was alive or dead, so he knew that things had gone too far beyond expectations. Kimimaro stood in front of Sasuke and said to him, I'll stop him, you go first. Sasuke was about to respond when Naruto suddenly appeared beside Kimimaro in a flash. Burst Rasengan. The flame Rasengan with a strong breath of fire pierced Kimimaro. How? Dot how is it possible? Kimimaro spat blood from his mouth, and only his eyes were left to look at Naruto. Naruto withdrew his hand and left in a flash. A devastating explosion occurred at the original location of Kimimaro. Boom. Because Sasuke was too close and did not dodge in time, he was also affected and was blown out. After a while, Sasuke who was blown out came back to his senses and looked at the large forest that had been destroyed in front of him, his expression was full of shock. Although it wasn't the first time Naruto used a trick with similar damage, it still shocked him to be able to kill Kimimaro so quickly and powerfully. Suddenly, Naruto appeared behind the injured Sasuke, and Sasuke subconsciously showed a guarded look. Naruto didn't care, just glanced at Sasuke and said, Go in the direction Kimimaro came from, and you should be able to meet Orochimaru. I suggest you walk slowly, so as not to be deceived by Kimimaro. What if Orochimaru hasn't completed his physical reincarnation yet? Sasuke. Why did you help me so much? Naruto said casually, It's just a little fellowship. This time you left Konoha and it will be broken. Friendship is not a solid thing, but we should not meet again in the next two years. 
two years. Sasuke didn't know why Naruto was so sure. Then goodbye, these loyal subordinates of Orochimaru, I will help you solve it. As a last favor to Sasuke, Naruto took Tuyuya away. Sasuke looked at the place where Naruto disappeared, his expression was complicated, but he gritted his teeth, he still strengthened his belief in revenge, and walked towards the opposite direction of Konoha with heavy steps. Chapter 96. Shao Zi is angry Asuma's death previous chapter. Next chapter advertisement Mitarashi Anko rode Shao Zi and kept attacking Kitamaru. Tail flicks, headbutts, rolls. The attacking moves are very simple and nothing new, but they are better than being simple and rude. Under the absolute power, redundant skills become a burden instead. Kitamaru dodged Shao Zi's attacks again and again in embarrassment. Sudden, a sword shadow flashed past, and Tian Tian didn't know when it appeared in front of him, stabbing his heart with a single blow. When only had time to say unwillingly, Kitamaru died completely. Tianchen, good job. Mitarashi Anko gave Tianchen a thumbs up. Tianchen smiled modestly. No, if it wasn't for Anko's help, I would definitely be defeated by this guy. Of course Anko knew that Tianchen alone was no match for Kitamaru, but the sword just now was indeed quite interesting. Like a meat old hand. Sure enough, if you play with weapons, you won't be too bad at anything. Mitarashi Anko. Let's go support Neji. Tianshan, okay. At this time, Neji was still fighting hard, and he was on par with Zuo Jin. But for this result, Neji is not in a hurry. It's not that they didn't pay attention to the battlefield between Mitarashi Anko and Tianshan. Now that Kitamaru and Jirobo have received their lunchboxes, they will surely win in a three-on-one situation. 053, as for Zuo Jin, he was not in a hurry. He is confident that he is the strongest existence among the four, and he is not afraid of Mitarashi Anko's big snake at all. After a while, Mitarashi Anko and Tianchen came to meet again. With Neji against Zuo Jin, a three-on-one situation was formed. Zuo Jin's gaze was on Mitarashi Anko. You also have a curse mark on your neck. It seems that you were also a person who was favored by Lord Orochimaru before. Mentioning Orochimaru, Mitarashi Anko immediately frowned, shut up. I won't follow that kind of guy. But in fact, she really wanted to, but she was given up. At that time, Orochimaru felt that Anko's character and talent were not suitable to follow him, and as his disciple, Orochimaru didn't want to take her to betray the village. The remaining tenderness made Orochimaru choose to seal part of Mitarashi Anko's memory and leave her in Konoha. Zuo Jin doesn't care about Mitarashi Anko's attitude, as long as he is not from Orochimaru, he can kill them all. Summoning Technique Rashomon. Naraku. Zuo Jin made a mudra with both hands, and summoned an open Rashomon under Mitarashi Anko three people and one snake. Three people and one snake were caught off guard by Rashomon and fell into a pit. Then Zuo Jin used the explosive killing circle to fill up the entire pothole. If three people and one snake can't fly, then they can only walk out step by step by stepping on the explosion spell. Zuo Jin looked at his favorite work, with an arrogant expression on his face, you three guys just die inside. Advertisement Mitarashi Anko and Tianshan don't know what happened, but Neji and Sakan fought, so they told the three about the spell. A spell that can easily blow us into serious injuries? Mitarashi Anko felt a little tricky. She didn't know if Xiao Zi could resist so many spells. Xiao Zi, can you resist? Xiao Zi looked at Mitarashi Anko proudly, expressing her ease. Great, then send us up. Anko said happily. Xiao Zi shook her head and refused. Obviously, you have to pay more. Add a hundred strings. Anko gritted his teeth. Xiao Zi shook her head, signaling to add more. Hey, Xiao Zi, don't push yourself too hard. This guy is just like those two guys. Why do you charge such a high fee? Anko said kindly. Faced with Anko's anger, Xiao Zi remained unmoved and resolutely increased her money. Seeing Xiao Zi's shameless appearance, Anko sighed in his heart, and was about to continue to increase the price. But at this time Naruto arrived suddenly, and a Rasengan killed Zuojin directly. Xiao Zi. Anko laughed straight away. Ha 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 ha, let you increase the price, there is no chance now. Seeing Anko's triumphant look, Xiao Zi was furious, and went back to Ryuchi Cave without saying a word. Ha. Huh. Three inches the three people who were originally on Xiao Zi's head screamed and fell from a height of tens of meters. Seeing this, Naruto split into two clones and flew over to catch the three of them. When they landed, the faces of all three were flushed. Mitarashi Anko and Tianshan are because men and women are different, and Neji is because of embarrassment. 
He was actually saved by a man with a princess hug? Anko, you got Shao Ziki up this time, you may not be able to summon it next time, Naruto said. Anko said nonchalantly, it still has 200 strings of meatballs with me, next time I summon it, it will definitely come back to me. Naruto gave Anko a blank look, that's why Ryuchi Cave really has such a wonderful big snake. Otherwise, with Anko like this, it is impossible for any big snake to agree with her. Are you two okay? Naruto turned to the other two and asked. It's okay, the two said in unison. Yeah. Naruto nodded slightly, then looked at the pothole. With so many charms, there are quite a few chakras around this one. Naruto used Flying Thunder God to take the three of them out, and then used Earth Style to fill the pothole so that no one else would be caught. Advertisement, Naruto, as this guy you brought back with them, Mitarashi Anko asked to Yuya who was fainted on the ground. Naruto. Yeah, I think she has great potential, so I want to take her back to make a good transformation, and try to make her turn from the dark to the bright. Seeing Naruto's serious nonsense, Mitarashi Anko gave him a blank look. Are you aiming at the potential of others? You are clearly a greedy person. You are a bitch right pointing arrow right pointing arrow they didn't expose Naruto, and after Naruto arranged for a shadow clone to take Tuyuya back, they had to continue the mission. What they stopped just now was the group of Atonin, not the fugitives from Konoha prison. In order to make better use of time, Naruto's team is divided into two groups to continue operations. Naruto is with Tianshin, and Mitarashi Enko is with Neji. This balances the strength. 20 minutes later. Naruto suddenly sensed that a fierce battle was going on ahead. Tien Tien, follow me carefully, the enemy in front may not be easy. Naruto ordered. Okay, Captain Naruto. The two groped forward carefully, and when they approached, they were shocked. Konoha Janin Serutobi Asuma has fallen to the ground, pierced by a kanai in the heart, and it is obvious that he is no longer alive. On the other side, Shi Hong was struggling with the three of them with tears in her eyes. The situation is gradually getting into a disadvantage, and it seems that it will not be long before they will be defeated. Those two guys are the brothers of Function and Thunder God. They have terrifying strange powers. They once killed their companions in a mission and were sent to prison. Tianchen understood the two of them to a certain extent, and explained. Oh. Naruto also had an impression of these two guys, who were comparable to cage level in strength, but whose brains were comparable to those of a ninja school kid. That person. Is Teacher Mizuki. Tien Tien was a little surprised when she saw the third person, she didn't know why Teacher Mizuki was here. She had never heard about Mizuki stealing the sealed book and being sent to Konoha prison. Naruto didn't want to explain to Tian Shin either, just let her stay where she was, and then went out to rescue Kuranai Yuhi. If you don't go, Kuroyuki will die together with Asuma. Yu Hong was forced into a corner by the attack of the three, and Lei Shen punched her at this time, Yu Hong was feeling desperate. Naruto suddenly appeared and caught Thor's fist with one hand. Are you alright, Senior Red? Woo, Naruto. Looking at Naruto's back, Yuhi Hong had tears in her eyes, and then she fell to the ground as if her spirit had been relaxed. Seeing that Yuhi Hong's spirit is not good, Naruto plans to make a quick decision. Grabbing Thor's hand, Naruto lifted him up, and then fell heavily to the ground. Weird power. Advertisement boom. The strong collision between the body and the ground made a sound like an explosion. Seeing that his younger brother suffered a disadvantage, Function, as a big brother, couldn't bear it immediately. Younger brother, shouting, Function waved his palm and slapped Naruto. But Naruto was just a kick when it flies up, it hurts. Using strange force on his feet, Naruto smashed Function's bones with one kick and flew hundreds of meters away. Mizuki at the side saw that Naruto had dealt with the cage level function and Lyshin brothers with two moves, and was so frightened that he turned around and ran away. But where can he run against Naruto who can flying thunder god? Throwing out the three kunai, Naruto first appeared in front of Mizuki, and a Rasengan sent him to heaven. Then used the second stage of flying thunder god to appear next to thunder god, and a heavy Rasengan sent him to see the Buddha. In the end, the third stage of Flying Thunder God appeared beside Function, and took him away with his broken bones and breath. A set of movements was smooth and smooth, and it took only three seconds to kill the cage-level master. Tien Tien, who was not far away, covered his mouth in surprise, as this Naruto's real strength? Naruto returned to Yuhi Hong, looked at Yuhi Hong with a sluggish expression and unstoppable tears, and comforted him, It's all right, Senior Yuhi Hong. Kurenai Yuhi didn't answer but couldn't help murmuring in pain, 
It's all my fault, it's because I'm too weak that Asuma blocked the fatal blow for me. It should have been me who died. Why? Dot why do you block it for me? According to 2.6, a few words let Naruto roughly understand the whole story. Asuma and Yuhihong were ordered to hunt down the fugitives from Konoha prison, but they lost to Function and Lishin. Especially Yuhihong, that illusion has no effect on the stupid Function Lishin at all. 2 Jonin versus 2 Cage Level, 1 Chunin Situation. Instantly becomes a Jonin and a Chunin against 2 Cage Level, a Chunin. The strength of Kurunai Yuhi, who is useless for illusion, is also the strength of ordinary Chunin. She was held back by Mizuki's surprise attack, and Asuma sacrificed her life to save her, but Mizuki's kanai directly pierced her heart. Naruto stepped forward, patted Kurunai Yuhi on the back, and comforted. I have already avenged Senior Asuma, it's okay, it's okay. One sentence directly broke Yuhi Hong's defense. Revenge. Yes, originally this revenge should be avenged by her. But she is too weak, she may not be the opponent of Function Lishin in her whole life of cultivation. Kurunai Yuhi hugged Naruto violently, got into Naruto's arms and wept wantonly. Why why why? Tears were like a flood, soaking Naruto's clothes in an instant. But Naruto didn't dislike him, he just kept patting Yuhi Hong's back, silently comforting her. 32% Chapter 97. The Rare Tsunade Previous Chapter Next Chapter. Advertisement After a long time, Yuhi Hong was tired from crying in Naruto's arms and fell into a deep sleep. Tianchen, come here. Naruto asked Tian Tian to come over and take his place as Yuhi Hong's pillow. He came to Asuma's body and disposed of it. Put Asuma's body on your back, Tianchen, signal to Neji and them that the mission is over. 11. In Naruto's hands, the task of catching the criminals directly becomes the elimination of the criminals. In this wood leaf forest, they stayed for several hours, but not a single prisoner was caught back. Back in the village, Naruto and Tianchen came to Konoha Hospital. Send Yuhi Hong to lie down, and Asuma asks him to collect the body. Neji, every day you go to inform the people in Asuma's class and red class, let them take care of it. Anko, take care of Yuhi Hong here first, and I will go to fifth generation to report on the mission. Neji and Tianchen. Okay, Mitarashi Anko, yeah. Coming to the Hokage building, Naruto told Tsunade about the death of Asuma, and Tsunade's emotions suddenly became agitated. Those two guys, I should have killed them. Tsunade angrily smashed the table with his fist. The brothers Function and Thunder God were brought into Konoha prison by Tsunade. At that time, I thought that these two people were stupid, and they were very powerful. If they had free time in the future, they could train them for their own use. But I didn't expect that it didn't take long before the two fools were used to kill Konoha's Jonin. This Jonin is also the son of the third generation who passed away not long ago. Asuma's death not only made Tsunade sad at 18, but also affected Tsunade's image in the hearts of the villagers to a certain extent. Is it not long after taking office to clean up the old party of the previous generation Hokage? People will have such an idea in their hearts. Fortunately, Danzo is dead, otherwise those Konoha clans will even stand in line and force Tsunade to give up power. Those two guys, as well as Mizuki, were killed by me, and my team was temporarily evacuated there because of Asuma and Yuhihong. This mission may not be able to continue, Naruto said. Tsunade waved his hand and said, It doesn't matter, there are many teams intercepting the prisoners there, Kakashi and Might Guy are also there, you don't have to worry about the follow-up of this mission. Advertisement, that's good, I'll go first. In broad daylight, Shizune and Anbu were both there, and Naruto couldn't do anything with Tsunade. Wait a minute. Tsunade called to stop Naruto, although the task is not completed, it is half done. You can take half of the reward. I'm not short of money, Naruto said. Tsunade glared at Naruto, take it as you please, there are so many words. She also dared to be fierce to Naruto at this time, when there were only the two of them, she would not dare to speak to Naruto like that. Naruto gave Tsunade a meaningful look, and said, okay, Tsunade is the world. The corner of Tsunade's mouth twitched, she knew she was marked by Naruto. After taking the money, Naruto turned and left. At this time, Shizune asked a little puzzled, Master Tsunade, why are you so kind to Naruto? There should be no reward if the task is not completed. Tsunade didn't answer Shizun, but just changed the subject and said, How is Lee's surgery preparation going? It's almost done, Master Tsunade, Shizun replied. That's good, a young force like Rock Lee, I still don't want him to die. Konoha needs such fresh blood too much. Tsunade sighed. 
Naruto leaves the Hokage building and returns to Konoha Hospital. At this time, Shikamaru and the other three had low expressions, apparently Asuma's sudden death hit them hard. The three of Hinata were sitting around Yuhihong. Because of their strength, they did not participate in this mission. Fortunately, they did not participate, otherwise Asuma would not be the only one who died. Naruto came to Hinata and held her hand, Hinata. Naruto, is she okay, sensei? Hinata worried. She's just too tired, she'll be fine. Naruto comforted Hinata. Yeah. Hinata leaned on Naruto's shoulder, which reassured her. Captain. The three of Neji approached Naruto with some embarrassment. Didn't you come to the hospital to see your three lovely subordinates first and take care of your girlfriend? We are also very tired. Neji grumbled inwardly. Naruto patted Hinata and gestured to get up. When he came outside, Naruto gave the three people the reward for this mission. The task is over, let's go back to rest first, and gather at the practice field in three days. Disbanding the team, Naruto is going back to accompany Hinata. At this time, the three Shikamaru just came out. Advertisement. Thank you for avenging Asuma. The three Shikamaru bowed to Naruto in thanks. You're welcome, it should be. Patting Shikamaru on the shoulder, Naruto strayed towards the hospital. Some things happened so suddenly, Naruto never thought that Asuma would die here at this time. This is very unoriginal. After returning to the hospital, Naruto stayed with Hinata until late at night. At this time, Kurenai Yuhi had woken up, and saw Naruto and her three disciples at a glance. After sorting out the memory, Yuhi Hong thanked Naruto. Thank you, Naruto. The tone of gratitude is very heavy, and it may be difficult for Yuhi Hong to get out of her heart. You're welcome, Senior Red. Naruto said, yeah. Kurenai Yuhi nodded lightly, and then asked, Asuma, where is his corpse? In the hospital morgue, the funeral is scheduled for a week later, and you have to try to get better during this week, Naruto said. Really? Shi Hee Hong's tears flowed uncontrollably again, but seeing the caring eyes of her three disciples, Shi Ha Hong tried her best to take back the oil and water. Smiled gently to the three disciples, I'm sorry for making you worry. Hanada. Don't be sorry, teacher Yu Hee Hong, a teacher for a day, a teacher for a lifetime, we care about what you should do. Inazuka Tooth. Teacher, you need to get better soon, I have almost finished the special training at home, and then I can come to see you with Akamaru. Akamaru seems to have been taken by the family for special training, so this time Inazuka did not bring it with him. Abarame Shino is not good at talking, but looking at Yuta Hong is also worried. It is more than words. Thank you. Shi Hong smiled softly, but the teacher wants to be alone for a while now, can I trouble you to leave first? All three of them knew what Shi Hong meant, she didn't want her sad side to be seen by her disciples. Well, teacher, take care of yourself. The three said goodbye to Shi Hong. Naruto was about to leave with Hinata, when Kurenai Yuhi suddenly stopped Naruto. Naruto. Naruto looked at Kurenai Yuhi puzzled, is there anything else? Kurenai Yuhi hesitated to speak, and finally turned into a smile and said to Naruto. Thank you again for helping me so much. Naruto knew that this was not what Yuhi Hong wanted to say, so he nodded and said, You're welcome, this is what I should do. After Naruto sent Hinata home, he still had some doubts about Rihong's last attitude. Advertisement so he bought some food and returned to the hospital again. Boom boom boom, I'm coming in, Senior Yuhi Hong. After finishing talking, Naruto walked in without waiting for Kurenai Yuhi to respond. But she found that Kurenai Yuhi was wiping her face with the quilt in a panic. Apparently she was crying just now. Naruto pretended not to see it, and put the food beside Kuroyuki's bed, I bought some food, if you have a better appetite, eat as much as possible, and your health will recover soon. Yuhi Hong blushed a little, well, thank you. Silence for a while. Naruto spoke first, is there anything you wanted to say to me earlier? Yuhi Hong hesitated for a moment, then nodded, I'm very scared. After saying a word, Yuhi Hong stopped talking again, as if she couldn't speak, as if she forgot what she wanted to say. Seeing this, Naruto sighed and pulled her into his arms. Yu Hee Hong's expression was taken aback, she obviously didn't expect this to happen. Are you still scared? Naruto asked. Feeling the warmth of Naruto's chest, Yu Hee Hong felt at ease in her heart. But she was embarrassed to say it, how could she be infatuated with Naruto's warmth? Why? It seems that since Uchiha Itachi was rescued by Naruto when Uchiha Itachi invaded Konoha, she has a vague concern for Naruto. 
that kind of concern makes her feel at ease, as if there is nothing to worry about with Naruto. That's something Asuma couldn't give her. Of course, Asuma took great care of her. He is at least a qualified boyfriend. Without answering Naruto, Kurinai Yuhi just lay quietly in Naruto's arms, feeling the warmth Naruto gave her. Next morning, Naruto leaves Konoha Hospital and returns home. In this house, Tiyuya, who was unconscious, woke up and was making noise. Chapter 98 My Servant Tiyuya, The Mission of the Kingdom of the Sea Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement Naruto bought a house with a courtyard in Konoha Village. The house covers an area of 500 meters, with exquisite decoration and pleasant greenery. It is a house where a noble from the fire country once lived. Everything is good in such a big house, the only bad thing is the trouble of cleaning. If it is not cleaned for a long time, the inside and outside of the house will be covered with dust, which is a bit inconvenient to live in. The appearance of Tiyuya is to help Naruto solve this trouble. Hey, hey, I said you, I saved your life anyway, what's wrong with you staying here to do housework for me? Do you feel wronged? Duoyu was also tied up in a room, with his limbs stretched out, forming a big character. Naruto sat on the chair directly opposite her, eating melon seeds. Saved my life? Tiyuya sneered, it's not that you want to kill me. A murderer who gives up killing is called an attempted murder. It's not called saving the victim's life, do you understand? Knows the law. Naruto was slightly surprised, but anyway, I let you go to survive, right? You should know how to be grateful. Tiyuya curled her lips, HMPH, idiot. Naruto. Tiyuya, you have to know that if you have no value, I don't need to let you live. Naruto took out a handful of kanai and played with flowers in his hand. If you want to kill or cut, listen to what you want, I will not surrender to you, Duoyo still insisted. Seeing that Tiyuya was so stubborn, Naruto rolled his eyes and began to vomit the bad water in his stomach. I'm not going to kill you, it's just that. I will execute Linkai on you, scraping your body with countless wounds one by one. Naruto approached Tiyuya, and while talking, gestured at her body with the back of the knife. These wounds are neither big nor small, not fatal wounds, just enough to let your blood flow out. Blood is flowing little by little, and when you are about to die, I will rescue you again, and do it a million times again. Tiyuya. This man is the devil, right? How else could he have such a disgusting and horrible way of abusing people? Tiyuya, who was frightened by Naruto, thought about it, and no longer insisted, then I will help you for a while, just clean up, right? Let go. Naruto smiled slightly, and cut off the rope on her body with kanai, if you want to do it, you will do it for the rest of your life, and you can't leave here without my permission. Tiyuya rubbed his limbs, frowned and said, why? What do you think you are? Naruto looked at Tiyuya and said, you are from Orochimaru, don't you think that you will be free of any stains now that you are my servant? Tiyuya blushed and said angrily, when did I agree to be your servant? I just help you clean up, and being with Mr. Orochimaru is not a stain, that's an honor. Advertisement, it is also your honor to be my servant. Naruto came to Tiyuya and sealed the curse seal on his neck. Don't use this kind of power in the future, it's weak and will make people ugly, and I don't know what to develop it for. Taiyu also felt the loss of the power of the seal. But there is no way, she is now in the mouth of a tiger and can only be slaughtered. Then the house will be entrusted to you for a while. Naruto said that he was going to go back to his room to catch up on sleep, but he didn't sleep all night in Konoha Hospital last night. But he suddenly thought of something and stopped. I left the mark of flying thunder god on you, don't even think about running away. Because no matter where you run, I can find you back in an instant. Duoyu also glanced at her right shoulder speechlessly, there was indeed a mark that she couldn't handle. Mean guy. All of a sudden, she blocked her retreat, because he hated Naruto now. Naruto smiled, not paying attention to his hatred for Tiyuya. If it wasn't for Tsunade to be Hokage, he would have arranged for her to come over to do housework, and there is no need for Tiyuya. Several hours later, when Naruto woke up, the first thing he did was to use Flying Thunder God to appear beside Tiyuya. At this time, Tiyuya was taking a lunch break, and Naruto's sudden appearance startled her. Hey, can you stop appearing suddenly, it's scary. And what if I'm in the shower? Can you please consider how I feel? Facing Tiyuya's accusation, Naruto didn't listen at all, go and prepare me to wash, wash basin, towel, hot water, toothbrush, water cup, and squeeze one-third of the toothpaste on the toothbrush. By the way, the hot water should not be too hot. After speaking, Naruto dodged back to the bed again. Tiyuya. How could this idiot and lazy guy let him run into him? 
Although helpless, Tiyuya still had to do what Naruto said seriously. If you don't want to be delayed. A few minutes later, Tiyuya appeared in Naruto House C. Put all the things Naruto needs on the table, Aang, everything you want is here. Hand them over one by one. Naruto said sleepily. Tiyuya had a big well on his forehead, suppressing his anger, which one should I use first? Brush your teeth first, Naruto said. Tiyuya took the toothbrush and toothpaste to Naruto, handed it to Naruto and said, Oh. Advertisement Naruto didn't move, just opened his mouth and said, Brush for me. Sat. Why do not you go to hell? Tiyuya directly threw the water cup and toothbrush on the ground, furious. Seeing that his face was still sleepy, Naruto ordered in a flat tone, Wash it clean and hand it to me again. Tiyuya stared at Naruto, and Naruto looked at her, gong, mouth. Well, it's so peaceful. Naruto thought to himself. After staring at Naruto for several minutes, Tiyuya was still defeated. Pick up the toothbrush and tooth cup on the ground to clean. After a while, Tiyuya came back, enduring the discomfort and washing Naruto. I'm going out. What do you want to eat? I'll bring it back for you. Naruto asked. Naruto didn't say much and didn't realize that he was a little hungry, so he said arrogantly, whatever. It is good. Half an hour later, Naruto came back with ramen, meatballs and yakiniku. Feed me. Don't push yourself too hard, hey. They say you are my servant, I didn't correct you before, you should call me master now. What master? My master will only be Orochimaru. Orochimaru? As Naruto spoke, he transformed into Orochimaru. Come on, feed me. Tiyuya, you bastard idiot. Tiyuya cursed Naruto while feeding him. She has given up negotiating conditions with Naruto, and now she just wants to take advantage of Naruto a little more. With one pair of hands that are not used, and one with a mind that does not move, you just die of laziness. Living in this world is really wronging you. After a while, Naruto finally finished eating. I'll go first, I wish you a happy meal. After Naruto finished speaking, a flying thunder god disappeared. Ghosts will enjoy eating. Advertisement Eno's florist. Naruto came here for the second time. Last time, he passed by by chance. This time, he was to buy flowers. Eno, could you please bring me a bouquet of lilies? Um. Eno is not in a good mood because of Asuma's sudden death. Even a bit bad. After receiving the flowers and paying the money, Naruto patted Eno on the head and comforted him. Don't be too sad. I think Senior Asuma's spirit in the sky doesn't want you to be depressed. Naruto's words of consolation did not have much effect, but the jungler was still grateful. Thank you. 17. Seeing this, Naruto stopped talking and said goodbye and walked towards Konoha Hospital. Konoha Hospital, at this time, Shihahong was chatting with her disciple without saying a word. Apparently Naruto's consolation was very effective yesterday, and she has begun to gradually get over the fear of Asuma's death. Senior Yuhi Hong. Naruto pushed the door and entered. Kurinai Yuhi looked at Naruto, his eyes were excited at first, but when he saw Hinata beside him, Kurini Yuhi returned to normal. Money is good. Naruto, thank you for coming to see me. Yuhi Hong's sunny smile was not forced at all. You don't have to be so polite, Senior Yuhi Hong. Although the two had a close relationship last night, Shiha Hong didn't want to let this matter show on the bright side. One is that Asuma has just passed away, and it is inevitable that she will make people cry. The second is that Naruto is dating his disciple Hinata, which will make their relationship awkward. Putting the flowers on the vase, Naruto came and sat down next to Hinata, and spent a pleasant afternoon with Kurinai Yuhi. Into the night, Tiyuya seems to be sleeping early to avoid Naruto. Naruto looked at Tiyuya who was lying on the bed pretending to sleep, and approached to cover her with the fallen quilt. Then turned and left. After Naruto left, Tiyuya subconsciously grabbed the quilt with her hand, let go of it and fell into a deep sleep. In the following days, the Naruto team resumed normal training, and occasionally went out of the village to complete a C-level or B-level task to increase experience. And this time, the Naruto team will go out to the country of the sea to carry out a C-level mission. Investigate the robbery of the fishing boat in the country of the sea. The country of the sea is composed of four islands, but there are no ninjas, which is quite like the country of waves. It's just that compared to the country of waves, the country of the sea is much richer. Chapter 99 Murloc Fishing Fire Neji and Tianchen Strength Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement Sea Country Sea Area The Naruto team disguised themselves as businessmen on a small merchant ship, intending to lure out the existence of the robbery fishing boat. Do you think it's pirates? 
This kind of robbing of fishing boats can't be done by fish, can it? Tianshan, who was bored, talked with the three of his conjectures. It's not a fish, but it might be a murloc. Naruto laughed. Murloc? Neji and Tianshan looked at Naruto curiously, expecting what Naruto would say next. But. No further words. For a long time, Tianshan couldn't help asking. Naruto, are there really murlocs in this world? How do I know, I haven't seen it before. Naruto replied casually. Then you still say strange things like murlocs, Tianshan said speechlessly. Guess, people need to have imagination. Just like what you said about pirates robbing fishing boats, you should use your imagination. Maybe this is a summit war between the Sea Emperor and Marine Admiral. You can't take things so simple. Naruto is talking nonsense again. Tianshan cursed. Different from the good mood of the three, Anko on the side looked at the sea area but was full of thoughts. She always felt that she had been here before, and it was with Orochimaru. It's just that she couldn't remember the specific things. Naruto sensed Anko's uneasiness, so he handed her a coat to put on. Don't think so much, everything is up to me, um. Naruto's strength can indeed make Anko feel safe, but what makes Anko uneasy at this time is not external factors, but fragments of inner memory. Some pictures vaguely flashed in her mind, and many pictures were unfriendly. These memory-like and non-memory things made Anko uneasy. The merchant ship sailed on the sea for some time. When approaching Onikai Island, the boat suddenly became connected. What's going on? Neji rolled his eyes and swept down the boat, only to find that it was a humanoid creature shaking their boat in the sea. Their boat was not big, with a length and width of less than 5 meters. Under such violent shaking, they almost fell into the sea. But fortunately, their ninja foundation is solid, the boats can no longer stand, and the sea can still walk. Hai Shu Yu Shen Wei Summoning Technique Toad Bunta made his debut. Go grab that guy down there who's rocking the boat. Naruto ordered while stepping on Toad Bunta's head. Toad Bunta didn't talk nonsense, it was already used to Naruto's behavior of calling him out for big and small things. Enter the water, catch the person, and throw the person to Naruto while floating. Action efficiency is ridiculously high. Naruto returned to the boat with the fishing boat in his arms, go back first, and let me say hello to your little tadpoles. Advertisement Toad Bunta. Ever since Naruto found out that it had given birth, it has been teased by him a lot. Instead of talking back to Naruto, Gama Bunta returned to Mount Myoboku without saying a word. Wow, it's really a murloc. At this time, Tianshan pointed to the fishing fire that Naruto was holding and said in disbelief. Naruto puts the fishing fire down, and then presses her about the attack on the boat. Yuhuo knew that he was not an opponent, so he didn't speak too harshly, and quickly explained why he wanted to attack the ship. Moreover, Yuhuo also confessed the human experiments conducted by Orochimaru and a guy named TNG. As the fishing fire talked more and more, Mitarashi Anko on the side also woke up more and more memories deep in his mind. Finally she remembered everything here. She had accepted Orochimaru's heavenly seal and survived here, and she also saw the half-human, half-beast human experiment about fishing fire here. Ah! Orochimaru's seal was automatically released, and Anko was in agony as memories flooded up in an instant. Miss Anko! Anko, are you okay? The three surrounded Anko and expressed concern. Anko slowed down, grabbed his head with one hand and said, It's okay, I just remembered something. Next, Anko talked about his experience with Orochimaru and Naruto, which was roughly the same as what Yuhuo said. Therefore, everyone believed Yuhuo's confession. Since this experiment is so horrific, let's destroy it by the way, but we don't know if Orochimaru is here at this time. Naruto looked at Onikajima with a slight look of anticipation on his face. Soon, the Naruto team entered Ghost World Island led by Yuhuo. And not long after they entered Ghost World Island, they met two old acquaintances, Red Copper Armor and Jien Meichung. The two were teammates of Yakushi Kabuto during the Chunin exam, but were defeated by Hanada and Tamari respectively in the final qualifiers. Yo, what a coincidence, are you here to welcome us? Naruto greeted them with a smile. At this time, the strength is in the middle of Orochimaru's subordinates, so the Red Copper Armor and Masumi are a little terrified when they see Naruto. They never imagined that Yuhuo just robbed a few fishing boats and attracted such a terrifying existence. What should I do? Run. Red Copper Armor asked. I can't run away. Jien Meichung must have self-knowledge, and has decided to fight to the death at this time. Naruto looked at the two, and said to Neji and Tianshan behind him. The two of them will be handed over to you, and Anko and I will go in first. 
Neji and Tianshan stopped in front of Red Copper Armor and Jian Meicheng, while Naruto and Enko flashed past. Seeing this, Red Copper Armor and Jian Meicheng didn't want to stop Naruto, because they knew they couldn't stop him. I'll deal with the one on the left. Advertisement. Then I'll deal with the one on the right. Tianshan and Neji quickly assign opponents. Neji fights against Jian Meicheng, and Tianshan fights against Red Copper Armor. Concealed Weapon Bombs. Tian Tian raised his hand and threw countless hidden weapons to separate the two. Neji hit Ken Meicheng flying with a palm in front of him. 8 trigrams. 64 palms. Compared with a few months ago, Neji at this time is a shame. In terms of physical skills, it is already comparable to a special Jonin, and can fight against Jonin. A set of gentle fist method of the Hyuga family is extremely fast, so fast that Jian Meicheng couldn't react at all, and was hit by countless fist shadows. Tianchen, Bibi, has also made extraordinary progress in a few months. First, they used hidden weapons to harass the red copper armor continuously. Although they were all avoided by the red copper armor, they were forced into a corner. At this time, husband and wife directly took out two scrolls with fire dragon patterns. Explosive dragon. A terrifying dragon-shaped flame was summoned to devour the red copper armor. After a few seconds, Jian Meicheng, who had no power to fight back, was beaten and paralyzed to the ground. The defenseless red copper armor was burned to coal. Although it has only been a few months since the Chunin exam, the strength of Neji and Tianchen has long since changed. The two ended the fight, looked at each other, and chased after Naruto and Anko. After Naruto and Anko went deep into Onitachi Island, they saw a lot of experimental equipment inside. Faced with these things that once persecuted innocent people, Enko directly summoned Xiao Zi to smash them to pieces. Soon, they finally met Shi Shi Unknown, the owner here. Tian Ji's appearance is very ordinary, and his painting style is quite similar to that of a little husband in a mechanical cat world. Konoha's ninja actually found this place. Tian Ji's expression showed anger, but when he saw Enko, he was stunned for a moment. You. I remember, you were once Orochimaru's disciple. I didn't expect Orochimaru to let you go but you came back and destroyed his laboratory. You are the only one who is ungrateful. Shut up. Facing God's unfounded accusation, Enko was very angry. She herself was dissatisfied with Orochimaru for abandoning her, but now God knows that she is ashamed of Orochimaru? Xiao Zi, kill him, Enko directed Xiao Zi to kill him. Although TNG can transform into a murloc to enhance his own strength, it is still far behind Jonin's powerful snake. So he didn't dare to fight Xiao Zi head on, instead he turned around and ran away. Advertisement, damn it, how could Orochimaru let you master such a powerful summoning beast? While complaining about Orochimaru, TNG transformed into a murloc and fled towards the beach. Although the big snake's water ability is not bad, it is definitely not as good as his murloc body. So hiding in the sea is his only way out, but can he really outrun the big snake? In the jungle of Ghost Realm Island, TNG ran wildly in a panic, while Xiao Zi crushed everything like a tank in pursuit. The distance between one person and one snake is only about 10 meters, and this distance belongs to Xiao Zi's attack range. So every time Xiao Zi moves, she can attack TNG. It's just that God knows it's too small and nimble, Xiao Zi hit it more than 10 times but failed to hit it. This made her very dissatisfied. Enko standing on Xiao Zi's head saw this and decided to do it himself. Stepping on Xiao Zi's head and borrowing strength, he flew directly to the front of TNG. Fire style. Great fireball technique. The sudden fire style startled TNG, and hurriedly retreated to dodge. But he backed away from Anko's fire style, but completely stepped into Xiao Zi's attack range. Xiao Zi seized this opportunity and quickly surrounded TNG, and then a fierce snake rolled over. Xiao Zi, who was as thick as a hill, crushed TNG again and again like a large meat rolling machine, and TNG's horrific screams resounded from the originally silent Gaiji Island. Tisk tisk. Won't this be too miserable? Naruto no longer eats candy at this time, and the thing in his mouth has turned into cigarettes. He deserved what he deserved. Enko looked at TNG who was tortured and killed by Xiao Zi, and said in a flat tone. After a while, TNG completely turned into a human-shaped biscuit, which was melted into the soil of Ghost World Island. At this time, Neji and Tianchen happened to catch up. Seeing this terrifying human-shaped biscuit, the two resisted their nausea and did not spit out their breakfast. Xiao Zi has gone too far this time, said Tian Tian. He ran too fast, and made Xiao Zi angry. 
Anko said in a flat tone, without mentioning his responsibility as a summoner. Neji and Tianchen rolled their eyes, but didn't say much. Anyway, the enemy is killed no matter what. Later, the Naruto team collected information on the island, and then completely destroyed the research institute on the island. The modified fishing fire was also brought back to Konoha by Naruto and the others to help it return to normal. Half a month later, because of his appearance, Yuhuo couldn't live alone in Konoha, so he was sent by Naruto. There are still fools in the village, and Yuhuo's living environment in Konoha will only be similar to that of Naruto. Perhaps empathetic, Naruto did not want Yuhuo to be treated this way. Chapter 100 Catgirl to Yuya. Yuhuo who wants to be a servant. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement, to Yuya, prepare a room for your new roommate. Naruto walked into the house with a fishing fire and said to Tuyuya. New roommate? Tuyuya was wearing a catgirl costume at this time, looking at Yuhuo standing behind Naruto. Because of his appearance, Yuhuo was wearing a hood at this time, making it difficult to see his appearance. Please come with me. Tuyuya made a gesture of invitation to Yuhuo. After several months of training, Duoyo has also fully qualified for his position. Hum, Yuhuo nodded lightly, making a shy voice. Although her body is like a fish and her strength is enough to destroy ships, she is still a girl with low self-esteem. Following Tuyuya, Yuhuo didn't say a word. So Tuyuya could only talk to himself, my name is Tuyuya, what's your name? Fishing fire, where do you come from, and are you here to be a servant? Servant? Yuhuo was a little dazed, that's right, I was snatched by this guy to be a servant, it's simply too hateful. Yuhuo lowered his head, a little startled. Was he deceived by Konoha? Or was he deceived by Naruto? I. I came from the kingdom of the sea, I should. I should have been brought back by Naruto as a captive. But he said he brought me back to treat my illness. Yuhuo's speech was full of unconfidence. That's right. That Naruto is a pervert, who specializes in capturing those beautiful enemies, and then locks them into his hut as a servant. As for the treatment you mentioned, that guy must have lied to you. How could he be so kind? Advertisement when to Yuya spoke, he was vicious, as if he had a sworn hatred with Naruto. Yuhuo didn't speak, she didn't know who to believe. When he came to a room on the second floor, to Yuya said, This will be your room from now on. There is one in the bathroom. By the way, do you have any luggage? Yuhuo shook his head and said, No, don't you have a change of clothes? Yuhuo shook his head again. In this case, you can only wear my clothes first, but that guy bought my clothes for me. Tuyuya looked very dissatisfied, they are all weird clothes like catgirls and maids. Thank you. Regardless of the appearance of the clothes, as long as there are clothes to wear, it can be accepted. After a while, Duoyo also took the clothes and gave them to the fish. Yuhuo took it to the house and took a bath. After coming out, Tuyuya waited at the door with a towel very considerately. Um, why are you still wearing this hood? Saying that, Tuyuya suddenly covered her nose. It's strange. Why is the fishy smell on your body getting heavier and heavier, didn't you use soap? Yuhuo lowered his head, not daring to speak. Tuyuya has not seen her full appearance until now, and does not know that she is a murloc. Don't be so shy, come and take the hood off. Tuyuya said that she would forcibly take off Yuhuo's hood, and then she froze. There is a fish fin on Yuhuo's head, and where the hair is, it is blue-gray elongated skin. Except for his face and figure, Yuhuo didn't have the slightest human appearance. Sorry to scare you. Yuhuo gently put on the hood, she had expected to Yuya's expression, and she was used to it. Just a little disappointment. I'm not scared, you still look very beautiful. Taiyu also said insincerely, a person with fish skin is not beautiful even if he is wearing catgirl clothes. Advertisement, thank you. Yuhuo knew that what to Yuya said was a lie, but he was still grateful. The two were silent for a while, and to Yuya suddenly said, I'm going to prepare dinner. What do you like to eat? Yuhuo hesitated for a moment and said, I like to eat fish. Fish like to eat fish, and murlocs also like to eat fish, which doesn't seem to be a strange thing. But in the eyes of humans, it is eating the same kind with different looks, which is a bit strange. There is no fish at home. I will go to the owner and ask him to buy some, to Yuya said. Aren't you a servant here? Why should Naruto do the grocery shopping? Yuhuo asked with some doubts. I've said it all, he imprisoned me in this room as a servant, and didn't let me go out at all. Duoyu also complained. But in fact, she often goes out when Naruto is not around, as long as she is not hit by Naruto, she will not be punished. Of course, she also tried to escape, but she was knocked back by Naruto unexpectedly. 
Tuya came to Naruto's room with the fishing fire. Boom boom boom. Master, the fishing fire wants to eat fish, can you go and buy it? After a while of silence, a voice came from inside the door, I'll go buy it later. Yes, master. Seeing Tayu also thinking about Naruto in front of him, but looking like a good cat in front of Naruto, Yuhuo finds it funny for no reason. But then she thought again, is she also a servant? Do you want to do the same? Ask for flowers, zero into the night, when it was time to eat, Naruto came to the restaurant to eat with the two daughters. Seeing that Yuhuo was still wearing a hood, Naruto felt a little strange, why are you still wearing a hood? Yuhuo pulled, and found an excuse, I'm used to it. Oh. Naruto had no doubts, pull it off when eating, otherwise the food will stick to the hat. Yuhuo hesitated for a moment, and pulled off his hat. She doesn't like wearing hats, but no one told her not to wear hats. Advertisement eating. Am I your servant? Yuhuo asked Naruto suddenly. Servant. Naruto wondered, why do you have such an idea? Yuhuo glanced at Tuya, and Naruto understood immediately. Zero. It must be this naughty cat girl, who has spoken ill of her again. No, Tayu is also my servant, and you are my guest, Naruto said. Oh. Yuhuo lowered his head and continued to eat, but he felt a little disappointed in his heart. She felt that she lived and lived here for nothing, so she had to help Naruto do something good. Can I be your servant? Yuhuo's words were astonishing, and Tayuya choked on his food. Hey, aren't you? You actually asked to be a servant? Duoyo also felt that the woman in front of her was really blessed and didn't know her blessing. What a precious thing freedom is, don't you know? Why do you want to be my servant? Naruto asked. Yuhuo. I don't want to be free with you, I hope I can do something for you. Then you don't need to be a servant, you can help Tuyuya clean up in the future. Naruto said. N. Yuhuo nodded, thinking that this is not bad. In fact, she doesn't want to be a servant, but it's not impossible to be Naruto's servant. After all, he is the only one who doesn't care about his appearance and takes him in. In the blink of an eye two years have passed. Yuhuo's illness has not been treated, but he has completely gotten used to his new life and likes the life here. Chat with Tuyuya every day, clean up, and occasionally see Naruto who has returned from missions. This kind of life can also be regarded as happiness. Just when Yuhuo thought that this kind of life would last forever, he didn't know that the general trend of the ninja world had quietly changed. Chapter 101 Rescue Gara. I don't go. Previous chapter next chapter. Advertisement Hokage Building, for the first time, Tsunade summoned all the Jonin in Konoha. Kakashi asked, Master Tsunade, did something happen to call us all here? Well, something big happened, Tsunade said, holding his chin with both hands, Gara, the fifth generation item of Sanagakure, was captured by Akatsuki. Akatsuki, is it the organization of Uchiha Itachi who came back two years ago? Might Guy asked. Yes, their target is Tail Beast, and Uchiha Itachi came to our village two years ago to capture nine tails. After Tsunade finished speaking, all eyes were on Naruto. Uchiha Itachi's last capture mission failed precisely because their Jinchuriki in Konoha village was too strong. Become a Jonin at the age of 12, reach cage level strength, defeat S level rebel Uchiha Itachi. All kinds of achievements make Naruto very dazzling among the Jonin. However, in the face of many Jonin's attention, Naruto didn't care at all, smoking a cigarette as if there was no one around. Two years have passed since the Sea Country mission, and Naruto is 15 years old. The 15-year-old Naruto is no longer flawed at 1.76 meters, but now he looks like a youth. Now Sanagakure is asking us for help. I need two excellent teams to go to support. Which one of you is willing to go? Naruto silently raised his hand, I won't go, congregation Jonin. Tsunade nodded, and said softly, if you don't want to go, you can go to rest first. You do have a lot of tasks recently. All Jonin. No, 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 Master Tsunade is not angry. This Naruto is refuting your face. Advertisement have you lost your face as fifth Hokage? And what's with that gentle smile? Well, then I'll go first. After speaking, Naruto looked at Kakashi again, come on, teacher Kakashi. FF. This hint is already obvious, Naruto wants him to lose. So who are the rest? Tsunade asked, looking at the rest of the Jonin. Kakashi was about to speak, when Tsunade suddenly said, then you, Kakashi. 9. This Naruto definitely has an affair with Tsunade-sama? Yes, Master Tsunade. Kakashi agreed. One more team. 
Tsunade looked at the crowd, and finally fixed his gaze on Might Guy, Might Guy, go there. Among Jonin, only Kakashi, Might Guy, and Yamato made her feel more at ease. After all, the opponents this time are at least elite Jonin. Master Tsunade. Lee is the only one in my team now, so I may not meet the conditions for two teams, Might Guy said with some embarrassment. I'll have Hyuga Neji and Tenten reassigned to your team for this mission. In two years, Naruto's ability has been fully tempered, and Neji and Tianshan's strength has also been promoted to Chunin. There is no longer any chemical reaction between the three, and with the willingness of Neji and Tianshan, it is indeed time for them to return to their own team. As for the Naruto team, the current remaining members are Midarashi Anko and Small Sakura, and the remaining one is to be determined. In fact, Midarashi Anko has reached the strength of Jonin, and is fully qualified to advance to Jonin and lead the team by himself. But Midarashi Anko has no plans to lead the team. In addition, it is impossible for Jonin to perform the task alone, so Anko simply refused to advance to Jonin and continued to stay in the team. Advertisement, great. Might Guy is very happy that Tien Tien and Neji are back in the team. Master Tsunade, you can rest assured to entrust this task to our team, we promise to complete it beautifully. The corner of Tsunade's mouth twitched. This might guy really has a lot of experience. Kakashi, you can't go alone on this mission, except for Chunin who was on the mission with you before, I'll let Yamato go with you. Kakashi looked at Yamato Jonin at the side. The two were old acquaintances, and they nodded in tacit understanding. This time, three Jonin and six Chunin act together to support San Shinobi Village. It can be said that it is an unprecedentedly strong lineup but the results of this mission were not so satisfactory. After Naruto stayed in the village for another month, he learned the result of the mission from Tsunade. One of the three Chunin who followed Kakashi died and two were seriously injured, and Kakashi himself lay in the hospital from overwork. Xiao Li and Tian Tian of the Might Guy team were seriously injured, Neji was slightly injured, and Might Guy was slightly injured. Yamato Janin was slightly injured. Akatsuki organized, Scorpion died, and Didera was seriously injured and fled. Sanagakure Gara was killed by the tailed beast, but was resurrected by Chiyo Granma with the reincarnation technique. Knowing the result, Naruto couldn't help sighing. Without the aura of the protagonist, he would really die. I'm going to see Kakashi. Naruto said goodbye to Tsunade with little Sakura. Well, be careful on the road. Tsunade watched Naruto and little Sakura leave affectionately, and then went back to the intense work of Hokage. The high-intensity Hokage work made Tsunade lazy for a few times, and even wanted to quit Hokage. But Konoha does not have a better candidate to succeed Hokage now. Jiraiya is qualified, but if he wanted to, he wouldn't find Tsunade to succeed him. What's more, Jiraiya is now looking for material all over the world again, and I don't know when I will be able to come back. Naruto and little Sakura went to Ino's flower shop to buy flowers as usual, and then went to Konoha Hospital. For some reason, Naruto felt that he had been to Konoha Hospital more frequently in the past two years. Advertisement It was Asuma who was seriously injured two years ago. Then Asuma died, Karini Yuhi was seriously injured. And then it was Kakashi's turn to be seriously injured. Next time, he won't be the dog, right? Konoha Hospital, Ms. Kakashi, we came to see you. Naruto and little Sakura carry a few bouquets and put one of them in the vase. Kakashi was a little strange, what are the other flowers? Oh, this is not for you, we have to go and see Tianshin and Neji later. Naruto said bluntly. Kakashi. I really have a few good subordinates. Thanks, at least you can still visit me. After Kakashi was injured, only Yamato and Might Guy had visited him, and he was relieved that Naruto and Sakura Jr. could join this list as his subordinates. You don't need to be so polite, you will need to pay more for this kind of task in the future. 4.4 inches, Kakashi's participation in this mission is entirely the result of Naruto's silent recommendation. But it was this recommendation that made him almost a dog. Kakashi twitched the corner of his mouth and said, It's better not to, I think my ability is almost here. You underestimate yourself, don't you? Naruto said with a look of hatred, You are now in your prime, and you are still in the growth period of strength. Believe me, you will definitely reach cage level soon. Become a generation of Hokage. Kakashi gave Naruto a blank look, I don't want to be Hokage. Kakashi can't help himself when he is Hokage. Naruto had already quietly trained Kakashi as the sixth Hokage. As long as Kakashi is strong and the Uchiha Madara matter is over, the peaceful Konoha doesn't have to worry about no one taking over from Tsunade. Chapter 102
Azuki Sheehan joins the team, Shao organization strike. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement after visiting Kakashi, Naruto visited Tianshin and others. They were seriously injured indeed, both Tian Tian and Shao Li were wrapped in countless gauze. Neji is lighter, only a bandage is wrapped around his hand, and he doesn't even need to be hospitalized. After politely sending lilies and chatting with them, Naruto and little Sakura left. Konoha Street already 15 years old, the slim little Sakura walked on the road with Naruto's arms in both hands. People around looked at little Sakura and Naruto in amazement. They are very familiar with Naruto, that demon fox. It's just that the former demon fox, now handsome and powerful, is Konoha's elite Jonin. The strong contrast left them with mixed feelings. Come to eat at my house today? Naruto suggested to little Sakura. Okay, little Sakura agreed sweetly. In fact, her parents also opposed her relationship with Naruto, but little Sakura did not accept their opinion. In addition, little Sakura is now a chunin, apprentice to Tsunade. The child has strong abilities and high achievements, and the weight of talking at home unconsciously comes up. Their parents had no choice but to let her go. Come to Naruto's house. Tiyuya and Yuhuo made a respectful salute by the door dressed in catgirls. Welcome home master. Welcome home, master. The two spoke 18 in unison, and the etiquette was very appropriate. Hello, to Yuya, Yuhuo. Little Sakura greeted the second daughter without any surprise. Hi, hostess. The two responded politely. Seeing little Sakura, Hanada, Mitarashi Anko, Tsunade and Yuhihong all called the hostess, the two have been very familiar with each other for a long time. Little Sakura is eating at home today, Naruto ordered. To Yuya. Okay, Jay, Yuhuo. Do you want to stay overnight? Advertisement Naruto looked at the little Sakura at the side, and the little Sakura blushed slightly, no, let's go back tonight. Well, no need to stay overnight, Naruto nodded. In fact, little Sakura has never stayed at Naruto's house, after all, she is still young. While Yuhiro and Tuyuya were preparing lunch, Naruto and Sakura-chan were chatting. Why did Yuhuo become your family's servant? Little Sakura asked, leaning on Naruto's shoulder. The last time Sakura came to Naruto's house was half a year ago, and many changes have taken place in this half year. She wants to do this by herself, maybe she wears Tiyuya's clothes more, or maybe stays with Tiyuya more, Naruto replied. Everyone has his own ambitions, and Naruto did not stop the behavior of fishing fire. Who would want to be a servant just because of the clothes, idiot? Little Sakura laughed at Naruto. If you don't believe me, you can try it yourself, Naruto suggested. I really don't want it. Little Sakura stuck out her tongue. I don't want to call someone else's mistress. Naruto rubbed Little Sakura's head, but didn't speak. Silence for a while, Little Sakura suddenly worried. Akatsuki's target is tailed beast, you won't be in danger, right? Even the shadow of San Shinobi village was captured in the village. Naruto is just an elite Jonin in the village, and he has to go on missions from time to time, which is much more dangerous. Naruto patted the Little Sakura on the shoulder and comforted him. Don't worry, nothing will happen. My strength is stronger than your teacher. Want to catch me? The Shao organization will practice for another hundred years. Yeah. The little Sakura believed in Naruto's strength, but secretly made up her mind to work hard to become stronger. She hopes that when Naruto is in danger, she has the ability to stand up and help him. After a short reunion, everything returned to normal. On this day, Naruto was summoned by Tsunade. Glancing at Shizune next to Tsunade, Naruto said, Master Tsunade, did you call me for something? Well, I received an application here, and I want to ask your opinion, Tsunade said. What application? Azuki Shian, who originally belonged to Anbu's special Jonin, wants to join your team. Azuki Shian? Naruto was stunned for a moment, he didn't expect Azuki Yuyan to quit Anbu. Well, yes, I have no problem. Advertisement his team happened to be short of one person, and it would be best if Azuki Shian could join in. It's just that, his team is all female ninjas except himself. Then I'll arrange she and Azuki into your team from now on. Tsunade said and signed a document. One more thing. Tsunade said, considering Akatsuki's recent actions, there will be no missions for you during this period. Hope I don't leave the village. Um. Well, I don't really want to do that much anyway. If it weren't for Neji and Tianshin who really wanted the rewards of missions to live, Naruto wouldn't even have done missions for these two years. Exercise Field 66, Naruto gathers the team members and informs Sakura and Mitarashi Anko about Yugo Azuki joining the team. 
Sister Shein, welcome to join. Little Sakura stretched out her hand to Azuki Shein. The two shook hands, Shein smiled and said, thank you. Mitarashi Anko, I won't say anything redundant, please give me your advice. Mitarashi Anko said casually. Azuki Shein, please give me more advice. The two have actually known each other for a long time, but they are not very familiar with Sakura, and Mitarashi Anko is not familiar with Azuki Shein. Naruto saw the three of them getting to know each other again, so he said, well, everyone's strength is good now, so we won't do special training or anything, everyone will practice separately, and I will go to you unless there is a mission in the future, and I won't do it at other times assemble. Naruto's current three teammates are very strong, and there is no need for Naruto to train them like he worries about Neji every day. Mitarashi Anko's current strength has encountered a bottleneck, and it takes some opportunities to go from Jonin to elite Jonin. Otherwise, relying solely on summoning and fire style, it will be difficult to go further. By the way, Master Tsunade said that he will not arrange tasks for us recently, so let us stay in the village, Naruto added. What? Then our team doesn't exist in name only. Mitarashi Anko dissatisfied. After a team is established, the members don't meet each other except for the first time to get acquainted. This squad really exists in name only. Then why don't we pick up some D-level missions? Naruto suggested. D-level missions are reserved for those genin who just graduated. Would it be a good idea for us, a team with an average strength of Jonin, to pick you up? Enko pouted. Then there's no other way. You can't come to the training ground every day to watch each other in a daze, can you? After thinking about it, Naruto thinks it's not bad. Pleasing to the eye. Advertisement, my little purple needs special training, you call Shinya out. Mitarashi Enko said. Naruto gave Enko a blank look. Even if you call Xiao Hei and Xiao Huang out, it's not enough for Xin Ya to slap one tail. Xiao Hei and Xiao Huang are snakes from Ryuchi Cave that Enko has captured in the past two years. Xiao Hei is a big snake, and Xiao Huang is a special species of Lion Majesty. And Naruto's Xin Ya is now completely familiar with his body, and his strength is not weaker than that of White Snake Sage with White Snake Sage transformation. The two are now in a true 50-50 split. How about I call 7.6 million snakes out to fight with your little Z? Don't want. Mitarashi Anko is full of opinions about the summoning beast that signed a contract with Orochimaru. Then what to do? Why don't you let your Xiao Z and Xiao Hei fight? Anyway, they are about the same strength. Naruto is gone. At this moment, little Sakura sneered, Miss Anko actually wants everyone to get together a few more times, the training of Xiao Z and Xiao Hei is not the main thing. Shi Yan also said, then why don't we come here to train every few days in the future, I will be your training partner, I just have a companion. Little Sakura. Okay, but I still have to learn medical skills from my teacher, so I may only come twice a week. Shein looked at Anko and Naruto again. I'm fine with that, Anko said. Seeing this, Naruto can only helplessly express that he has no opinion, and his subordinates are training together, so there is no reason for him not to come as the captain. The few people who discussed the way to exchange feelings began to gather intermittently at the training ground. The so-called training is not too serious, and it has no effect. But fortunately, the relationship gradually improved, especially the conversation between I and Anko. The two were similar in age, and she and ate a lot of meatballs following Anko's hobby, and they both became best friends for a while. A few days later, news came that members of the Akatsuki organization approached Konoha. Originally, this task should be handled by Kakashi and several Jonin, but at this time Kakashi is on the task. Those who stay in the village are basically ordinary Jonin like Yuhi Hong. After thinking twice, Tsunade handed over this task to Naruto. Although the goal of Akatsuki's organization is Naruto, and she looks like sending a sheep into a tiger's mouth, but with Naruto's strength, the two should be reversed. It's almost like calling it a tiger running into the herd. Chapter 103. Swallowing Hidan Alive? previous chapter next chapter. Advertisement Naruto didn't have any objection to Tsunade letting himself deal with Akatsuki's organization. Although the relationship between the two is master and servant, they are also superiors and subordinates. Tsunade cannot force Naruto to do things, but he can also order him with Naruto's consent. At this time, Hidan and Kakuzu have killed Jilu, captured her way and are about to leave the border of Fire Nation. Because they didn't have nine tails in their mission this time, they didn't go to Konoha village, but just killed a Lulu who had a bounty. It's just that they didn't catch nine tails, but nine tails Jinchuriki came to him himself. The land of fire area surrounds a corner of the forest. 
Naruto's team stands in the way of Kakuzu and Hidon's evacuation. It seems that someone doesn't want us to leave. Kakuzu stared at Naruto and made a hoarse voice. TCH, one brat, three women, Kakuzu, you don't need to shoot, I'll beat them all by myself. Hidan came out with a knife in hand. Kakuzu looked at Naruto and agreed with Hidan's decision. Although Hidan always looks like he has no brains, his strength is really good. Seeing that Hidan has started to draw the ritual circle with blood, Naruto smiled slightly, and suddenly disappeared in place in an instant. So fast, Kakuzu, who had been staring at Naruto, was shocked. As for Hidan, he didn't react at all. Even though he was still drawing a magic circle last second, Naruto pierced his heart this second. The scene paused for a while, Hidan opened his mouth wide and widened his eyes, as if he was suffering from great pain of death. But Naruto knew it was just a drill, so he just stopped for a second, and Naruto dodged again to distance himself from Hidan. Open black lens bracket ding. Your body thought you were going to die, so you got very angry, so your body won a special ability, immortality, close black lens bracket. Immortality. No matter what damage you take, you won't die, but you don't have the ability to heal wounds. The only flaw of the immortal body is that it cannot heal wounds, and severed limbs cannot be regenerated. Advertisement but Tsunade's Baihao technique has the ability to regenerate broken limbs. In other words, immortality plus Baihao technique equals immune to death in the true sense. Thank you for your gift backquote backquote. Naruto said something unnecessary to Hidan. Hidan, who should have died, scratched his head, huh? Surrounding the two, Sakura and the others were not shocked that Hidan was not dead. As early as on the way, Naruto told Sakura and the others about the special features of Hidan and Kakuzu. I was shocked first, and then I was mentally prepared after seeing it, so naturally I wouldn't be too surprised. Hidan, don't be careless. After seeing Naruto's speed, Kakuzu became afraid of him. Don't worry, it's just a little faster. Hidan said impatiently as he finished drawing his magic circle. At the moment when the drawing is finished, Naruto is looking forward to the system's notification sound. But the result is no Kakuzu, something similar to a religious ceremony, can't he have it? Or is the system failing? Either way, Naruto gave up for now. Be careful not to get blood from them. Naruto instructed the three of them. Don't worry, you told us many times when you came here. After Anko finished speaking, summoning technique called Shao Hei out. Then it's on. The three women must be strong. Naruto did not choose to be the first time, but gave the three women a chance to perform. Dance of the Crescent Moon. Azuki Shien flew two shadow clones into the air, aiming at Hidan's heart, back of the head, and neck from three different directions to chop off. Hidan can't see through this kind of swordplay, but his weapon is big enough. Hidan pulled up his bloody march scythe and swung it towards the air. A wide range sweep directly killed the two clones of Azuki Shien and repelled Uyang Shengen's body. Advertisement at the same moment, the little Sakura dodged in front of Hidan, and a Sakura flower punch drove Hidan into the ground, even the magic circle that Hidan had originally arranged was smashed into rubble. Without the magic circle, even if Hidan eats their blood, there is no way to share the damage. Fire style. Great fireball technique. Before the dust in the potholes drifted away, Mitarashi Anko directly used fire style to make up the knife. But the strange thing is, being attacked by this level of fire style, Hidan didn't let out any screams. For a while, the dust drifted away, revealing Hidan's figure. At this time, Hidan was holding the bloody march scythe, standing upright, and there were no serious injuries except for small burns all over his body. And even this small burn is still slowly healing. This immortal body is too difficult. Enko complained. Sure enough, the most important thing to deal with this kind of guy is to trap him, or use powerful moves. Shao Sakura analyzed. Do we have any powerful moves? The three women thought about it carefully, it seems that only Shao Hei's power can be regarded as a powerful move. The three girls looked at Shao Hei together, Shao Hei felt inexplicably flustered. I have a plan. Azuki Shien came to the two girls and said a few words. Are you sure? Haruno Sakura asked. 80%. Mao Yu Xian said seriously? After thinking about it for a while, the two agreed to Yu Xian's plan and dispersed to prepare for implementation. At this time, Hidan has newly drawn the magic circle. Cut. Why is that woman so powerful that she shattered such a large area? Advertisement Hidan murmured a few words unhappily, and then flew out of the hole. He wants to move the battlefield outside the magic circle, otherwise he will be smashed to pieces by this violent woman again later. 
After leaving the pit, Hidan looked for the figures of the three women, but only saw Uyue Xian attacking with a sword. Alone, here comes the death. Hidan licked his weapon, then flew towards Azuki Yuyan. The next second, the two approached, one kept slashing with a sword, and the other kept parrying with a sickle, trying to injure Azuki Xian from various angles. But Azuki Xian's swordsmanship skills are too strong. With a flexible body and sword skills, Azuki Xian stabbed Hidan several times invisibly, but Hidan failed to touch Azuki Xian once. Realizing the disadvantage of short distance attack, Hidan immediately retreated, Dima Zhao, and retreated, intending to use the length and flexibility of his weapon to injure Azuki Xian. But the moment Hidan retreated, Azuki Xian flew into the air. Konoha Ryu Sword Art. Obscure Moonlight Knight. Shi Yan swung her long sword in midair. During the swing, the sword seemed to outline the appearance of a full moon, with countless afterimages of the sword. What kind of swordsmanship is this? Hidan thought in the center of his mind as he flew back and retreated. In the next second, Xi'an fell from the sky at a speed so fast that the naked eye could not reach it. Hidan's body was unable to react due to the inertia of retreating, and was directly slashed by Xi'an several times. Between the light of the sword and the shadow of the sword, blood sprayed like a meteor. Hidan, who was still arrogant and unruly, was directly dismembered into several pieces and scattered on the spot. Xiao Hei, it's done. Little Sakura came out of nowhere, endured the nausea and beat Hidan's body to Xiao Hei in the distance. And Xiao Hei, happily swallowed Hidan, Naruto. Kakuzu. Uniform, Chapter 104 Flying Thunder God 3 Stages Instant Kakuzu 3 Lives. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement neither Naruto nor Kakuzu expected this outcome. Slice Hidan and let Xiao Hei swallow it. I have to admit, this plan, very dog. After finishing Hidan, the three of Azuki Shian wanted to deal with Kakuzu again, but were stopped by Naruto. Leave the rest to me. Kakuzu has five hearts, which means five lives. And this is not the most outrageous thing, the most outrageous thing is that these five lives can live independently, and each of the five hearts exists in a place. They can be separated and live in a body similar to a puppet, or they can be gathered in one body. Anyone playing against Kakuzu is one on five. The three of Azuki and Yugo stepped back, giving Naruto and Kakuzu space to fight. Behind you is the abbot of the Temple of Fire, Dilu? Naruto asked. Behind Kakuzu dragged a dead body, apparently preparing to exchange for a bounty. Nine Tails Jin Chiriki. Kakuzu threw Lulu's body far away, fearing that the battle later would cost him 30 million. I originally wanted to come to you after our way was sealed, but now it seems that I can only arrest you in advance. After Kakuzu finished speaking and took off his coat, his back suddenly squirmed, and then countless tentacles poured out on the ground, forming four humanoid tentacle creatures. 880 The faces of these four humanoid tentacle creatures each have a mask with different expressions, each representing an attribute of chakra. At the same time, the three people watching the battle. Azuki Shian. Tentacle monsters? I don't know if my sword can cut them off. Haruno Sakura. One against five, is it okay with Naruto? Anko. Huh? Xiao Hei, why don't you seem to be very comfortable? Asterisk 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 advertisement, take me away, you think too much. Naruto took out three kunai in his hand, and threw them out casually. Flying Thunder God for a while. Naruto appeared in front of the Earth-style tentacle monster, and a lightning-style Rasengan pierced it directly. Flying Thunder God Part 2. Naruto appeared next to the lightning-style tentacle monster at about the same time, and smashed it with a spiral shuriken move. Flying Thunder God 3 Stages. Naruto ends up behind the wind-style tentacle, bursting the Rasengan to destroy it. Rake Fire, Fung Clay, Fire Against Wind. Chakra's attribute restraint is the biggest shortcoming of Kakuzu's technique. Naruto just so happens to know, and destroys Kakuzu's three tentacle clones within two seconds. Kakuzu's forehead was dripping with cold sweat. What kind of monster is this? Kill me three lives in one instant. B.I.B.G., is this something humans can do? I have never faced such an outrageous situation against first Hokage. You still have two lives, I'll give you a chance to perform ninjutsu. Naruto joked while playing with the two kunai in his hand. With the cooperation of Flying Thunder God, Kakuzu is vulnerable. Kakuzu hesitated, recalling the last Fire-style clone back into his body. In this case, the effect that the Avatar can play is really very limited. Instead of being scattered and killed by Naruto, it is better to let it return to the body and give yourself an extra life guarantee. 
fire style. Head hard. Kakuzu spit out a large piece of seawater like flames from his mouth, and the flames quickly spread towards the ground after landing, like a sea of fire, as if to swallow everything in front of him. The power of this ninjutsu is close to level 5, even Naruto finds it a bit tricky. Water style explosive water blast. Advertisement using water style in places where there is no water, Naruto can only pin his hopes on Kisami's ninjutsu. Naruto jumped into the air, and spit out the water style as magnificent as a lake at the ground. The sea of fire collided with the lake, and the result was obvious. Kisami's water burst was completely defeated. Naruto had no choice but to wrap himself with an earth-style ninjutsu to avoid the attack. Kakuzu felt that there was a flaw in Naruto, so he turned around and ran away immediately. The confrontation of less than a minute just now made him realize the gap between himself and Naruto. That is an opponent that I can never beat. Fire style burned for more than 10 meters before disappearing. Naruto released Earth style immediately after the flame disappeared, but found that Kakuzu disappeared at some point. Naruto, that direction, said the little Sakura master, who had been watching the battlefield, pointing to the northwest. Naruto nodded, I'll be back when I go. Flashing continuously, Naruto chased Kakuzu as fast as a gust of wind. Meanwhile, the ring on Kakuzu's hand is shining brightly. Apparently it was Payne's message. It's just that when he was fleeing, there was no way to give that Li Shang information. Without any hesitation, he chose to dove off. Notifying him with the ring now is nothing more than telling him to go back and seal her way quickly. Now Hidan has been swallowed by a snake, and a ring is still in Blackie's stomach. In this case, it would be troublesome to seal her way. Yo, where are you going? Kakuzu didn't run very far, Naruto had already caught up. Kakuzu was forced to stop, staring at Naruto, thinking of countermeasures in his mind. He can only use ninjutsu of two attributes now, and the most powerful compound ninjutsu, Yanfeng Luanbo and Earth Grudge, final shot cannot be used. Unable to use S-level ninjutsu, he doesn't even have the confidence to counter-kill Naruto. But now Naruto caught up with him in only 10 seconds, which also shows that Naruto's speed is much faster than him. Advertisement if he continues to insist on running away, there is a high probability that he will not be able to run away. This is dead end. Damn it, are you going to die here? Kakuzu said unwillingly. Naruto also looked at Kakuzu. In the battle just now, Naruto learned his fire style. Having tasted the sweetness, he wanted to see if he could learn a few more similar high-level ninjutsu. It's not that he doesn't know the powerful escapism, but these kinds of ninjutsu of Kakuzu are ridiculously powerful, and he is very interested. Kakuzu was stared at by Naruto under great pressure, and he did not want to sit still, so he performed a high-level ninjutsu belonging to water style, water style water curtain. The method of performing it is similar to that of head hard work, all of which are sprayed from the mouth. But hard work is like a sea of fire, but the water curtain is like a water cannon. Naturally, earth style is the most suitable for water style, but most of Naruto's earth style is defensive, or interferes with control. So he chose to use fire style, fire style, head hard. Using what he has learned, Naruto counterattacks with the same ninjutsu that Kakuzu used not so long ago. A large sea of flames spat out from Naruto's mouth, spreading towards Kakuzu. What? How did he do this? Kakuzu is a bit unbelievable, and hard work is his carefully studied ninjutsu. It stands to reason that only he can use it, but what about Naruto? The water cannon hit the sea of flames, partially extinguishing them, but the sea of flames soon spread even more intensely and rushed towards Kakuzu. Fire style versus water style fire style wins again. From this result, it can be seen that head hard is indeed an extremely powerful fire style. Although the level of ninjutsu is only B level, the power used by Naruto and Kakuzu is infinitely close to S level. Chapter 105 Hidan Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Water Style Water Curtain Tent Naruto made a backhand seal, Kakuzu was shocked and countered his move. Kakuzu was shocked and couldn't dodge enough to be hit by the water cannon. He flew hundreds of meters away and hit several giant trees. Kakuzu lay on his back in pain, looking at the blue sky, white clouds. Even the god of the ninja world didn't kill him, but he didn't expect to be killed by a Nine Tails person Zhu Li today. Naruto walked towards him slowly, the clacking footsteps sounded like Shinigami wielding a scythe. In fact, Naruto also obtained this ninjutsu called Earth Resentment. Although it seems to be able to live forever, Naruto is still not interested in this ninjutsu. So your own body, I didn't know you thought you were any little bear made by Gwen Dahl. 
Approaching Kakuzu, Naruto looked down at Kakuzu. Breaking off the finger wearing the ring with a kanai, Kakuzu frowned and didn't make a sound. Bowing his head to pick up his finger, Naruto sized up the ring that might have been made by Ghetto statue. Hey, do you think I can use it with it? Kakuzu didn't say a word, and Naruto was going to figure out what to do by himself. Suddenly countless black tentacles rose from the ground and bound Naruto's limbs. Kakuzu instantly took out Kanai to assassinate Naruto. But just as Kakuzu got up and rushed for half a step, Naruto held his head down with one hand. Kakuzu's eyes widened and he looked at Naruto, only to find that his black tentacles were torn off by Naruto. What a powerful force. Just before he had such a thought, his head was crushed by Naruto. Kakuzu's body fell to the ground, and his limbs seemed to lie on the ground limply. Advertisement Naruto gave Kakuzu a disgusted look, before finishing him off with a spiraling shuriken. Looking at the center of the explosion, Naruto thought for a while and decided to grope for the ring by himself. Correct. What about Hidan? Thinking of this, Naruto returned to Anko with a flying thunder god. He left the flying thunder god imprint on each of his subordinates. As long as he wants to, he can naturally support everyone. The sudden appearance of Naruto startled the three of Anko and almost used ninjutsu to serve them. Why do you always appear and disappear without anyone noticing it? Anko gave Naruto a blank look, then turned his head and continued to comfort Xiao Hei. Xiao Hei looked very uncomfortable and irritable at this time, which seemed to be the sequelae of eating Hidan. What happened to Xiao Hei? Naruto asked. I don't know, it's just that Xiao Hei has been feeling sick since he ate that guy. Could it be that guy scratched Xiao Hei's stomach? Enko said. No way. I cut him into so many pieces, Azuki Shien said in disbelief. Should I let Xiao Hei spit it out? Little Sakura suggested. Enko thought about it and thought it was a good idea, Tien is Xiao Hei, can he spit out the person who just ate? After the irritable Xiao Hei knocked down a few trees, he started to feel sick. Some strange things could not be spit out of his mouth. After throwing up for a long time, I finally found the lively Hidan among the many stomach acids. The four found that although Hidan's body had been cut into several sections, each of these sections was alive and wriggling on the ground. Seeing this situation, Naruto wondered if cutting off a part of his body and restoring it with Baihao technique would make him two people. But just think about this kind of thing, he doesn't want to try. You bastards, it's disgusting to feed me to snakes. Hidan cursed at Naruto with a small part of his head corroded by stomach acid. No, this guy's recovery ability is extremely fast, little Sakura said, pointing to a piece of Hidan's body. Advertisement that piece of body was obviously corroded just now and has been mutilated, and the bones are visible to the naked eye. But just after a while, that part of the body unexpectedly returned to normal. In the absence of energy supplements, Hidan's various body parts can still have such strong resilience, which makes little Sakura feel incredible. It's unscientific f asterisk king unscientific at the end of the day. It seems that because his resilience is too strong, Xiao Hei can't digest him at all. Naruto guessed. So what? Enko asked. What can I do? Just use two ninjutsu to kill him. There is no need to think too much about this kind of thing. Naruto finds his fingers among the many Hidan's bodies. After removing the upper ring, Naruto sends Hidan on the road with a burst Rasengan. To deal with Hidan's ability, if he wanted to really kill him, he would have to leave no scum in his body. After dealing with Hidan, Xiao Hei on the side finally became happy, which gave him a sense of revenge. When the Hidan was in its stomach, it really did its own thing, and it made Xiao Hei feel that there were several strange creatures wriggling in his stomach. This is simply disgusting. I'm sorry for you, Xiao Hei, you should go back first. Enko patted Xiao Hei's head and said. Ask for flowers, Xiao Hei nodded, and disappeared in place leaving behind a puff of smoke. Naruto, do you want to upgrade with their rings? The little Sakura found that Naruto was playing with Naruto and Hidan's ring at this time, and she was puzzled. Is Naruto out of money? It's nothing, just curious. Naruto put the ring away, and he planned to go back and study slowly, let's go, we're going back. At this time, everyone in the Akatsuki organization who was preparing to seal the second tail was silent. The loss of contact between Hidan and Kakuzu gave them a bad feeling. Those two guys won't be killed by Konoha's ninja? Advertisement, didn't they call themselves the undead duo? It's a disgrace to be killed so easily. Didera curled his lips sarcastically, point zero. Others did not speak. Itachi wondered if Naruto did it, after all Naruto had impressed him the last time he invaded Konoha. 
Forget it. Don't wait. Let's seal our way first. Payne couldn't wait any longer. Although it will be more laborious without two people, but it is not impossible to seal our way. For a long time, our way was finally sealed. Xiao organized everyone but did not leave because of this. Kakuzu and Hidan probably won't be coming back. Payne said, looking at the others around him, which one of you went to Konoha to catch nine tails? Everyone didn't speak, and even Kakuzu and Hidan were not very confident. Now the remaining members of the Akatsuki organization are, Payne, Konan, Uchiha Itachi, Hoshigaki Kisame, Didera, Eifei, and Ju. Except for Pen Konan, there are only two groups that are out on missions. In that case, let me go there. Didera smiled excitedly, I want to let the whole Konoha enjoy art, bang. Ha 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 ha. When he was in the country of sand, he was seriously injured, so he has a grudge about Konoha. But Didera Senpei, Konoha looks scary. Obito's Afe pretends to be scared and said. In fact, he just didn't want to go to Konoha. The current Konoha's high-end combat power is more fishy than when third generation was there. Dealing with Konoha by himself will definitely expose most of his strength, and Obito doesn't want to expose too much yet. What are you talking about, you idiot coward? Didera scolded Afe angrily. Let's go. Uchiha Itachi said Soil. Chapter 106. Lend me the sealed book for a few days. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement Payne glanced at Itachi, he remembered Itachi and Kisame went to Konoha before, but failed. Are you sure? Pen asked. Is there a more suitable candidate? Itachi asked. Payne thought for a while, and there was indeed no more suitable candidate. He can go by himself, but if he acts now, what do his subordinates need? It's just the combination of Itachi and Kisame. Payne doesn't have confidence in them. You guys go together, but before that, Didera, you go and kill Orochimaru and get back the ring in his hand. Payne finally decided. Huh? The four of us go together? I can go alone. Didera was a little dissatisfied with Payne's decision, and he didn't care about killing Orochimaru at all. No, Didera Senpei, it will be very reassuring to have Itachi Senpei and Kisame Senpei. A fei pretended to be coy again. Shut up, you idiot. You don't have to go. Didera raged. Okay, so it's decided, the two of you go to Orochimaru first, and then go to Konoha with Itachi. Not wanting to hear the quarrel between the two, Payne left after giving the order. Seeing this, the others also left one after another. Didera and the others still have to deal with Orochimaru, and Itachi and the others have nothing to do for the time being, so we have to wait patiently for Didera and the others to come back to discuss the matter of going to Konoha. Konoha Hokage Building, the Naruto team returns with zero injuries. When Tsunade saw the four of them, he thought they hadn't caught up, but Naruto said, the mission has been successfully completed, members of the Akatsuki organization Hidan and Kakuzu have been killed. Tsunade and Shizune were taken aback. You must know that every member of the Akatsuki organization is not weaker than Orochimaru. Are you kidding me? Shizune subconsciously said. Naruto handed two Akatsuki rings to Tsunade. This is a ring that connects their members, but it seems that the ring is bound to the soul, or for some other reason, I can't use it. Tsunade picked up the ring and inspected it, but didn't see anything special. Advertisement however, since Naruto said that it was an item linked to each other by the Akatsuki organization, it would certainly not be a lie. Shizune, I'll study it later. Tsunade threw the ring to Shizune and said. Yes, Master Tsunade. Shizune took the ring. Tsunade looked at Naruto and the four again, you guys have done a good job this time, um, you will receive the rewards according to the S-level tasks. W. I don't want money, I hope to get other rewards, Naruto said suddenly. What payment do you want? Tsunade asked. Lend me the sealed book for a few days, Naruto laughed. How can it be, sealing techniques are all forbidden techniques, learning will be dangerous, Shizune said. Isn't the development of ninjutsu just for people to learn? Is it possible that after developing ninjutsu and listing it as a forbidden technique, you can't learn it? Naruto said speechlessly. In Naruto's view, listing these powerful ninjutsu as forbidden technique is not mainly to prevent some ninjas from being in danger. The more important thing is that once these powerful ninjutsu are spread, the entire Konoha will become difficult to manage. It may even allow the powerful ninjutsu to flow out, enhancing the strength of other ninja villages. Shizune was speechless. Okay. Tsunade agreed. But just as Tsunade agreed, several Anbu appeared beside him. Master Tsunade, think twice, Naruto, after all. 
is the incarnation of nine tails after all, he is already very strong, if he learns more forbidden technique, maybe no one in Konoha can suppress Fei. That's right, Master Tsunade. The records in the Book of Seals are not ordinary ninjutsu, they are all powerful and weird ninjutsu. Stand back, I will make my own judgment. She ignored Anbu's opinion, although most of her Anbu were new members selected by her, but there were also many old Anbu. These old Anbu ninjas have a deep fear of nine tails. But Master Tsunade, am I Hokage, or are you Hokage? Tsunade looked at Anbu with indifferent eyes. Advertisement Anbu lowered his head unconsciously, wishing. Having said all Anbu continued to hide. Tsunade stood up and took out the sealed book from a hidden compartment with a seal. He gave the book to Naruto and said, I'll give you two days to read it here. Naruto knew Tsunade's difficulties, so he didn't make things difficult for her. After receiving the sealed book, Naruto turned to the other three girls and said, You guys go away, I'm going to stay here for two days. Then we'll go first. Enko waved and left first. Azuki Shien looked at Naruto, hesitated, and left. Naruto, what do you want to eat tonight? I'll bring it to you, little Sakura asked. No, I'll have dinner with Hokage-sama tonight. Naruto rejected little Sakura's offer. Oh, okay. Shaolo left feeling a little disappointed. After the three girls left, Tsunade continued to work, and Naruto began to learn the ninjutsu in the sealed book. First, multiple shadow clone. Got it, skipped. The second, tandem paper bombs. A level infinite blasting ninjutsu. A ninjutsu that uses a single detonating symbol as attraction to attract other countless detonating symbols to converge and explode. Ding. Your ninjutsu is too competitive. Learn a level ninjutsu tandem paper bombs. Close black lens bracket. Naruto took out two detonating symbols, injected his own chakra, and then cast an enchantment ninjutsu to cover himself in a two-meter radius. What is that guy doing? Several Anbu ninjas looked at Naruto with some doubts. Even Tsunade stopped what he was doing and stared at Naruto when he saw Naruto start to fiddle with something. Advertisement after a while, Tsunade and the others saw Naruto cast a small ward, and then... Dot one detonator rushed towards another detonator. Bang! The explosive power did not escape from the barrier, but the sound escaped. Tsunade and the group of Anbu were startled by the sudden sound. Are you crazy? Blowing up detonators at the Hokage building? Playing? A few Anbu appeared in front of Tsunade, afraid that Naruto would take out a few more detonating charms and die with them. As for Tsunade, he looked at Naruto's action but it sounded second Hokage, Senju Tobarama. As this era's ninjutsu? Tsunade thought. Back off. Tsunade asked several Anbu to continue hiding in the dark. Several Anbu wanted Tsunade to expel Naruto, but thinking of Tsunade's attitude towards Naruto, they had no choice but to hide in dejection. At this time, Naruto, who was in the center of the explosion of the detonator, did not take any damage. Just nodded with some satisfaction, and started the next ninjutsu. Huh. Just learned it in 4.1, or do you think it's too hard to give up? Tsunade had doubts in his heart but seeing that Naruto was concentrating on his studies again, he couldn't bear to disturb him, so he could only talk later. The third forbidden technique, impure world reincarnation. This technique can summon the soul of a dead ninja back to the world, and resurrect it in physical form. The resurrected ninja can use the ninjutsu of his life, which can be matched with the detonating symbol to cause a large-scale explosion. This ninjutsu is the first version, and the resurrected ninjas will not gain the power to win a complete victory, and it is not even known if they will be completely dead. And Orochimaru's improved impure world reincarnation is the truly powerful forbidden technique. Ding. Your ninjutsu is too competitive. Learn level 5 ninjutsu impure world reincarnation. Close black lens bracket. Chapter 107 Drunk Tsunade Jiraiya returns previous chapter. Next chapter advertisement in one afternoon. Naruto learned many forbidden techniques such as water-style big explosion water shockwave, soul imprisonment technique, water-style water dragon bite explosion, summoning five-fold rashomon, dark walk technique, etc. Even, because there are a lot of Senju Hashirama's wood-style ninjutsu, Naruto's wood-style is more powerful. At night, Naruto finished his study, Tsunade also finished work, and the two met to go to the tavern for a drink. As for Anbu and Shizune who were with Tsunade, they were dismissed by Tsunade. Leaf Tavern, Tsunade and Naruto sat opposite each other, drinking a small wine. Ah, cool, Tsunade said excitedly after drinking a small cup. You, you will never get rid of this habit, so careless. Naruto laughed dumbfounded, and also took a sip. 
I can't help it, I'm too tired to be Hokage. Tsunade shook his head and acted like a little girl. While acting like a spoiled child, Tsunade poured wine into his mouth, the wine was like a sea. You'll be retired in a few years, Naruto said. Although taming Tsunade is not out of mind, but after getting along for a long time, it is inevitable that there will still be feelings. In fact, if possible, Naruto 18 still wants to get to know Tsunade, but he really doesn't have confidence in his own words. Talking about everything is not as concise as a trick distinguished heavenly gods, Naruto really didn't like trouble at that time. Naruto asked Tsunade to return to Konoha as a Hokage, but it was just to reduce trouble. Tsunade sighed, who will replace me when I retire? You. She is obviously not at ease with the current juniors. As for Jiraiya, the guy sent her back to Konoha and went out to collect the material again. I haven't come back yet. Advertisement even more worrying. Kakashi, his strength has initially reached cage level, Naruto said. Tsunade thought of the ninja who wore a mask to do tasks all day long, I don't think he has any ideas. We don't need to take into account what he thinks, Naruto laughed. Tsunade looked at Naruto, for a while, also laughed dumbfounded. You're still so dark. He took another sip and said, how many ninjutsu have you learned? 80%. Naruto thought for a while and said, 80%? Tsunade looked shocked, you learned 80% of ninjutsu just by looking at it, don't you need to practice it? Is this surprising? Naruto smiled, making it hard to tell. Tsunade froze for a moment, then sighed, yes, my master. Although willing, Tsunade still feels that Naruto's Versailles look is very flat but she generally can't blame Naruto unless she's working as Hokage. For some reason, she can be allowed to criticize Naruto. Want to kill me? Naruto saw Tsunade's thoughts. No, Tsunade murmured, taking a sip of his wine. Naruto looked at the very cute Tsunade, and joked. If you don't mean it, be careful to punish you for going to my house today. Tsunade blushed, didn't speak, just kept drinking. Late at night Tsunade was so drunk that Naruto sent him back to his house. I am also ready to go home. But as soon as he left Tsunade's house, an unexpected person appeared in front of him. Advertisement, Ms. Jiraiya. Naruto? Why are you here? The two asked each other at the same time. After a moment of silence, Naruto said, Miss Tsunade is drunk, if you want to find her, come tomorrow. Drunk? Jiraiya glanced at Naruto suspiciously. Tsunade never gets drunk in front of people, but now he gets drunk in front of Naruto and sends him home? Suspicious really suspicious, then I'll come back tomorrow, Jiraiya said. Go to get together? The hot spring hotel is not closed at night, Naruto suggested. I thought about it for a while, and it's okay anyway, so I said, okay. Konoha hot spring hotel, Jiraiya and Naruto half submerged in the hot spring enjoying the warmth of the hot water. Naruto, what happened to Konoha during the two years I was away? Although Jiraiya pays close attention to Konoha, a lot of information is not available to the outside world. There are quite a few, for example, Senior Asuma died at the hands of Thunder God and Function Brothers, Teacher Kakashi mastered his own Mangekyo Sharingan and reached cage level strength, I killed Kakuzu and Hidan organized by Akatsuki not long ago, etc. They were all things that surprised Jiraiya, but the one that surprised him the most was Akatsuki. You killed two members of Akatsuki? Jiraiya asked in surprise. Naruto closed his eyes and said, Yeah, but to be precise, one of the guys named Hidan was killed by my subordinates. Your subordinate? Jiraiya didn't know about Naruto's promotion to lead Jonin. I have two groups of subordinates. The first group is composed of my former companions Haruno Sakura, Mitarashi Anko, and former members of the Might Guy team Neji and Tianshin. We have carried out missions together for two years, but they were killed by Might Guy a few months ago. I want to go back. Advertisement, my second batch of subordinates is composed of Chunin Haruno Sakura, Special Jonin Mitarashi Enko, and Azuki Yugo. A team has three Jonin and one Chunin? Jiraiya was speechless, is Tsunade so worried about you? Jiraiya thought that Tsunade was worried about Jinchuriki's accident, so he arranged such powerful subordinates for Naruto. Enko's strength has reached the point where Jonin can lead the Jonin, but she doesn't want to perform missions with other people so she stays in the special Jonin position and acts with me. 987, as for Azuki Shien, she heard that our team was short of one person, so she took the initiative to join. Actively join. The corner of Jiraiya's mouth twitched, he naturally knew what it meant. Your luck is too good, kid, Jiraiya complained. After complaining, Jiraiya thought of Tsunade again. Isn't it? 
The old woman also wants to eat young grass? Aren't you good too? Naruto's rhetorical question interrupted Jiraiya's wandering thoughts. I, looking back on his ninja career, Jiraiya would be still a virgin if he hadn't often visited the land of smoky willows. The more Jiraiya thought about it, the angrier she became, and she simply didn't continue. The two of them took a bath in silence. Jiraiya suddenly asked, Naruto, did you get any information from the two Akatsuki members you killed? Naruto snapped his eyes open and looked at Jiraiya. He suddenly remembered what time it is now, when Jiraiya discovered Akatsuki's hiding place and planned to sacrifice her life to find information. What's wrong? Jiraiya caught Naruto's gaze and asked. Naruto shook his head, and his posture returned to the look he enjoyed just now, it's nothing. Is there any information? Jiraiya asked again, he felt that Naruto's reaction just now was to know something. This time Naruto nodded and said, Yes, chapter 108 want to impress me with your mouth? Impossible. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement Jiraiya as his teacher after all, and Naruto still doesn't want him to die along with the plot. The remaining members of the Akatsuki organization are, Six Paths Pain, Afei, Didera, Z, Uchiha Itachi, Kisame Kaki, and Konan. Six Paths Pen refers to six people, but I think it's more like six golems. All six golems have Rinnegan. Rinnegan, or a six double, Jiraiya is in disbelief. That's right, it's six pairs, but although they all have Rinnegan, they have different abilities. I think it's very likely that they are puppets manipulated by Rinnegan. Naruto said pretending to be guessing. Akatsuki, Rinnegan, is that you? Nagato. Jiraiya frowned. The abilities are different, do you know their respective abilities? I only know that their respective abilities are different, and Kakuzu and Hidan don't know exactly how they are different. Naruto shook his head, he pretended to get the information from members of the Akatsuki organization, so naturally he couldn't know everything. It would be strange if Kakuzu and Hidan knew pain so well. Is that so? Jiraiya was a little disappointed. Naruto thought for a while and said, but considering that they are puppets and have the same pair of eyes, I think there is an ability that can make a bold guess. What ability? Vision sharing. Jiraiya was thoughtful, while Naruto patiently explained his guess. If the eyes of six people are all Rinnegan, and Rinnegan can't be a bad street, I think the most likely is that one person controls six paths pain, and six paths pain with the same pair of eyes is likely to have the ability to share vision. I see. Your guess is very reasonable. Jiraiya nodded, agreeing with Naruto's guess. Advertisement, Uchiha Itachi needless to say, he is very strong with Mangekio Sharingan, and his abilities include Amaterasu, the unquenchable flame, Sukuyomi, the strongest attack type illusion, and Suzano. So the most important thing to pay attention to when fighting against him is not to look directly into his eyes, and not to be directly looked at by him. Axed. Is this a match that man can face? It's outrageous not to be able to see the other party in a fight, but can't you let the other party see yourself? Hide and seek with eyes closed. Naruto saw Jiraiya's thoughts and said, of course, there is a certain buffer time for the release of Amaterasu, as long as the reaction is fast enough, it can still be avoided. The release of Amaterasu is not without cooling to see where it burns, at least before it burns, Uchiha Itachi's pupils need to rotate several times. If this is the case, then there are ways to deal with it, otherwise. Jiraiya suddenly felt that it was a pity that Itachi betrayed the village. If such a powerful person stays in Konoha, it will be a super powerful force. It's worth noting that the Akatsuki organization is not the only one with Mangekio Sharingan. Any other Uchiha people? Unknown, but he has at least one Mangekio Sharingan. This person's name is Afei, and his ability is space transfer. He can move his body into a different space to avoid all attacks. He can transfer other objects and people into a different space. The downside of Obito's ability is not said, nor is it possible for Kakuzu and Hidan to know. Another seemingly invincible guy, the eyes of the Uchiha clan are so powerful. Jiraiya complained. He knew that this ability must have shortcomings, but no one knew about it. Didara's ability is explosion, and Hoshigaki Kisami's ability is the powerful water style in his knife. It is definitely an existence that can travel through the ground and belongs to intelligence gathering, and its concealment ability is extremely strong. As for Conan, she is good at using paper-related escapism. Advertisement, Conan. Jiraiya naturally remembered this girl, she was also his former disciple. Great Toad Sage's prophecy is really true, his disciple is really someone who can change the world. But, this change is destroying, that's all the information, Naruto said. Jiraiya nodded, 
This information is very important, so I can go to Rain Shinobi Village with greater confidence. Are you still going? Naruto stood up abruptly, looking at Jiraiya. What do you mean? How do you know I'm going? Could it be? By the way, you know the information of the members of the Akatsuki organization, so there is no reason why you don't know the stronghold of the Akatsuki organization. It's just how do you know that I also know the headquarters of the Akatsuki organization? Seeing Jiraiya's suspicious gaze, Naruto soaked in the water silently. Can't explain clearly, simply don't explain. Seeing this, Jiraiya laughed, ha 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 ha, it doesn't matter, it's okay if you don't want to say it, at least I know you must be telling me so much for my own good, right? In order not to let me go to Rain Shinobi Village? Worried that I will die there? Naruto still didn't speak. After a pause, Jiraiya asked again. Does Tsunade know this information? Naruto said, I don't know. Now Jiraiya has finally decided what Naruto wants, he doesn't want to let himself go to Rain Shinobi Village. This made him a little happy, but he was a little disappointed to think that Naruto withheld such important information from the village. Naruto, you are good at everything, strong, handsome, and very lucky, but the only thing you don't care about is Konoha, sighed Jiraiya. Why should I care about it? Because I live here, Naruto asked back. Advertisement, you were born here and raised by Konoha, don't you have the feeling of home? I was born here, but it was not my will. As for upbringing, I was indeed not raised by Konoha. What Konoha gave me from a young age was no nurturing, and it was cold and cold. Mr. Jiraiya, you should be lucky that I didn't think about revenge on Konoha, let me love it, then I can't do it. Jiraiya doesn't know how Naruto was treated in Konoha when he was a child, but he can tell a thing or two from Naruto's language. That may be a small part. No, it's the vast majority. Naruto lightly interrupted Jiraiya's desire to continue persuading. Want to impress me with your words? Impossible. Qian Hao, Mr. Jiraiya, you don't need to expect too much from me. Someone will inherit the will of fire, but it will never be me. The thing you should consider now is to stay in Konoha and face the next attack from the Akatsuki organization with them. Naruto said. Jiraiya froze for a moment, then shook her head with a smile. Forget it, since you insist on this, then I won't interfere with you. It's just that if you want to attack Konoha someday, I will be the first to stand in front of you. Looking at Jiraiya's serious eyes again, Naruto said in a teasing tone, You can't stop me for 3000 seconds. Ext. Honestly, Naruto, what is your strength now? Naruto. It's hard to describe, but I can give you a reference. Saying that, Naruto turned his head to look at Jiraiya, his eyes turned blood red, and the ring-shaped pupils were very eye-catching. Mangekyo Sharingan. Lift. Chapter 109 Tenseigen's Involuted Body. Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement. Why do you have these eyes? Jiraiya looked at Naruto with a shocked expression. You can understand that I have the talent of copying, and I can learn all ninjutsu, body skills and talent boundaries without training. Saying that, Naruto's eyes turned into white eyes again. Naruto has had these eyes for a long time, but he has never used them. Baiyan's ability is still too weak compared to other powers, unless it can evolve into Tensigen. Open black lens bracket ding. Your white eyes suddenly felt inferior, and you evolved into a Tensigen in a heartbroken way. Close black lens bracket. Naruto. Naruto found that not only Hidon's body was working in its own way, but his own body was also working in its own way. And it's seriously introverted. In front of Jiraiya, Naruto's white eyes instantly turned into Tensigen. What are your eyes? Jiraiya didn't know Tensigen. Tensigen, the final evolution form of white eye. Naruto explained, with the ability, I can control repulsion and gravity, and I can enter Tensigen chakra mode. In this mode, I can use Yin Yang escape. Yin Yang Dun and Yin Yang Chakra are not the same thing. Yin Dun can create form invisibly, and Yang Dun can inject life into the form. The family ninjutsu of the Nara family and the Yamanaka family, and even medical ninjutsu or the use of chakra, the Yin and Yang attribute. There are also several powerful ninjutsu available. Jiraiya opened her mouth, trying to say something, but couldn't say it. Indeed, if Naruto wants to attack Konoha 623, he will definitely not be able to stop him. Fortunately, Naruto did not have this idea. Naruto's eyes returned to normal, Mr. Jiraiya, I have strength beyond your imagination, don't worry if I will. It's not good for Konoha, because it's useless for you to worry. Similarly, you don't have to worry about Shao organization, no matter how strong they are, they will never be stronger than me. Advertisement Jiraiya believed what Naruto said, but he had reasons to go to the Akatsuki organization. 
his disciple founded the Akatsuki organization, and he hopes to solve it himself if possible. Naruto, I'm glad you still care about me, an old man, but I have to deal with some things myself. What if you can't handle it? Naruto asked. Jiraiya froze for a moment, then smiled calmly. Then let's talk about it after I deal with it, ha ha ha. Naruto was silent, he didn't expect that what he said for a long time was useless. Turning around, Naruto left a flying thunder god mark on Jiraiya. Activate it if you need help, and I will be by your side in the next second. Jiraiya wanted to refuse, but seeing Naruto's serious look, she laughed and said, Okay. As a teacher, I'm really useless, and my disciples are even worried. The next day, the sun sets Jiraiya drinks with a revived Tsunade at a tavern. Tsunade is absent from work today. I found out that the headquarters of the Akatsuki organization is in Rain Shinobi village, and I plan to deal with it myself, Jiraiya said. Tsunade's drinking hand paused, then he drank it down and said, Are you sure? 80%, Jiraiya said pretending to be confident. But in fact, after listening to Naruto's information, he is only less than 50% sure. Really? Tsunade didn't believe it, Russia send an Anbu team to go with you, 17. Help you improve your confidence by 20%. Jiraiya's face froze, no, it's more convenient for me to go alone, even if I can't beat me, I can escape. If you give me a small team, I may be dragged down by them and unable to leave. Tsunade naturally knew this truth, that's how second Hokage Senju Tobarama died. Advertisement if it is not to keep the queen, how could Tobarama die in the hands of Jinjiao with his superb flying thunder god? Then I'll let Naruto go with you. Tsunade really didn't want her only old friend to die. For Jiraiya's safety, she was even willing to ask Naruto to go out of the village to perform a mission. Jiraiya didn't expect Tsunade to be so willing. It goes without saying how important Naruto is to the village. And from the drunkenness Tsunade was willing to drink in front of Naruto yesterday, it can be seen that the relationship between the two is not normal. You and Naruto? Jiraiya asked. Tsunade's face was slightly red, but because he was a little drunk, it was impossible to tell whether the redness was caused by what was said to his heart or because he was drunk. I value him, Tsunade said vaguely. Her relationship with Naruto can never be known, but with Jiraiya, she doesn't want to lie either. Yes, Naruto is indeed, Beeb, a monster of a genius. Jiraiya didn't think much, I think Tsunade regards Naruto as a younger brother at most. He never thought that the two of them were already together, or even that they were still in a master-servant relationship. How about it? I'll let Naruto go with you. With him going with you, I'm absolutely 100% sure that I can come back safely. Tsunade said again. I naturally believe this, Naruto's strength is far inferior to mine. But. Some things have to be dealt with by me, and I will deal with it alone. Sensing Jiraiya's remorse, Tsunade asked, did you know something? Jiraiya looked at Tsunade, opened and then closed his mouth. He took out a scroll from his clothes and handed it to Tsunade. If I don't come back, you just open this scroll, and what's inside will tell you the answer. Tsunade took the scroll and saw that there were restrictions on it. This restriction is to prevent you from peeping. If you forcefully break the restriction, the text in the scroll will also disappear. Jiraiya. Tsunade was a little annoyed, playing this kind of trick at an old age. Well, well. Don't be so fierce, just treat it as my will. Jiraiya blushed and waved. Advertisement what is recorded in the scroll is what Naruto said to him last night, and the reasons why he had to go. Tsunade watched Jiraiya playing tricks, and could only sigh helplessly. After drinking, the two came to sit quietly on a bench by the side of the road. At this time the sun was setting, and a few birds flew by. After a long time, Jiraiya said with a cute look again. Don't be so sad, it's not like I won't be back. Who is sad? Tsunade gave Jiraiya a blank look. Her sadness has always been on the surface, so it is really not convincing for her to say so. Why don't you take a gamble? Aren't you a big fat sheep, 10 bets and 10 loses? If that's the case, you bet that I won't come back, Jiraiya laughed. Tsunade looked at Jiraiya, emotional inside, but silent on the surface. After a while, he said, okay, I bet you won't come back this time. Then I will definitely come back this time, ha 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 ha, Jiraiya laughed. After laughing, Jiraiya suddenly became emotional, if I come back. Tsunade froze for a moment, and was about to refuse. Just kidding, Tien's kidding. Goodbye. After speaking, Jiraiya turned and left, very chic. Tsunade looked at the back of Jiraiya leaving, not showing the expression of the little woman in the original book, but only worried about the old friend. 
At this time, Naruto, who had finished learning the sealed scroll, suddenly appeared beside Tsunade. He clapped his hands on Tsunade's shoulder and said, It's okay, I left the flying thunder god mark on the teacher. Hearing what Naruto said, Tsunade was finally relieved and smiled. With the guarantee of the owner, there will be nothing wrong with Jiraiya. What they didn't know was that Jiraiya, who had his back turned to them, waved away the flying thunder god mark left by Naruto. Chapter 110 Conan impregnated with toad oil previous chapter. Next chapter advertisement rain shinobi village. The originally majestic heavy rain did not know when it would stop, and countless paper butterflies were flying in the air. Finally fly back to the tallest tower to the west. It's Jiraiya. The paper butterflies converged into a human form on the west tower, and half of Conan's body appeared. Standing in front of Conan is the beast path in six paths pen n. Ms. Jiraiya? He's not going to be our companion, is he? Probably. Conan was a little uncertain. He knew that if for Nagato, he couldn't be a companion, then kill Jiraiya. I have been taught by Jiraiya for several years, but I still don't care about it. Then kill him, it's meaningless to miss him now. I understand. Conan made up his mind, and his body turned into pieces of paper and flew away. I'll hold him off before you come. Seemingly seeing Conan's hesitation, the beast said to encourage Conan, if possible, it's okay to kill him. After speaking, the two headed towards Jiraiya, tower bottom. Jiraiya uses Toad Shulker to control the shadow of the minion hiding in Rain Shinobi Village and control his progress. Conan who rushed here first saw this ninja from Rain Shinobi Village. The first time I guessed that it was Jiraiya's transformation, because people in Rain Shinobi Village didn't dare to approach this tower. After confirming the guess, Conan directly turned into paper and flew around the person, just when she thought she had succeeded, she turned into a figure and wanted to pierce him with a paper sword. Advertisement Jiraiya suddenly appeared from the ground. Fire style. Toad flame bomb. In fact, Jiraiya and Conan will have a better chance of stabbing this little guy's instant attack. But Jiraiya admires this young man's ninja way, so he doesn't want to sacrifice him to create opportunities for himself. And because of this tenderness, when Jiraiya's fire style pounced on Conan, it gave her time to react and eventually dodge. Toad shadow manipulation? Conan said while staring at Jiraiya in a steady figure. Yeah, I originally wanted to use it against pain, but I didn't expect you to be the one to take the bait. Your art skills have become sharper, and your appearance has become a nice woman, Conan. Jiraiya smiled reassuringly. Conan stared at Jiraiya blankly, years of suffering had made her stern. Even so, it can be seen from the fact that she didn't act immediately. Conan still has a little affection for Jiraiya. Seeing that Conan didn't speak, Jiraiya took the initiative to find a topic. I thought you were dead, but I didn't expect it to turn into a piece of paper. As soon as he finished speaking, the Rain Shinobi village ninja under Jiraiya suddenly woke up. Seeing Conan's appearance, he was surprised and said, You are the messenger angel. Oh, master angel? Jiraiya looked at Conan. I didn't expect you to be the spokesperson of that god, that god. Is it Nagato, or Yahiko? Conan finally changed his expression. How do you know? Before Jiraiya could reply, the boy from Rain Shinobi Village said again, This man is an intruder, Master Angel, deal with him quickly. While talking, he ran towards Shaoxing. But Conan didn't want him to get close, stay away from here a little bit. Yes. Obedient, the Rain Shinobi Village ninja, who worshipped Conan and the others as gods, quickly jumped away, stepped on the tower wall and left here after a few maneuvers. Tell me, how do you know? Conan asked with a flat eye on Jiraiya. Advertisement, of course I have my sources, well Conan. Let Nagato and Yahiko come out and talk to me, I have a few questions for him. Jiraiya did not confess to Naruto, and the fact that Pain is Nagato is nothing more than his guess based on Naruto's information. With Conan's acknowledgement now, it seems that there is no wrong guess. As for Yahiko, Jiraiya doesn't think he will hold a normal position in the Akatsuki organization. You must know that Yahiko was the eldest brother of the two. Conan looked at Jiraiya, was silent for a while, and finally flew into the sky as if he had made up his mind. Wings made of paper appear on both sides. None of this has anything to do with the teacher. Is this the so-called angel? Jiraiya felt that it was not worthwhile for Conan to turn himself into this, is there any benefit for you to become like this? People are not like people, and pieces of paper are not like pieces of paper. Conan did not answer Jiraiya, but said flatly, This is God's order, I will kill you. She repeated Nagato's advice to her before she set off, and she wanted to make herself tough to deal with Jiraiya. 
God? Jiraiya frowned, is that how Nagato named his new identity? Ask for flowers, zero dance of paper countless pieces of paper rained down on Jiraiya. Not to be outdone, Jiraiya countered with fire style almost simultaneously. To deal with paper escape, fire style has a lot of advantages. After all, fire can burn paper. But even so, Conan's paper sword rain was even better, suppressing Jiraiya instead. Seeing that his fire style was lost, Jiraiya immediately gave up and continued to use it, turned around and bowed his head to avoid the paper sword attack. The paper sword pierced through countless stone slabs like an iron sword, and Jiraiya took advantage of the inertia of Conan's ninjutsu to cast toad oil bombs and spit out countless toad oil at Conan. Advertisement Conan did not dodge in a hurry, and was drenched in toad oil all over his body. The whole body, from head to toe, Conan was covered with this yellow liquid. Conan was drenched in toad oil, showing a flat expression of disgust. She couldn't bear these disgusting things on her body. But there is no way to bear it. The shortcoming of her ninjutsu is that she herself has become a paper doll. This toad oil is being absorbed into her body by her. The piece of paper cannot change form when it encounters toad oil. Jiraiya, as her ninjutsu teacher, naturally knows the anomaly. So he didn't let go of any chance, and immediately used his unique secrets to control hair growth to instantly lengthen his hair by more than 10 meters, binding Conan in midair. At this time, Conan is the real fish in the jar. You who like origami are as gentle as ever, little one. The ninjutsu used is also harmless to humans and animals. He could have killed Conan with one blow just now, but Jiraiya didn't come here to find them to kill them. He wants to prevent the Akatsuki organization from continuing to make mistakes. Stop your disciples from continuing to make mistakes. Escape with your mouth. Where are Yahiko and Nagato? Let them come out and talk to me. Conan lowered his head and said nothing. At this time, her heart is full of nostalgia for Yahiko, worry for Nagato, and a trace of hatred for Jiraiya. If Jiraiya-sensei had been with them all the time, or could have saved Yahiko when they encountered that situation. What's the point of you appearing in front of us now? Teacher Jiraiya. Chapter 111. A Madman Talks Like a Beast. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement, if you weren't members of Akatsuki, maybe I wouldn't be here. At that time, I thought you were all dead, but I didn't expect you to become like this now. Jiraiya's expression was solemn, and there seemed to be a trace of regret and disappointment. It would have been nice to have done what Orochimaru said back then, wouldn't it? But it was too late, we had already acted on his will. Conan said flatly, as if he wanted to bid farewell to the past. I never thought about it that way, it's just, a little sad. I taught you how to survive in troubled times. Now that we meet again without even saying hello, I'm really chilling. Saying this, Jiraiya paused, as if to soothe his grief. After leaving you for several years, I can still hear your names occasionally. You became famous in several wars, 150. Then I heard you were dead. Conan. The teacher didn't understand us after that. Jiraiya. I really don't understand, but is that why you guys became Akatsuki? Everything Akatsuki did was wrong. Just as Jiraiya flinched at Conan, a figure appeared on the high platform behind Conan. That's the answer we got through ourselves, teacher Jiraiya. Jiraiya looked to Beast Road, saw him and Rinnegan asked, Are you Six Paths Pain, or Nagato himself? Although the person in front of him was nothing like the original Nagato, he still expected that Nagato would show up and talk to him. Animal Road looked at Jiraiya, It's not important, teacher Jiraiya. Jiraiya frowned, and asked again, What happened all these years to make you like this? Hearing this sentence, Animal Dao finally couldn't help it, This has nothing to do with you, you are just an outsider. He was afraid of being disturbed by Jiraiya, so he directly used summoning technique to fight with him. Advertisement putting hands together, a huge summoning pattern appeared behind Animal Dao. Then a huge double-clawed lobster appeared, spitting out a large piece of foam. Jiraiya didn't know what it was, but she didn't want to be touched by it, so she pulled her hair back for a moment, avoiding the sea of foam. Flipping and jumping a few times in the air, Jiraiya stepped on the tower wall. Bubble. As expected of my student, I know how to use this to wash the oil stains on Conan's body. Jiraiya complimented. Conan got out of control and floated in the air like a piece of paper towards the animal road. Conan, stand back. Nagato didn't want Conan to participate in the next battle. Conan understood, and drifted away, but at the same time, she glanced at Jiraiya again. No one knows what she is thinking at this time. Maybe recall the beauty of the year, maybe want to remember this teacher who is about to be killed. 
After Conan backed away, Animal Dao raised his hand to make a seal. Controlled the lobster who didn't know when to hide in the foam group and rushed to Jiraiya. Jiraiya took two small steps to avoid the flying foam, and then made a mudra with both hands. Lion hair technique. Jiraiya's hair grows like a lion's head and dismembers the oncoming lobster. Then the hair grew wildly like a worm with sharp teeth and sharp mouth for tens of meters, wrapping the animal road into the wall. At this time, the foam scattered on the ground, and a corner of Jiraiya's long hair was loosened, revealing the beast's head. Nagato, I have a few questions for you. How is Yahiko? Advertisement regardless of whether this person is the puppet pain or Nagato's body, it is Nagato himself. Only Nagato can manipulate the puppet pain with Rinnegan. Conan's expression changed slightly, as if some bad memories had been brought back. Animal Dao shrunk his eyes and looked gloomy. Ah, there was indeed such a guy, but... He died a long time ago. That kind of guy. Nagato felt that the reason why Yahiko died at the beginning was because he insisted on Jiraiya's philosophy, and he had too many beautiful illusions about the world. The world doesn't need those beauties. People who have never felt pain. Haven't felt the world of ultimate pain. If they don't remember those good things, people will just keep repeating wars and killings. Nagato. Dot you. Jiraiya was a little dissatisfied that Nagato mentioned Yahiko's indifference, and he still remembered what Nagato told him about his ambitions. Back then, Nagato said that he only wanted to protect Yahiko and Conan. What the hell is going on? The old you. It's nothing. Nagato interrupted Jiraiya, who had just been through the war. As he spoke, Nagato lowered his head slightly, as if remembering. A lot of people died here, it was this kind of pain that made me grow up. What the hell is going on? Jiraiya felt Nagato's pain. But Nagato still didn't answer Jiraiya, just said to himself, an ignorant child will become an adult after knowing the pain, and he will grow both in speech and thinking. So you think letting go of missing your friends is growth? Jiraiya snapped. Teacher. Dot you are just a mortal, but after experiencing infinite pain, I surpassed mortals and continued to grow. What are you talking about? Jiraiya thought Nagato had gone mad. Advertisement but Nagato still said to himself, Yes, from a mortal to a god. Jiraiya stared at the animal with a serious expression. Once you become a god, everything you say and think will be considered from the perspective of a god. Teacher, you are just a mortal, it's normal not to understand what I said. Nagato also has a little fantasy about Jiraiya, so he is still just a mortal. He also doesn't want to kill Jiraiya if he can. He also wanted Jiraiya to understand their pain and join them if he could. But obviously Jiraiya and them cannot be the same way. I didn't expect you to be so paranoid. Jiraiya said with a heavy tone. Things that can't be recognized from the perspective of a mortal, I can recognize clearly after becoming a god. So just because I am a god, I realize that I can do things that mortals cannot do at 4.3. Simply put, it is human evolution. Animal Road was talking to himself, but Xiao Xing's eyes on the side were a little downcast. In fact, she doesn't fully agree with Nagato's paranoia, such Nagato makes her heartache, and she doesn't want Nagato to live in pain. But all she has left is Nagato, and after that war, the grief that Yahiko's death brought to her still cannot be buried today. Her future can only follow Nagato all the way to the end. Although Jiraiya didn't understand a series of crazy words that Nagato said, she still heard that Nagato wanted to do a big thing. What exactly are you trying to do? Jiraiya asked. Animal Road closed his eyes, as if he was expounding his truest thoughts. I want to put an end to this war-torn world. This, is the will of God. Chapter 112. The Infinitely Divided Vicious Dog, The Unpleasant Eyes. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement taking a deep breath, Jiraiya completely regarded Nagato as an enemy at this moment. But before that, he still needs to obtain some information. If that's your purpose, what do you collect tailed beasts for? Nagato has already regarded Jiraiya as a dead person in his heart, and out of old friendship, he decided to talk nonsense with Jiraiya again. You're going to die anyway, if you want to know, I'll tell you. Jiraiya stared at the beast, afraid to say anything next. Our purpose of catching tailed beasts is to use the sealed tailed beasts to create a new forbidden technique. As long as we use that technique, even a big country can be destroyed in an instant. And Akatsuki who has mastered this weapon can bring true peace to the ninja world. As soon as the words fell, a giant gecko appeared behind the beast to help him get rid of Jiraiya's hair. Jiraiya knows the purpose of Akatsuki's organization and what Nagato's mistake is. He was also unwilling to turn around and leave. 
he wanted to try to prevent his disciple from continuing to make mistakes, force. Summoning Technique Jiraiya summoned Toad Ken, sat on its head, and folded his hands together. 18. Head Ken, please delay for a while, I want to summon Fukusaku Sage and Shima Sage, and use Sage Magic. During this period, my hands cannot be separated, please. The amount of chakra released in an instant by the summoning technique of summoning the immortal is very large, and Jiraiya needs time to prepare. Toad Jien's forehead was covered with cold sweat, and he said rather inferiorly, Although I am weak, I will do my best. Jiraiya is preparing for the fairy art, but the animal Dao Pain on the other side has completely disappeared. It turned out that the one just now was not a giant gecko, but a chameleon. Advertisement, stealth? It's a little troublesome now, Jiraiya said with a headache. Toad Jien's perception ability is not outstanding, facing this kind of opponent without stature may not be able to help him block the next attack. You can only use enchantment ninjutsu. Jiraiya said that the chakra on his body was released invisible, and a barrier that could be seen in an instant was attached to half of the tower. As Jiraiya's disciple, Nagato naturally recognized this enchantment ninjutsu. I remember this ninjutsu will be discovered as long as someone enters. Animal Road thought about it, and gave up the plan of feigned attack. Summoning Technique On the top of the tower, a three-headed dog was summoned by the beast, and flew towards Jiraiya. Oh, changed tactics. Jiraiya thought to himself, and then quickly ordered Hama Ken under him. Mr. Toad Ken. I know, although I am weak, but I will try my best. I don't know why Hama Jien has always been so unconfident, but his strength ranks first in Mount Myoboku. Toad Jien used the wall to move constantly, and appeared next to the three-headed dog with a more flexible posture. Then use your own spiny harpoon to fix it on the wall. Isn't this very strong? Jiraiya praised. Where is it? Hamojian said modestly. While the two were talking, the three-headed dog suddenly split into three and turned into three dogs with small wings. What the hell is this? Just when Jiraiya and Gama Ken were shocked, a dog beast was left near Gama Ken's harpoon. Advertisement The dog beast suddenly split in two and rushed towards Jiraiya and Gama Ken. The three-headed dog divided into four dog heads. Four vicious dogs pounced on Toad Jian. Seeing this, Toad Jian immediately went to get his weapon. But because of being besieged, he couldn't dodge as much as he was attacked by one of the vicious dogs, and the blood flowed from Toad's leg. Fortunately, Hatoa Jien had already taken back his weapon at this time. Although he was chased and beaten by several vicious dogs, he was not injured again. Toad Jien moved around on the wall of the tower several times, hoping to find a chance to counterattack the vicious dog Bibi. But these vicious dogs are too vigorous, and they have the jumping ability not to lose to their toads. Helpless, Toad Jien took down the shield he was carrying, stuck it on a pillar in the tower, turned sharply down and recalled his shield. An abrupt action temporarily freed it from the siege of vicious dogs. At this moment, Toad Ken is at the bottom of the tower with Jiraiya on his back, and all four dogs are at the top of the tower. The two sides are against each other. The atmosphere is tense for a while. After a pause, the four vicious dogs rushed towards Toad Jien first. Toad Jien did not show weakness, although Toad's legs were still bleeding, but he was still fierce and abnormal. Holding the water chestnut harpoon, he raised his hand and blasted the vicious dog that rushed up first. The vicious dog was blown up and turned into orange smoke, and then turned into three other vicious dogs, using the smoke to pounce on Ha Mo Jian. But Toad Jien had already become serious, jumping across the tower quickly, Richa knocked out a vicious dog. In the end, when the water pipes in countless towers were blown up, all the vicious dogs were blown up and bound in the gaps in the water pipes. Sure enough, Ha Toa Jien is the kind of master who is ruthless and doesn't speak, but once he speaks, his flaws will be obvious. Toad Jien held the water pipe on the tower with one hand, and Jiraiya stood on its head and kept praising it. Of course, thinking that Toad Jien was injured, he still couldn't help but said, With such strength, you should do it more beautifully. Toad Jien's hand grabbing the water pipe suddenly slipped, leaving toad blood stains on the water pipe. Advertisement, because I'm very useless. Ha Mo Jian lowered his head and said in a low tone and inferiority. Such a tone really makes it hard to tell if it is pretending to be a master, or if it is really inferior. These guys are fighting more and more, and they don't know what kind of monster it is. We need to find a tight place to deal with them. As soon as Jiraiya finished speaking, 737, Toad Jian tore off the water pipe and fell towards the tower. At this time, those vicious dogs just jumped out from the gap in the water pipe and continued to chase Toad Jian. 
But Tou Jian kept turning in circles in the complicated water pipes, making it impossible for these vicious dogs with several heads to find him for a while. Just a game of peekaboo, not easy in this unfair environment. Tou Jian just threw off a few vicious dogs before being overtaken by two vicious dogs with seven or eight heads. And they were surrounded by a vicious dog behind them. Surrounded. Jiraiya murmured. When the siege was in place, one of the vicious dogs with seven or eight heads ran over, and instantly transformed into seven or eight vicious dogs and rushed towards Hama Jian. Split. As soon as Jiraiya finished speaking, seven or eight vicious dogs had rushed forward. Tou Jian was not flustered either, holding a wheat harpoon in one hand and kept spinning, one by one to catch the loathing that was flying towards him. At this moment, the vicious dogs that surrounded them swooped in. Watch out behind. Jiraiya has been using perception enchantment ninjutsu, and she knows everything around her like the back of her hand. Therefore, the sneak attack of the vicious dog did not have unexpected results. However, this enchantment ninjutsu is quite similar to the white eyes of the Hyuga family. It seems that as long as you master this ninjutsu, the result will be. In terms of perception, there is no need for the Hyuga family. Chapter 113 Learn from Naruto Sauce, Smart and Cute Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement Tou Jian jumped up to avoid the attack of the vicious dog behind him. After several rounds of fighting with these vicious dogs, I was exhausted. Jiraiya, who noticed that Toad's physical strength was about to reach the upper line, began to use Shadow Clone to constantly attract the attention of the beast. Infinitely split vicious dogs, three-legged vultures, huge bison. Summoning beasts appeared one after another and eliminated Jiraiya Shadow Clone one after another. Finally, he was sure of summoning two immortals. Mr. Toad Ken, I'm sorry for you, I've finished you, you should go back to Mount Myoboku first. Sorry, I'm so useless. The self-abased Toad Ken used inverse. Summoning technique to return to Mount Myoboku. At this moment, Jiraiya was fully embraced by the huge bison summoning beast. Fortunately, Jiraiya is experienced in fighting and stands with his feet on one side on the wild nose. Boom. Jiraiya was pushed into the tower wall with a loud bang. Silence for a second. The raging flames from the tower wall cave that was knocked open knocked the bison summoning into the air and disappeared in smoke. At this time, the beast who was hiding in the dark stood up, blinking his eyes a few times, as if he didn't understand what happened. Obviously the summoning beast pushed Jiraiya into the tower. Why did the summoning beast disappear? At this time, in the pagoda cave, the voice of immortal Jima could be heard faintly. Really, every time you transform into sage mode, you have to call us out, you can't be like Naruto-chan, smart and cute. Mum, don't blame Jiraiya, not everyone is as smart as Naruto's kid. Jiraiya didn't know whether Fukasaku Sento was speaking for himself or hurting himself. Advertisement Although I am not as talented as Naruto, I am still a person with extraordinary talent, right? Father, don't excuse this kid. If he had half the talent of Naruto-chan, he wouldn't make us so miserable. No wonder Mrs. Wen has a lot of complaints about Jiraiya, because this kid is so useless. Mom, this is too bad for Naruto, isn't it? At least Naruto won't make us worry too much. You can see that Naruto can transform into sage mode in a second. If you look at this kid again, it takes a long time to transform into sage mode. I'm sorry for calling you out suddenly, boss, big sister. Jiraiya doesn't want to be hurt anymore, he has no face. By the way, don't you really dislike becoming like this? What kind of opponent made you make this decision this time? No way, this time the enemy has Rinnegan. Rinnegan? The Eye of Six Paths, such a thing actually exists. We only heard about it from the Great Toad Sage, but we didn't expect to be lucky enough to see these eyes for ourselves. Some can't wait. The three of them walked towards the entrance of the cave while talking. In the next second, Jiraiya in four-player mode jumped out of the hole and went outside. Boom. The powerful chakra spewed out uncontrollably, and suddenly stepped on the ground to create a small hole. Of course, the volume of this chakra is far from that of Emperor Guy when the eight inner gates were fully opened. Sento Fukasaku. Huh. What about Rinnegan, is it because we are too old to see others? Jiraiya. No, the opponent is now hiding in a summoning beast that can become invisible, so I can't see it. Immortal Shima. An invisible summoning beast. A chameleon or something. Jiraiya nodded and said, although I have been using the perception barrier, I haven't found him. Advertisement. Then let's use the biological sensory enchantment to force him out at once. Immortal Jima said with a temper. Immortal Fukasaku. 
F asterisk king mother, don't be so hot tempered, and watch out for a few wrinkles. Immortal Jima. Daddy, shut up. By the way, why do you have to fight this person? Little Jiraiya, Fukasaku Sento asked. Because that enemy is my disciple, as a teacher, I have an obligation to prevent them from continuing to make mistakes, Jiraiya replied. Immortal Fukasaku was a little surprised, your disciple. Why have I never heard you say this? If he is the same, then that guy is also. Jiraiya nodded and said, that's right, he is also the son of prophecy said by the great toad sage, the leader of change. At this moment, Beast Dao, who had been hiding all this time, finally appeared, and summoned Human Dao and Hungry Kido using the summoning technique. The other two puppets appeared through summoning, so why did they only send summoning beasts to deal with me before? Is it because the summoning golem also needs a time buffer? Jiraiya guessed. Nagato, you have five puppets, TNGN has summoned them all. Jiraiya wants to use the aggressive method to see if he can find out the reality of the animal way. If this is the case, then he can clean up the three puppets first. After cleaning up these three puppets, it will be easy to deal with the other two. But the actual results are often unsatisfactory. As soon as Jiraiya finished speaking, Nagato said in an animal way, since the teacher asked so, then I will grant you. After talking about the animal way, it was another summoning technique, which summoned the other two puppets, Pain. Jiraiya-chan. What are you doing? Sento Fukasaku and Sento Shima angrily scolded Jiraiya for being an idiot. One was already difficult to deal with, but now they deal with five directly? Advertisement, sorry sorry, I didn't expect it to become like this. Jiraiya could only scratch her head and apologize. Forget it, since the matter has already happened, let's concentrate on fighting. One hit five, mother of the child, you have to be more serious. Understood, the child's father, you are so noisy. Sage Art Goman. Jiraiya uses oil done, Fukasaku Senjin uses wind style, and Shima Senjin uses fire style. With such a sea of oil and fire, the fairy art blown by the wind rushed towards the five puppet pain. At this time, the hungry Kido stood up, opened his hands and directly swallowed all the oil and fire. A burst of smoke dissipated, and the entire tower was still as white as a wash. Able to absorb ninjutsu? Jiraiya was a little surprised. Next, Try using melee, Wang Qianhao, combat. By the way, Naruto said that they may enjoy shared vision, so boss, big sister, please pay attention to this point. Shima Sento said, We know this, Naruto came to Mount Myoboku not long ago and told us that you will have an opponent who will be able to share sight soon. Jiraiya was taken aback, did Naruto go to Mount Myoboku? Immortal Shima glanced at Jiraiya, that kid comes here often, you just don't know. Be careful, little Jiraiya. Sensei Fukasaku reminded Jiraiya that enemies are coming. The attack is from the human world, and the combat power is not very strong. In terms of ability, it is similar to that of the Yamanaka family. Faced with this weak chicken, Jiraiya knocked him down with a single turn and kick. It's a pity that Ren Ren Dao, as the puppet of Pen, is not strong, but his ability to resist beating is not weaker than other Pen. So Jiraiya's kick didn't completely defeat him. After lying down for only a second, he stood up again. Intact. Chapter 114 Tough Six Paths Pain Uzumaki Naruto Debuts. Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement, Big Ball Rasengan. Jiraiya pursued the victory and used her own special skill on Kido. However, although the Big Ball Rasengan is powerful and looks terrifying, the hungry Kido has no intention of avoiding it. Hands up straight to Big Ball Rasengan. Then, in the next few seconds, Big Ball Rasengan gradually shrank, and finally turned into nothingness. Cold sweat dripped down on Jiraiya's forehead, can you absorb even moves? At this moment, Ren Ren Dao sneaked forward again. Jiraiya was still in shock, so he didn't react, but Fukasaku Senjin on Jiraiya's right shoulder did. He raised his hand and threw a smoke bomb, preventing his attack. Taking advantage of the smoke bomb, the human world can't see it, and the other five ways can't see it either. Jiraiya turned around and kicked him away, and Fukasaku Senjin seized the gap that Ren Ren Dao couldn't dodge, and made up a tongue war break. Pierce its head. Fix one, Jiraiya excitedly said. Nagato was amazed that Jiraiya was able to get rid of his puppet so quickly. Is there an insider in the Akatsuki organization? Tian Dao Pain muttered to himself, he felt that someone in the Akatsuki organization must have known some of his six paths Pain's flaws, and informed Konoha. Go. Tian Dao Pain gave an order. Shira Dao, Hungry Kido, and Animal Dao shot at the same time. Strange wrist rocket. 
Shira Dao shot out his fist like a rocket. Animal Road summoned 837 a bull again and ran towards Jiraiya. The hungry Kido is on the lookout, ready to catch Jiraiya when she shows her weakness. Jiraiya jumped left and right, moved between the towers to dodge Shirado's flying fists, and then used the summoning technique to summon Toad Bunta, and slash the bull summoning beast. Oh, it's such a big surprise when you come out this time. Wen Tai said with an unhappy face, Oh, Fukasaku Immortal, Shima Immortal, I didn't expect you two to be summoned. It seems that this time the opponent is really no small thing. Wen Tai started to go into full serious mode. Wen Tai, be careful. The enemy on the other side has Rinnegan. Fukasaku Sensei reminded. Rinnegan? Mrs. Wen was a little surprised. He also heard two words from the great Toad Sage about the Sage of Six Paths, but he didn't expect to meet them today. Do it. Advertisement Jiraiya sounded the horn of counterattack. Toad Bunta faced the Beast Road, and Jiraiya rushed to the Shira Road. Earth Style. Wang Chen Swamp. Jiraiya formed a seal quickly, and the ground centered on Shira Dao instantly turned into a swamp. Shira Dao couldn't dodge and was directly trapped. The Dao of Heaven and Dao of Hell behind him retreated to escape the attack. Sage Art Hair Needle Thousand Books. Taking advantage of Shira Dao's actions unchanged, Jiraiya uses the fastest attacking celestial art. He ejected his white hair as a thousand copies, and thousands of hairs flew out like this. Not to mention, Beeb, Jiraiya's hair is really much, envious. Just when Shira Dao was about to be hit, Hungry Kido suddenly stood in front of Shira Dao and absorbed all the thousand copies. This guy can even absorb hair, Jiraiya complained angrily. On the other side, Wen Tai wrote the battle between two summoning beasts in the way of beasts. A bull, a stone panda. Both of these creatures are relatively clumsy, and Wen Tai has a hard time fighting them. But compared to the two summoning beasts are too hard, Wen Tai's short sword is difficult to break through. The bull bumped towards Mrs. Wen. Mrs. Wen didn't want to force it, so she jumped to dodge. But just as he dodged away, the stone panda came again brandishing a stone stick. Another horizontal jump to dodge behind the stone panda, water style, iron cannon jade. Toad Wentai spit out two water cannonballs that were as powerful as Shohei's, practicing empty bullets, and hit the stone panda. Boom, boom. The water cannonball hit the stone panda with two loud bangs, and then it was shrouded in smoke. Toad Bunta stared nervously at the scene in front of him. It expected to see the stone panda being destroyed, but it turned out. Dot the opponent was unscathed. What? A stone stick emerges from the smoke and hits Toad Wentai. Toad Wentai has no time to dodge, so he can only catch it with the short sword. The smoke dissipated, revealing the intact appearance of the stone panda. This guy is so hard. Just when Toad Bunta felt troubled, he came again. Advertisement Toad Wentai could only use his strength to retract the knife, and then jump to the top of the tower. This is where the two summoning beasts can't attack, so they can take a short rest. Things are tough on Gamabunta's side, and Jiraiya's side is no better. Due to unknown reasons, the human world was revived just now. Now Jiraiya is once again facing a one-on-three situation. Jiraiya and Renjundao, Shura Dao and Hungry Kido fought for a few more minutes. Human world Dao was at a disadvantage in a head-on confrontation, Shura Dao's attack missed, and Hungry Kido tried to sneak attack but was unsuccessful. There were no more casualties on both sides, ten time both sides became a little irritable. Stand back, let me do it. Nagato, who didn't want to continue to procrastinate, directly let Tian Dao Pain appear. Except for the hungry Kido who was good at defense and stood close to Pain, the other Pains all took a few steps back. Universal pull. Tendo Pain pointed one hand out at Jiraiya. Then Jiraiya suddenly found that his body was flying towards Tian Dao Pain uncontrollably. What's going on? Jiraiya looked shocked, his body flew towards the opponent uncontrollably. Jiraiya Chan, get out of control quickly, or you will be finished, immortal Shima said anxiously. I thought so too, but Jiraiya's limbs kept dancing, but she just couldn't control her body. At this time Jiraiya thought of what Naruto had told him about Tensegan's ability not long ago. Attraction and repulsion can be controlled. Rinnegan too? Damn it, there's no other way, let's go out to the people. It is good. Fire style, toad oil bomb, wind style, the wind blows. Both fire style and wind style pressed on heaven pain, hoping to prevent him from using this strange ability. But just when this powerful ninjutsu was about to hit the sky, hungry Kido stood up and absorbed it. What? The two toads were shocked at the same time. 
advertisement seeing that Jiraiya was about to be caught by the other party and slaughtered at will. The two toads unanimously used the unique skill tacitly, magical toad singing. Toad duo. The cheeks of the two toad sages swelled instantly, and then an extremely piercing sound came out. This sound made all pain present stop their actions and attacks. Even a hungry Kido cannot absorb the sonic attack. Jiraiya's body regained control and said gratefully, Thank you, boss, big sister. Stop talking nonsense, we won't be able to control it for long, hurry up and destroy the guy in the middle first. If he uses his ability again, we won't be able to stop him. Immortal Shima urged. I see, sage art, big ball Rasengan. Jiraiya flew towards Tiandao Pain. A huge Rasengan was lifted high, and it was about to hit Tiandao Pain in the face. But a stone stick flew over suddenly, knocking Jiraiya's body into the air, and big ball Rasengan also disappeared. Several pens returned to a normal state where they could act. What happened? The two toads looked in the direction of the stone stick, but found that it was a stone stick thrown by a stone panda pierced by Toad Wentai with the short sword. Feeling the reproachful gazes of the three of Jiraiya, Toad Fumta scratched his head and said apologetically, Sorry, sorry, I tried my best to stop this guy, but I pierced it and still threw the stick without any expression. Knowing that Toad Wentai didn't paddle, the two toads could only sigh helplessly. It seems that only secret weapons can be used. The two immortals knew that if the ninjutsu that sucked people was performed just now, they would definitely not be able to stop it. Secret weapon. Jiraiya looked at the two sages suspiciously, wondering what the secret weapon they were talking about. But in the next second, he understood. Immortal Fukusaku suddenly removed his clothes, revealing a black seal. Flying Thunder God. Wait, don't. Before Jiraiya finished speaking, Fukusaku sage activated the seal. Then there was a bang, and a puff of smoke enveloped it. Uzumaki Naruto, come on. Chapter 115. Three pain in an instant. The terrifying summoning beast Shinya debuts. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement looking at Naruto who suddenly appeared, Jiraiya was a little dissatisfied. Naruto, why did you leave the flying thunder god seal on Fukusaku Senjin? Jiraiya asked. Naruto took out a cigarette casually, put it in his mouth, and lit it. Then he said disdainfully, Do you really think that the flying thunder god seal on your body has disappeared and I can't feel it? The corner of Jiraiya's mouth twitched, he has never learned this ninjutsu, how can he know such details? I know you must use sage mode to deal with pain, and you must rely on two immortals to cast sage mode, Naruto said with a smoke ring. Jiraiya found herself being thoroughly studied by Naruto. Okay, the rest, leave it to me. Naruto made Jiraiya back off, he didn't need his help. Naruto, Rinnegan's power is beyond imagination, let's be together. Now that Naruto has arrived, Jiraiya can only choose to fight side by side with him. And what Fukusaku Sento said is right, he is really no match for Six Paths Pain on his own. Naruto didn't speak, but transformed into perfect sage mode in a second. The powerful chakra was released, and everyone couldn't help but use their hands to block the airwaves caused by chakra's momentum. This power. Tiandao Pain looked at Naruto with a shocked expression. Now he finally understands why Itachi failed two years ago. Jinchuriki with such strength is indeed not something that cage level can deal with. Teacher Jiraiya, please step back, I will accidentally hurt you with my moves later, I don't care. Little Jiraiya, let's listen to Naruto, his strength is much stronger than yours. Sento Fukasaku persuaded. Yeah, little Jiraiya, you are nothing to compare with the kid. Shima Immortal said to himself. Advertisement, all right. Although he promised to retreat one after another, he did not cancel Sage Mode. If Naruto and others have problems against Pen, he can help more in Sage Mode. But could there be a problem with Naruto? The answer is of course no. Knowing himself and the enemy, Naruto is not afraid of Six Paths Pain's power at all. Uzumaki Naruto. Tiandao Pain was about to say a few words, but Naruto was not interested at all, so he raised his hand and rescued Kanai three times. Flying Thunder God reappears in three stages. A section, appearing in front of Human Dao, was smashed by a heavy Rasengan. The second section appeared next to the Hell Road, and a burst Rasengan blew it apart. Sandin appeared behind Hungry Kido and directly kicked his head to pieces with Taijutsu. Solve three pain puppets in two seconds. Nagato didn't react at all. Flying Thunder God. Tiandao Pain glanced at Hell Dao, he didn't know if Naruto meant it. He actually took the lead in destroying this puppet that could resurrect other pain. 
Human Dao Pain has the weakest actual combat ability, Hungry Keto Pain restrains all ninjutsu attacks. Everything seems to be in Naruto's calculation. Seeing this situation, Nagato immediately gathered the remaining three puppets together. Can no longer be defeated one by one by the opponent with Flying Thunder God. And the only thing that can restrain this kind of move is his Tiandao Pain's quick response and use of Shenluo Tianjiang. Jiraiya in the distance watched Naruto kill three pain puppets in an instant, and his jaw almost dropped in shock. Advertisement. Is this magic combined with flying thunder god so powerful? Jiraiya couldn't help complaining. Ultimate's attack speed and space movement ability make the line of sight sharing between pain completely useless. That's why I said that you are far behind Naruto-chan, and because of this, we often have to work out with you. We two old people are both at this age. When the pot at home is half burned, we will accompany you out to fight and kill. You are so useless, boy. Immortal Shima pointed at Jiraiya and criticized. This time I'm on the old woman's side. Fukasaku Immortal said softly. Xed. Indeed, compared to Naruto, Jiraiya is too shameful as a teacher. Bunta Gama with some scars turned over with a cigarette holder in his mouth. Toad Bunta. Is your opponent settled? Jiraiya asked. It's not that easy. Why is that stone panda immune to death, and that idiot cow, who keeps pretending to bump into me and harass me? Toad Bunta complained. Fortunately, the guy controlling the summoning beast is called away now, so I have no opponent. Gama went I said. Jiraiya looked towards Naruto with one person and two toads, and found that there were indeed two summoning beasts blocking him at this time. I don't know if Naruto will still solve it violently in the face of such a heavyweight opponent. Ask for flowers. Just when they were guessing, Naruto raised his hand to make a seal. Summoning technique. Huge smoke enveloped the entire tower, followed by a loud bang. The entire tower was crushed by a huge summoned creature. The remaining three pain puppets, Conan, Jiraiya and the two immortals who were watching the battle, Bunta Toad all fled in all directions. They don't know what's going on. I don't know what kind of thing Naruto summoned, but it crushed the 100 meter high tower with just his body. Advertisement. After a while, the smoke gradually dissipated. Jiraiya in the distance vaguely saw the appearance of the creature summoned by Naruto. Snake head. Dragon head. I thought Naruto summoned Mr. Suyan's body. Jiraiya muttered to herself. With such a big body, I'm afraid Suyan can't compare to it. Fukasaku immortal said. So what the hell is this thing? The white snake immortal from Ruchi Cave. Shima immortal said with some anxiety. The summoning beast summoned by Naruto is of course the evolved Zinya. It's just that now its body is 100 meters long, its limbs are as thick as hills, and a pair of huge wings spread out to a width of 100 meters. Of course, Shinya not only oppresses the body. There is also a strong momentum oppression. The imposing manner and the snake head here make immortal Shima only think of the immortal white snake in Ruchi Cave. Compared to inheritance, their Mount Myoboku does not belong to Ruchi Cave. But compared to hard power, they really dare not say that they are stronger than a mortal white snake. Great Toad Sage is not good at fighting, only good at prophecy. Their Mount Myoboku may only be able to fight against one or two with the huge rock toad. But the outcome, it is estimated that the white snake immortal is better. After all, a mortal white snake's celestial art does not belong to the Great Toad Sage, it is still mainly used in battle. At this time, the pain puppet and Conan stood in the distance, looking at the huge creature summoned by Naruto, their brows were tightly frowned. The appearance of such a guy means that the animal way is useless. The summoning beast he summoned just now must have been trampled to pieces just now. Can you deal with this guy? Conan looked at Tiandao Pain with some concern, and talked to Nagato. Tiandao Pain's calm face did not speak for a moment. It took a long time before he said, Neng Tu. Chapter 116 Control Gravity. I will too. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naruto stood on top of Shinya's head, looking down at the pen puppet and Conan. Don't die. Naruto's tone was very flat, as if he was saying something that should be taken for granted. This tone made Nagato very uncomfortable, and it was the most aggrieved since he mastered the power of Rinnegan. Universal Pull. Nagato who knew that Naruto was going to magnify his moves, naturally wouldn't let him do it first. Manipulating Tiandao Pain to use his most accustomed fighting method, facing Naruto with both hands. He hopes to avoid Naruto's summoning beast and behead him directly. But the reality was not as expected. 
Naruto's eyes flickered, and Tensegan's power surged out to counteract Pain's power in an instant. Control gravity. I can do it too. Then Naruto's eyes flickered again. Tiondao Pain only felt that he was flying towards Naruto uncontrollably. How is it possible? 343. Nagato, who was hiding in the shadows, was too shocked to speak. Through the Rinnegan, he could clearly see Naruto's blue eyes. And it's the eyes that are using the same force on him as Rinnegan. Pain, Conan exclaimed, the Tiondao Pain made of Yahiko's body has a different meaning to her, and she does not want the Tiondao Pain to be damaged. She hopes to take Yahiko's puppet and Nagato together to fulfill their dream at the time. Shenluo Tianjung. Tiondao Pain used the repulsive force to offset Naruto's gravitational force again after flying halfway. Advertisement seeing this scene, Naruto smiled slightly. Pain will have a 5 second cooldown when using Shenluo Tianjung, and these 5 seconds are when he is weak. He patted Shin Ya under his body, and said lightly, Sage art burning hell. Shin Ya understood and opened his bloody mouth. In the next second, the terrifying fire style chakra gathered in Shin Ya's mouth. Tian Dao Pain just got out of control and was about to continue attacking, but he saw such a terrifying scene. You must know that Shin Ya's mouth is tens of meters wide when it opens, and the fire style cast in this terrifying way can definitely destroy half of the rain shinobi village. But at this time, his Shin Luo Tianjung is cooling down. Conan, let's go. With no time to react, Tian Dao Pain rushed to Nanya hoping to prevent it from being released. Shira Dao Pain immediately evacuated with Conan, half a step behind Conan, ready to block the next damage for him at any time. As for the Beast Dao, it began to use the Summoning Beast to summon the Summoning Beast, expecting to block the next attack. Jiraiya's side also evacuated immediately. Where did Naruto find the Summoning Beast? It's too scary, Jiraiya complained. Looking at the appearance and aura, Ryuchi Cave can't be wrong, but this kind of power should be loyal to the Snake Fairy. Why is this guy so strong? Jima Fairy was puzzled. Old lady, let's use Wind Style to speed up Jiraiya behind us. Fukasaku Sento said. Okay, the two immortals began to make seals. Wait, what are you guys doing? Jiraiya was puzzled, but had a bad feeling, but he couldn't stop what the two immortals wanted to do. Wind style. Dog wind cannon. The two toad sages stand on Jiraiya's shoulders and together cast wind style behind him. Advertisement the powerful wind style is like a propeller, pushing Jiraiya away in a flying posture in an instant. Ah, it's so exciting. I can't stand the old man. Wait for me, Fukasaku Sage, Shima Sage. Toad Wentai doesn't know this kind of wind style, seeing that he can't keep up, and the fire style behind him will be released next second. Gritting its teeth, it decided to escape first. Inverse, summoning technique. Today will be a disgrace to it, Toad Bunta, that it turned out to be a deserter. The second that Toad Wentai disappeared, Shinya finally released fire style. The bursting fire style engulfed the oncoming Tiandao pain, and then turned into a crimson sea of flames and drowned all around. The terrifying sea of flames is like a burning place like hell, terrifying and terrifying. The trees were burned instantly, the tower was instantly melted. Even the lakes and rivers that can be seen everywhere in Rain Shinobi village are instantly evaporated. The lake is cooked directly. Zinya's fire style is as scary as it gets. At this time, Animal Dao successfully survived with the help of a summoning beast. Conan was not injured under the protection of Shira Dao. Jiraiya and the others fled to the residential area of Rain Shinobi village, hoping to stop the flames burning in Wen. But strangely, these flames stopped burning when they reached the edge of the residential area. It seems that the power is only so. Naturally Jiraiya doesn't think so, he guessed that Naruto instructed Shinya to control the flame power. It's just that with such precise control of power, the strength of this summoning beast is just an ordinary cage level guess, yet to be discussed. Advertisement this kind of power, this kind of control, is probably close to the power of the super shadow level. Naruto Chan still cares about the lives of ordinary people, that's great. Fukasaku Sento prays. There are not many people who can possess such power but keep their hearts. But if Fukasaku Sensei knew that Naruto's original intention was to eat and wait to die, I don't know if he would think so. Don't even look at who is Naruto's disciple. That's what I taught, so it's impossible to ignore life, Jiraiya said proudly. You also taught that Rinnegan boy, little Jiraiya. Immortal Shima slapped Jiraiya's face directly, making his face painful. Jiraiya smiled awkwardly, then thought of Nagato again. 
He must be hiding not far away to manipulate these puppets, he was not affected by the flames, right? Boss, big sister, pain has Naruto to deal with, how about we go to Nagato? Jiraiya suggested. Nagato, is that your ineffective disciple? Shima Immortal asked. Yes, the incompetent disciple. Jiraiya was a little disappointed. He felt that at least half of Nagato's come to this point was due to his lack of teaching. He hopes to have a face-to-face -face talk with Nagato, and use his words to persuade him to return to the side of justice. Seeing Jiraiya's difficulties, the two toads stopped teasing him. In that case, let's go on 4.1. It's not me. As long as the kid is 10 kilometers away, my perception ninjutsu can find him. Immortal Zima said proudly. Old lady, that ninjutsu is so strong only if we release it together. Fukusaku Sento reminded Shima Sento Fukio to bring himself. Do you need to say it? Of course I know, but I think my role in it should be 90%, and you are 10%. Faced with Shima Senen's unreasonable troubles, Fukusaku Senen could only back down. Anyway, he doesn't like to have these false names, it's no wonder, worker. While Jiraiya started looking for Nagato's body, Naruto on the other side kept staring at somewhere in the flames. There he sensed the existence of heaven pain, that is to say, he hardened Zinya's fire style and survived. Super. Shinluo Tianjiang. Chapter 117 Nagato escapes nine tails commits suicide. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The terrifying repulsive force spreads around with Tiandao pain as the center. An invisible force pushes the sea of fire to recede, pushing the blazing flames to surge towards the surroundings in a more terrifying posture. Facing the terrifying flames, Shinya spread his wings, wrapping himself in Naruto in an instant, keeping all the flames out. It just blocked the flame, but couldn't stop the impact of repulsion. Shinya's huge body was backed by the impact, and the meat on the wings and front legs was sunken in pieces, as if the flesh-colored gauze was blown by a strong wind. On the other side, Jiraiya and the two sages did not escape the impact of this force. When I was looking for Nagato, I was overwhelmed by the broken rock that was driven instantly. For a long time, Chao Shinluo Tianjiang's influence finally stopped. Shinya left the original place for thousands of meters, the original hell fire was extinguished, and Jiraiya and the two celestial beings were buried alive. Most of the entire rain shinobi village was destroyed. Shinya, you can open it now. Naruto, who was wrapped in the wings of Zinya, ordered. The 100 meter giant wing opened, and Naruto saw the new look of rain shinobi village today. Half of them are low rise buildings, with heads poking out of them wanting to know the outcome of the battle whether the gods won, or the outsiders won. Half of it is a large pit of red soil, without any green or water stains, not even the slightest sign of human civilization. With the perception ability turned on, Naruto did not perceive the existence of Tiandao Pain nearby. The move just now should be his last blow. After releasing it, he found that Naruto was not injured, so he chose to retreat. Shinya, use immortal art corrosive liquid on there. Shinya has a lot of power, Five attributes of ninjutsu, talent of petrified saliva, and corrosive liquid as a kind of water style. Shinya pointed at the position Naruto was pointing at and spit out a mouthful of water, and the saliva instantly opened a big hole in the ruins. Advertisement Jiraiya's distressed figure appeared in the pit. The figures of the two immortals were nowhere to be seen, presumably they went back first when they encountered danger. Let Shinya go back first, and Naruto flashed to Jiraiya's side. QG, plus, Percent, Sensei, are you alright? Naruto asked, lifting the injured Jiraiya. Jiraiya shook her head, it's okay, I wanted to find Nagato's body, but who knew he escaped first? There is always a chance to meet him if he wants to fulfill his plan, Naruto said. The plan. Yes, his plan is to use the nine-tailed beasts to create the strongest forbidden technique to threaten all countries. We have to quickly tell the news to all ninja villages, and we must not let more tailed beasts be taken away by them. Jiraiya said with a serious expression. It doesn't matter, as long as the nine tails are in my hands, they will never take them away. Naruto said flatly. Ding. Your nine tails committed suicide in order to get rid of the host's control, but considering that the death of nine tails will shorten the life of the host, the system judged that nine tails attempted suicide, and expelled the host from the host to become the independent summoning beast of the host. Naruto. The little nine tails, who has been autistic for three years, made such an astonishing move. Fortunately, Naruto has an immortal body, nine tails can't take Naruto away even if he commits suicide, it will only reduce the lifespan of his body. 
Even better, the system will also judge the result of suicide attempt, so deal with it vigorously. Naruto, what's wrong with you? Naruto's sudden stop made Jiraiya feel strange, but before Naruto explained to him, he felt an extremely ferocious force emanating from Naruto's body. This force is nine tails. Not good, is nine tails going to get rid of the seal? Jiraiya hurriedly seals, preparing to summon the scroll toad that strengthens the seal. Advertisement before, he was worried that he would die here, so he sent the scroll toad back to Mount Myoboku, but now the unexpected situation caused him to miss a big deal. Mr. Jiraiya, no need, Nine Tails can come out if he wants to. Naruto grabbed Jiraiya's hand and stopped him, but Naruto. It's just a little fox to me, don't worry, teacher Jiraiya. Seeing that Naruto is so persistent, Jiraiya can only let him do it. But he has already got rid of Naruto's support at this time, and he doesn't want to drag Naruto's hind legs at this time. After a while, the evil power in Naruto's body expanded more and more. The seal also began to shatter gradually, and just as it was about to shatter, Naruto's consciousness entered a different space. This different space is the space where Naruto usually sees Kurama. At this time, the iron fence that imprisoned Kurama is already full of cracks and will be broken at any time. But at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared. Namikaze Minato. Namikaze Minato has just emerged looking for Naruto's figure, facing the loose seal of nine tails, the best solution is to appease Naruto's emotions first and then use the dark people left behind to repair the seal. It's just that he doesn't know that this is the power of the system, the seal that the system wants to break, he can't stop it. Naruto. Excited to finally see Namikaze Minato of Naruto. Just different from Namikaze Minato's excitement, Naruto's expression is very flat. He is a time traveler, and the original Naruto is not a soul. Although he also admits that Namikaze Minato is his father in this life, it is hard for him to get excited. Maybe it's because he never expected Namikaze Minato. Naruto looked at Namikaze Minato for a while, and finally said, Father. You recognize me. Namikaze Minato was a little surprised. Not only because Naruto recognized him, but also because Naruto's eyes were too dull. Advertisement. No anger, no sorrow, no excitement. Why would Naruto, without any particular emotion, let Nine Tails seal loose? Yes. Naruto nodded lightly, it seems that Master Third Generation told you everything. Namikaze Minato said with some joy. No, Third Generation didn't tell me anything about 873. I know you by myself. Naruto didn't want Third Generation to get a good reputation for nothing. Then how did you know about my existence? Namikaze Minato wondered. Because I want to know, so I know. Naruto said. Namikaze Minato froze for a moment, not understanding what this meant. But after thinking about it, I felt that this matter was not the most important, so I hurried back to the topic. Naruto, for Konoha's safety, the seal of nine tails must not be broken. Father doesn't know why you want to break this seal, but I hope you can let go of your prejudices and darkness, and join hands with me to restore this seal. Okay. Namikaze Minato showed the warm smile that had been on his face since he was a child. Naruto also has this kind of smile, but he is generally unsmiling and has a dark belly. Not good. Naruto subconsciously tried to find a cigarette to light, but failed. He has no cigarettes to smoke in this different space. Why? Namikaze Minato asked Naruto gently. Because it's killing itself inside me, so I'm going to let it out. Suicide? Several question marks appeared on Namikaze Minato's forehead. When did Summoning Mon get so upset? Although the tailed beast is not really dead after death, it will take countless years to gather its body again and be resurrected. This is a less sensible choice than waiting for the seal to be lifted. Chapter 118 Dad, I have many girlfriends previous chapter. Next chapter advertisement, Naruto, are you kidding me? Namikaze Minato looked at Naruto, he still couldn't believe that Nine Tails would do such a thing. Naruto pointed to Kurama who was climbing on the door rail and said, if you don't believe me, ask him. Seeing Naruto looking at him, Kurama subconsciously took a few steps back, with fear and vigilance in his eyes. It is very clear that this seal is not broken by itself, but that unknown force is interfering with this seal. And even weirder, it feels like it has a new connection with Naruto, a connection that makes it feel like Naruto can summon itself anytime. Namikaze Minato saw that Nine Tails was afraid of Naruto, and all of this made him more confused. Naruto, can you tell me about your experiences over the years? Namikaze Minato asked. It's no problem when it comes to it, but do you have the time? 
The imprint you left will disappear soon, Naruto said. Then you pick some important things to talk about, such as how have you been these years? Have you made good friends? Have you got a girlfriend? Why is Nine Tails so afraid of you? I've had a pretty good life these years. I have many good friends and a girlfriend. Kurama is afraid of me because of my strength. After Naruto finished speaking, he showed Mangekio Sharingan and Sage Mode. Seeing that Naruto is so powerful, Namikaze Minato has more to say, but time does not allow him to say more. It seems that Naruto, you have obtained a lot of extraordinary strength, Sage Mode is the breath of Mount Myoboku, and you are more skilled than me. Ms. Jiraiya taught you a lot, Naruto? Naruto has Jiraiya's shadow on him, and Namikaze Minato feels relieved all of a sudden. After talking for a few minutes, Namikaze Minato once thought that his child was blackened. Advertisement but so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. His child should have extraordinary talent and luck to get a powerful power, and Naruto who has this power intends to solve the Nine Tails problem in his own way. After thinking about it, Minato felt more at ease. No, when I was apprenticed, my strength surpassed him, so that old man didn't have much to teach me, Naruto replied. Yes, is it, Namikaze Minato's mouth twitched. He still has some understanding of his teacher's temper. It's just that I didn't expect the teacher to be so unbearable in the eyes of his own children. What about your girlfriend? Your mother told you to find a woman who is as gentle as her, can you tell me about her? Nine Tails Seal Crisis is no longer a crisis, Namikaze Minato seizes this last moment to hear more about Naruto. There is indeed one that is very similar to mothers. Naruto thought of little Sakura. Is there one? Well, I have a lot of girlfriends. There are three more maids. Asterisk 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 Namikaze Minato looked at Naruto with weird eyes, he wondered if Naruto was his child. How could he not remember that he was such a romantic person? Could it be that Kashina put a hat on herself? Shaking his head busy, Namikaze Minato chooses to trust Kashina. Sensei Jiraiya must have brought Naruto down. Namikaze Minato guessed. Naruto, there are advantages to having too many women, but there are also disadvantages. And out of responsibility considerations, I think you should concentrate. Namikaze Minato tries to correct Naruto's concept of love. There are many advantages and no disadvantages. Advertisement Naruto looked at Namikaze Minato and smiled slightly, which made Namikaze Minato feel a little embarrassed. Scratching his head, Namikaze Minato was about to say something, but his figure began to appear unreal. Sorry, Naruto, it looks like I'm saying goodbye to you. Namikaze Minato said with some reluctance. Yeah, Naruto nodded flatly. Then, as if he suddenly thought of something, he asked again, do you want me to resurrect you? Resurrection. Namikaze Minato didn't know that there was a ninjutsu that could bring people back to life. There are two kinds of ninjutsu that can bring the dead back to life. If you want, I can bring you back to life. Naruto explained. Namikaze Minato thought for a while, but didn't answer directly, but just gave Naruto a kind smile for the last time. Go back and ask your mother, I hope you are happy, Naruto. He was worried that these two ninjutsu would have bad consequences if they were too heaven-defying, or they could only be acquired if they were very dangerous. So Minato doesn't want Naruto to try to revive them, but he really wants to live again with Kishina. Come back to life to meet old friends, grow old with Kishina, and watch Naruto start a family. I hope you are well over there, father. Naruto held out his hand to say goodbye to Namikaze Minato. In the next second, the figure of Namikaze Minato disappeared. An eerie sense of loss. Shaking his head, shaking off a trace of disappointment, he looked at Kurama. This guy is going to be completely released by me. Do I still have a chance to activate the mark you left on the seal about your mother? Just as he was thinking, the iron fence suddenly shattered, and the seal was completely opened. Come out, Lama Yin. He did not intend to activate the so-called imprint, nor did he intend to ask his mother, Kashina, for her opinion. Let's wait until he resurrects them. Consciousness returned to the real world. Naruto raised his hand and formed the summoning spell. Advertisement Hai Shu, Shen Wei, Summoning Technique, Kurama. Huge black lines flashed, and then huge fox paws emerged from under the lines to grab the ground. With a stretch of paw, Kurama just ran out from inside. Roar. The first thing Kurama did when he came out was to yell, expressing his dissatisfaction that had been sealed for many years. But after it roared, it restrained its breath obediently and squatted down like a puppy. Ding. Your master is looking at you with dangerous eyes. Please don't be too arrogant, or you may be killed. 
Since you want to live outside, then I will help you, but being outside doesn't mean you are free. Since you made my life, Li Le Hao, extremely miserable before the age of 11, you will be my thug for the rest of my life. Do you have an opinion? Yes, but dare not say. No, Kurama sneered. In the seal, it was abused by Naruto in every possible way, and it became depressed and autistic, and chose to be reborn. But now that it has left the seal, naturally it will not commit suicide or seek death in an idiot way. It has to live well, even if it still lives in Naruto's shadow. Make yourself smaller and follow Konoha, Naruto ordered. Why go back to Konoha? I won't go back, Kurama refused. Konoha is a sad situation for Kurama, and it seriously doubts that Konoha has overcome it. Otherwise, why is it always controlled and sealed by Konoha Shinobi? It just wants to be a harmless little fox. Why would it deal with such a cute little fox? Chapter 119. Kurama of Low Status Previous Chapter Next Chapter. Advertisement, aren't you going back to Konoha, waiting to be captured by the guy who escaped just now? Or do you have the confidence to defeat the pupil attack that is stronger than Sharingan? Kurama showed embarrassment, it really didn't want to go back to Konoha. But now, apart from Konoha, there is no place for it outside. Akatsuki knew about the tailed beast from Naruto's perspective. Although from Naruto's point of view, the members of the Akatsuki organization are very weak, and they are defeated within a few moves. But that is relative to Naruto, it is also weak to Naruto. So this Akatsuki organization is really capable of arresting it. Then I'll go back to Konoha with you. Nine Tails had no better choice, lost Naruto's blessing, it was too insecure. But not so long ago, it felt insecure staying inside Naruto. After speaking, Nine Tails quickly shrunk in size and turned into a small Nine Tails. The little Nine Tails jumped behind Naruto in a few steps, and looked a little cute. Not far away, Jiraiya watched Nine Tails obediently to Naruto, a little inconceivable. Is this still that demon fox who dares to act recklessly? Didn't even first Hokage dare to be tough back then? For Jiraiya's question, Kurama said that he was controlled by Uchiha Madara. Otherwise who would want to be beaten up by 973 like a kid? Let's go, teacher Jiraiya. Okay, gathering his mind, Jiraiya came to Naruto's side and put his hand on his shoulder. He knew the way Naruto returned to Konoha, flying thunder god. This ninjutsu is really convenient. Jiraiya couldn't help sighing. Advertisement if he knew this ninjutsu, he definitely wouldn't need Naruto's help. Kurama, come on my shoulders. Kurama jumped on Naruto's shoulder in response. Looking at Naruto's head at a close distance, the llama wanted to knock off Naruto's dog's head for a moment. But in just an instant, it removed its dangerous thoughts. Because it just had a thought of attacking Naruto, it felt the danger. Naruto's ability to perceive the mind and danger is much more terrifying, and it is impossible to sneak attack. In the next second, two people and one fox disappeared in place. Back to Konoha, two people and one fox flashed in Naruto's house. Master. Feeling Naruto's breath, Tiyuya and Yuhuo rushed to say hello. Jiraiya came to Naruto's house for the first time, and it was also the first time she saw a maid dressed as a cat girl. Nosebleeds could not help, Naruto, you are really good at playing. Naruto didn't want to answer Jiraiya's words, turned his head and threw Kurama to the two maids and said, This is the new family in the future, a pet that you can understand. The status is below you. What? Kurama looked at Naruto unhappily. Why should I be below your servant? The servant is also my family. You were a parasitic beast before, but now you are just a pet. Naruto gave Kurama a blank look. Damn it. Kurama gritted his teeth. Sensing Kurama's breath, Naruto also directly released his breath to suppress him. In Konoha, you can't use your power at will, and you can't shoot my servants. Otherwise. Kurama hesitated for a second, withdrew his breath, and lay into Yuya's soft embrace. He turned his head sullenly and used his nine tails to block his sight. Naruto is so hateful, it doesn't want to see it. Tiyuya had no opinion on Kurama being Konoha, but she felt that the aura released by Kurama just now was a bit too strong. It's not like the power that such a small cute animal can release. Master, what is the origin of this little fox? Tiyuya asked, stroking Kurama's hair. Advertisement seems to really treat Kurama as a pet. Being stroked by the hair, Kurama wanted to go crazy on the spot, but thinking of what Naruto had just threatened it, it could only grit its teeth secretly. Or do I just kill myself? Anyway, when I revive next time, Naruto must have died of old age. 
No, no, what if that kid uses some special method to live until I am resurrected? Isn't that dead for nothing? After thinking about it, Karama still didn't want to die. And sometimes it's good to be treated as a pet, thinking of Karama rubbing it in. Fire, Bib, fire, go get the medkit. Naruto is treating Jiraiya with healing jutsu at this time, but some injuries still require some external tools. After a single treatment, he became alive again in an instant. Jiraiya moved her body and couldn't help admiring Naruto's medical skills, if Tsunade didn't have Katsuyu, maybe her healing ability would not be as good as yours. Tsunade also wanted Naruto to sign a contract with Katsuyu, but Naruto refused. First, he doesn't need it, and second, he doesn't like it. Slimy and split, this creature is too strange, just like Ming's three-headed dog. Pain escaped. What are you going to do next? Find him? Naruto asked. Jiraiya thought for a while, then nodded, he is my disciple, I must solve this matter myself. But you don't seem to be able to beat him. What are you going to do if you find him again? Raise your hands and surrender? Or say a few words and run away? Naruto asked again. Ext. After a moment of silence, Jiraiya said, I will go to Mount Myoboku to retreat for a while. Facing the universal pull of Tiandao pain, it is difficult for Jiraiya to escape even if he wants to. So in order not to bother Naruto next time, Jiraiya decided to do a special training for pain. Advertisement, can I help? Naruto asked, need not. Jiraiya resolutely refused. As a teacher, how could he let his disciples teach him? Wouldn't that be too embarrassing? Naruto, I'm leaving first, Tsunade, please help me report my safety. After saying that, Jiraiya disappeared in place and headed for Mount Myoboku. He doesn't know how long he will train, so he has to seize every minute and every second to become stronger. Naruto shook his head, ordered the two maids to clean up the place, and then disappeared in place. A corner of Rain Shinobi Village, several pen puppets and Nagato did not escape from here. Instead, a special secret method is used to hide the breath. Cough cough cough. Nagato, are you okay? The scrawny Nagato was pierced through the back by countless black rods, coughing uncontrollably. Obviously his body has gradually failed. I'm fine, Conan. Nagato waved his hand to signal her not to worry. I didn't expect Nine Tails Jinchuriki to be so strong, because a puppet with all its strength couldn't force him to fight seriously. In the previous battle, Naruto used a total of three moves, Flying Thunder God, Summoning, Tensigen. He easily defeated his six puppets in three strokes, which made Nagato a little weak. Conan looked down, a little sad. How she wished she had the power to help Nagato too. But even if she has practiced her ninjutsu so proficiently, she is only the target of Jiraiya's normal two rounds. She is too weak. Aware of Conan's sadness, Nagato comforted, Don't worry, Conan. When Didera and the others come back, we will have a high success rate. As soon as the words fell, the ring on his hand suddenly flickered. Someone is looking for him, Chapter 120 Obito and Ju Shock. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement in the different space of ghetto statue. Nagato appears as Tendo Pain. Uchiha Itachi, Afe, Kisame Kisame, except Didera. Frowning, Tiandao Pain looked at Afe and asked, Where's Didera? Died. Afe's horse tone was very abnormal, and his whole temperament also changed. Orochimaru? Pain asked. No, it's Uchiha Sasuke. After speaking, Afe glanced at Uchiha Itachi, Orochimaru was also killed by him. After a moment of silence, Pain said, Jiraiya and Nine Tails Jinchuriki came to Rain Shinobi Village. The deaths of Didera and Orochimaru didn't bother Pain too much. Just amazed that Sasuke has such power. Result? Several people looked at Pain. The power of Nine Tails Jinchuriki is beyond imagination, and I can't deal with it alone, Pain said. You can't even deal with it? Ganshi Guishie was a little surprised. In fact, not only Kisame, Uchiha Itachi and Afei were also surprised, but they didn't show it. The original plan has to be changed, and the capture of Nine Tails requires us to act together, Payne said. So what exactly are the powers of Nine Tails? Hobby asked. Looking into Afei's eyes, Payne said lightly, I don't know, I didn't hurt him even if I shot with all my strength, and even really shot. Several people were silent, they were very clear about Payne's strength. The strength shown now is definitely the strongest among them, but the strongest pain can't force Nine Tails Jinchuriki to make a serious move? It seems that we need new helpers. Afei was thoughtful. Advertisement, let my eyes evolve, I think it will be more sure. 
Uchiha Itachi said suddenly. Do you want to transplant your brother's eyes? But his eyes haven't evolved into Mangekio yet, Afei said. But the pupil power is almost there, and my eyes should be able to evolve, Uchiha Itachi said. In fact, he doesn't know if he can succeed, but Sasuke's strength should have reached cage level. But his body is gradually failing, if he wants to use the extra pupil power to invade Konoha before the decisive battle with Sasuke. Then he might not live to meet Sasuke again. Afe and Pain looked at each other, nodded and said, Then the plan to capture Nine Tails will be postponed for now, let's deal with Sasuke first. I have a request. Itachi said again. What? Pain asked. I want to fight Sasuke one on one, you don't interfere, Itachi said. Do you want to kill your own brother yourself? Pain muttered to himself, and then agreed, okay. Rain Shinobi Village needs to be rebuilt, and Itachi's eye evolution, you can do it yourself. Pain disappeared on the spot after speaking. Itachi alone and the others were contemplating what kind of battle would force Pain to actively participate in the reconstruction of Rain Shinobi Village. Returning to reality from a different space, Obito saw Ju who didn't know when he appeared beside him at a glance. Pen lost, lost to Nine Tails Jinchuriki, said Obito. I know. Ju said solemnly, I was at the scene and saw the power of Uzumaki Naruto with my own eyes. It was terrifying, almost as powerful as Mr. Madara back then. Has a mere Jinchuriki come to this level? Obito feels incredible. You must know that he is only an advanced pupil technique, which is weird. In terms of combat power, he is now far behind Uchiha Madara. If this is the case, it may be impossible to defeat him with ordinary methods. Obito said, if Hidan is still there, as long as you help him get blood, there is still a chance. There is a solution without Hidan, Ju Xiao said. Advertisement, any solution. That Nine Tails Jinchuriki released Nine Tails from his body for some unknown reason after defeating Pain absolutely has been hiding in the dark and observing Naruto, so he knows everything that happened after that. Nine Tails was separated? What about him? Obito wondered. Unharmed. Ju said with a serious expression. Normally Jinchuriki would die if they lost their tailed beast, but Naruto is different. Not only did he take the initiative to lift the seal of the tailed beast, but he was not dead or injured. Obito. It seems that Konoha's Jinchuriki is far stronger than we imagined. Ju. What did Pain say? Obito. Go help Itachi improve his strength first, and then go to deal with Konoha's Jinchuriki together. But now that Nine Tails has been separated, we only need to hold Konoha's people back. It is not necessary to defeat Konoha's Jinchuriki. Ju. Well, that's true. The thing that helps Itachi improve his strength is Uchiha Sasuke's eyes, right? Obito. Yes, do you know where he is? Give me a few days. Since Didera was killed by Sasuke, he has not paid attention to Sasuke. R$ TT. Although they are also of the Uchiha family and have considerable value, they do not necessarily have to be related. After Naruto used the Flying Thunder God to get to the Hokage office after Mount Myoboku in front of Jiraiya. At this time, Tsunade is reviewing documents as usual. Naruto's sudden appearance made Anbu startled, and all of them appeared in an instant to protect Tsunade's front and back tightly. But after discovering that it was Naruto, several Anbu's foreheads were covered with black lines. Naruto Jonin, can you stop being so elusive the next time you show up at Hokage's office? Advertisement Tsunade's direct subordinate, Anbu Antelope, has a lot of complaints about Naruto. I'll pay attention next time. Even though he said that, Naruto didn't listen at all. Naruto Jonin. The Antelope wanted to say something, but was stopped by the captain's light. Okay, Antelope, retreat. Zero. Being stopped by the captain, the antelope can only let Naruto go temporarily. But she gave Naruto a hard look, as if she already had hatred in her heart. Naruto, what are you doing here? Tsunade looked at Naruto and asked. She doesn't know that Jiraiya has fought pain, or that Naruto has returned to aid him. Naruto said, Ms. Jiraiya lost the battle with Pen. Tsunade's heart tightened, afraid of hearing the news of Jiraiya's sacrifice in the next sentence. But he came back safe and sound. He breathed a sigh of relief, and then Tsunade said with dissatisfaction, Why didn't he come and report to me in person? The teacher said he was going to Mount Myoboku for special training against Pen, so he didn't have time to come, Naruto said. Then what is Pain's strength and ability? Tsunade asked. Pain refers to six puppets, each of which has its own abilities. Human Dao, who is good at reading minds, is not good at Taijutsu and Ninjutsu. 
Sura Dao, who is good at physical skills, be careful in close combat with him, he has the power not to lose the strange power. Beast Dao who is good at summoning, he can summon his own summoning beasts to fight, and he can also summon other pain. Hell Road that can repair other puppets. After other puppets are destroyed, put the wreckage of puppets into his ninjutsu and it will be repaired. 17. The last is Tian Dao, who is good at using gravity and repulsion. Strength is the most powerful existence in pen. The disadvantage is that there is a 5 second cooldown after using gravitational repulsion. But both gravitation and repulsion belong to Rinnegan's power, so it is not ruled out that it has a stronger force. Chapter 121. Wearing Chongsam to study flying thunder god has miraculous effects. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. These are Pen's powers. Tsunade looked at the text he had just recorded, and couldn't believe it. Psychic powers similar to the Yamanaka clan. Do not lose to your own strange power. Unlimited power to revive companions. Absorb the power of ninjutsu. Grandmaster summoning the mysterious force that controls gravity and repulsion. Various powers, only the summoning ability is a little ordinary. It's just that the generality of the summoning technique does not simply depend on the technique, but on the summoning beast. It's a jutsu full of variables. And the summoning technique, which can gain a foothold among many magical powers, is certainly not so common. Naruto, if that pen can control gravity and repulsion. Dot how did you escape? Tsunade didn't think Naruto defeated such a guy. Only gods can control repulsion and gravity, right? It's not us who escaped, but he escaped, 013. Naruto said with a cigarette in his mouth, although Mr. Jiraiya can't beat him, I can beat him. Tsunade. BB. Shizun. What happened? Facing Tsunade's question, Naruto just raised his hand and grabbed Tsunade. Because I would too. What? Tsunade's body flew uncontrollably into Naruto's hand in an instant amid the exclamation. Advertisement, Naruto. Put down Tsunade-sama. Anbu appeared again, and several people pointed their swords at Naruto's vital points. It's okay, let's get back. Naruto is just showing strength. Tsunade took away Naruto's hand grabbing his neck, and said to the Anbu people. Anbu and the others looked at Naruto, thinking it was too presumptuous. But Tsunade loves him too much, they can't do anything at all, they can only retreat silently. Squeezing his neck, Tsunade looked at Naruto's blue pupils and asked, Are those eyes Rinnegan? Tensigen, not Rinnegan, Naruto said. What's a Tensigen? Tsunade hadn't heard about Tensigen. Just understand it as eyes on the same level as Rinnegan, Naruto said. Eyes on the same level as Rinnegan? Tsunade was a little surprised. Did you rely on these eyes to defeat pain? Naruto shook his head, but it was Shinya's credit. Tsunade had met Shinya, so knew what he was talking about. Your summoning beast is so strong. The corner of Tsunade's mouth twitched. The master actually defeated pain by relying on the summoning beast, so how strong is his own strength? Do you already have the power of your grandfather? Shinya has always been strong. Naruto waved his hand, I finished talking, I'll go first, bye, trademark. After speaking, he disappeared directly in place. People who use Flying Thunder God are always so mysterious. If Naruto Jonin can deal with pain, then the Akatsuki organization is nothing special. Shizun said suddenly. Don't underestimate the enemy lightly, Shizun. Naruto's ability to defeat pain does not mean that Konoha is safe and sound, we still need to take more precautions against this Akatsuki organization. Tsunade has learned about his views on Konoha in the conversations with Naruto. Advertisement If the safety of Konoha is to be handed over to Naruto, then Konoha must be the most insecure during that time. Naruto will not do anything specially for Konoha, sacrifice anything. If war comes, Naruto will only protect the few people he cares about, he will not stand up righteously and say, I will fight for Konoha. Shizun didn't know Naruto's mind, she just thought that Tsunade's responsibility as Hokage should not be taken lightly. Yes, my lord. 386. Naruto was sitting at home, but a man came to the door admiringly. Tiantian, why do you come to me when you are free? The two drank the tea made by Tiyuya and talked. Taking a sip of tea every day, he said with some concern. Recently, I am a bit powerless to perform tasks, compared to Neji and Shaoli, I always lag behind in tasks. And in Mr. Guy's class, no one can guide me to practice, so I would like to ask Mr. Naruto to guide me again. Naruto held his chin, pondered for a while, and said, Why don't I teach you Flying Thunder God? 
Tianshan's current problem is that the means are too common and the upper limit is too low. Just using ninja tools, it would be amazing to reach Jonin every day in this life, and even if you didn't get the three treasures left by Sage of Six Paths, you might stay in Chunin all the time every day. In terms of swordsmanship, although Tianshan learned basic swordsmanship from Uyue Xian for a period of time. But more advanced swordsmanship, such as the Dance of the Three Suns and the Moon, and the Moonlight Knight, are not something that non-professional swordsmen like Tianshan can easily learn. In terms of physical skills, there is no swordsmanship, and in terms of ninjutsu, Tian Tian has some spatial talents, so Naruto wants to try to teach her this move. Flying Thunder God, is that the ninjutsu that only the second generation, fourth generation and Naruto-kun can master. Every day I was excited at first, and then a little disappointed. Is it possible for me to learn such a difficult ninjutsu? Naruto comforted Tianshan and said, In my opinion, your spatial talent is not bad and you have a chance to master it after a year or two of study. One or two years, Tianshan exclaimed, this is too long. After all, this is a powerful S-class ninjutsu, and it's normal to practice it for a long time, Naruto said. Advertisement, then Naruto, how long did you practice before you learned Flying Thunder God? Tianshan asked curiously. Hmm, just a second. This is the long time you said, it is normal to practice for a long time? Naruto looked at Tianshan's questioning eyes. So he said, I'm a genius, it's different, don't compare with me. Tianshan didn't feel that this explanation comforted her. Forget it, since Naruto-kun intended to teach himself to sleep so suddenly. So what counts as time? I understand, then I will ask Mr. Naruto to teach me more in the future. Tianshan stood up and bowed to Naruto. I'm not your teacher, I just help my former subordinates. Naruto corrected Tianshan's title, he didn't want to have one more student. But... Dot you help me like this, and I can't repay you. There is no teacher's identity there, and every day I always feel that I have endured a friendship that I cannot bear. 4.1 How about I send you some of my newly invented ninja tools? With a black line on Naruto's forehead, he always feels that his kindness has turned into a business. The ninja world is also very sophisticated. No need. Naruto waved his hand, if you think you need to repay me, then you can wear a chongsam when you come to training. Chongsam? Why? I have some doubts every day, is there any magic effect in learning Flying Thunder God wearing a Chongsam? Because I like to watch. Naruto was outspoken, breaking the pure worship of Naruto in Tianshan's heart. Naruto-kun. Dot you. Tian Tian blushed, but still agreed, okay, then I will wear a Chongsam from now on. Naruto smiled gratifiedly, and secretly said, a child can be taught. At this time, Tuyuya looked at Naruto's sunny smiling face, but curled his lips, bah, scumbag. Chapter 122 Learning the Flying Thunder God to have a posture. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Half a month later. Naruto is currently guiding Tien Tien to learn Flying Thunder God as always. How many times have I said it? Posture, posture. What is the most important thing to learn about Flying Thunder God? Isn't it spatial perception? Tien Tien interjected. What spatial awareness? That was after that, and before that was posture. A good ninjutsu posture can make you better understand the true meaning of ninjutsu. Feel the power of space, Naruto said as if he hated iron for being weak. At this time, Tianshan was bowing his waist, with his left hand on his waist, and his right hand was holding a kunai, which looked very much like the gangster excitement fist. But Naruto, why don't you use this move in such a pose? Tien Tien looked skeptical, she felt that Naruto just wanted to see her figure. Now he is 15 or 16 every day. Although his figure is not as good as that of Hanada and Tsunade, he has developed early and has begun to take shape. Because I'm proficient, and when you become proficient in the future, you won't need to use this posture. Naruto's serious appearance makes Tien Tien feel unconfident. Is this posture 18 plus Changsam really have a miraculous effect on learning Flying Thunder God? No wonder it works. She gave Naruto a blank look every day, and she can be 100% sure that this is just Naruto's bad taste. However, in order to learn art, she does not stick to small details. Posture and Changsam are considered tuition fees. Seeing that Tianshan is getting more and more decent, Naruto nodded with satisfaction, and was about to sit down and supervise Tianshan's training, when Kakashi unexpectedly came to the door. Mr. Kakashi, long time no see, what brought you here? Asterisk. I need your help with something, Kakashi said. Advertisement, what's the matter? Naruto asked. 
Recently, a ninja found Itachi and Sasuke, I would like to ask for your help, Kakashi said. In fact, this task was given by Tsunade to Kakashi and Yamato, but the subordinates of the two are really useless. Still not confident against Uchiha Itachi. So Kakashi applied to Tsunade for Naruto's help, but he didn't know that Tsunade had no way to mobilize Naruto. I can only get one sentence from Tsunade. Go ask what Naruto means. The helpless Kakashi came to Naruto for help. Naruto thought for a while and said, I still have to guide the training every day, maybe I don't have time for the last two years. Naruto-kun, if you want to carry out the task, I can stop the training. Pose. Don't be distracted, concentrate on feeling the power of space. Naruto's scolding stopped him before he finished talking every day. Once you start learning the ninjutsu of Flying Thunder God, you can't stop, otherwise everything will start again. I'm really sorry, Mr. Kakashi. Seeing Naruto's contrived refusal, Kakashi really wanted to stab a kanai in his chest. Anyway, you will be my subordinate for a year, so can't you give the teacher some face? Don't you want to bring Sasuke back? Little Sakura misses Sasuke very much. Kakashi hoped to use the fetters of his teammates to get Naruto's help. Little Sakura is also an emotional person, although she is with Naruto now, she still has friendship with Sasuke. At least until meeting the blackened Sasuke. That's Sasuke's own choice. You caught the bird that longed for freedom and put it in a cage, and it always yearned for the blue sky. Leave Sasuke alone, he is no longer fit to stay in Konoha. Naruto said without emotion. Kakashi was silent for a while, then sighed. Maybe my choice at the time was wrong. The choice Kakashi said was to let Naruto 3 pass the exam and become ninjas. At that time, he thought that the three of them would always have a strong bond and would respect each other. Advertisement but now it seems that only little Sakura still has that bond, Sasuke and Naruto have changed. Since you don't want to help, then I can only apply to let Yuhi Hong's team join the operation. I heard that the current Hanada has reached the strength of Jonin, so it is impossible to be killed by Itachi, right? Naruto suspects that Kakashi is threatening him, but he has no proof. Let me go. Hanada and Yuhi Hong's strength can't help Kakashi at all, so let them go. Naruto got up and grabbed Kakashi's shoulder, and said sincerely. Kakashi. Didn't you teach Flying Thunder God to train every day? Naruto. It's the same when I come back to practice. Kakashi. Isn't it impossible to interrupt learning Flying Thunder God? Doesn't everything have to be restarted as a result of interruption? Naruto. Those who flatter you will not lie to you now. Kakashi. FF. In that case, pack up and we'll set off right away, Kakashi said. To Yuya, let me pack my things, Naruto turned to Tiyuya and said. Do you want to bring something when you go out? Tiyuya asked suspiciously. Naruto thought about it, but it didn't seem to be necessary. Then there is no need to prepare, we will leave immediately. TNTN, study according to what I told you before I come back. By the way, don't use that posture to practice, you're so stupid, it won't work anytime soon. Tiyuya. Gong, day. I, Kakashi has black lines all over his head, and he feels that Naruto is better than blue than blue. Compared with Jiraiya, an old color group, Naruto, a small color group, already has a more advanced way of mopping. Advertisement, let's go, Kakashi on the way to find Uchiha Itachi. Naruto, Little Sakura, Kakashi, Yamato, and three passers by Chunin are walking in a team. This mission Naruto did not bring his own team. Naruto, why don't you bring your own team? Kakashi originally thought that Naruto's mission meant that he didn't bring any ninja equipment, but he didn't even bring his team members. The strength of the enemies on this mission exceeds their abilities, and bringing them here will not be useful for training. After explaining, Naruto found that little Sakura was still there, so he said, of course little Sakura is very strong, so she doesn't need to be trained, she is perfectly suitable for this level of tasks. Little Sakura smiled and didn't care. She knows that her strength is not much different from Azuki Shien and Midarashi Anko. Naruto must have taken her for other reasons, such as caring about himself. Kakashi rolled his eyes at Naruto, who had a strong desire to win. This guy really never forgets to sprinkle dog food at all times, and he still sprinkles dog food with different women. Hello, Konoha ninjas. While the few people were still on their way happily, a figure suddenly appeared on the tree trunk ahead. Kakashi and the others stopped in an instant and put on alert. After carefully looking at the masked man in front of him, wearing a red cloud robe, with that kind of ring on his hand, is he a member of the Akatsuki organization? Kakashi said. 
I haven't met this guy before, so I don't know what his ability is. Yamato looked serious. From the currently known information about the Akatsuki organization, it can be known that every ninja who joins the Akatsuki organization is a powerful existence with various strange abilities. If you are not careful, you may be killed by the opponent. Don't be so nervous, let me introduce myself, I'm Afei, and Afei is me. Chapter 123 Sage Art Thought Wave Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Looking at the funny Obito in the second grade, Naruto really wanted to take out a mobile phone to record his scene. Show it to Obito when he pretends, he will definitely die. Wood style, silent killing technique, Yamato didn't miss any chance, took advantage of Obito's mischief, and quickly made a move. Obito really didn't seem to react, and was bound by pieces of wood. Oops, I'm tied up. How to do how to do. A fae, played by Obito, said something funny and struggled decently. I can't break free. This wood style is so powerful. What should I do? What should I do? Yamato and others doubt whether the person in front of them is a member of the Akatsuki organization. This funny appearance does not look like a powerful and weird ninja. Was it someone pretending to be? Wrong. This person had indeed appeared in front of them without anyone noticing just now, this must not be faked. This person in front of him must have some kind of strange ability. Despite this speculation, Yamato continued to use wood style without hesitation, intending to finish him off. Wood style. Blaster. Two stakes fly from Yamato's shoulders and hit Obito straight. In the face of life and death crisis, Obito's performance is an exaggerated panic. He couldn't stop shouting. It's over, it's over, I'm going to die. As soon as the words fell, the violent spear technique pierced him straight through, and Obito also acted to the end, making a painful death appearance, and then slowly lowered his head. Advertisement Naruto watched Obito's manipulation, and the idea of recording a video became stronger. Ding. Detecting the strong appeal of the host, your celestial art has learned the exclusive ability of Ruchi Cave White Snake Immortal, Sage Art. Mind Wave. Close Black Lens Bracket. Mind Wave, a special ability that can record the screen and play it back, and can reappear the past experience. The moment he got the ability, Naruto started the ability recording. The recording started and Obito just came to life. Dang dang, I lied to you. Obito put his hands up, made a funny face and stepped out through Yamato's wood style. Intact. This time, Yamato and the others dare not underestimate this funny guy named Afei. This guy is most likely undead like Hidan and Kakuzu. I'll try. Kakashi stepped forward, and quickly formed a mudra with both hands. Lightning style. Chasing teeth. Thunderbolts gathered on Kakashi's right hand, and as more and more thunder attributed chakra gathered, a wolf-shaped thunderbolt flashed and rushed towards Daicho. The level of chasing Ya is only sea level, not very powerful, but extremely fast. Kakashi was confident that he could hit the ordinary Jonin, but what surprised him was that Obito, who seemed to be unable to dodge his skills and could only hard block Yamato wood style, easily dodged him. Huh, it's so dangerous, so dangerous, I almost got hit. Where is the difference? Obviously, the difference is a lot, okay. Seeing Obito's beating look, Kakashi didn't know why he thought of Naruto. This guy is as annoying as that kid, Chidori. Kakashi increased his speed again to attack Obito, but was still easily dodged by Obito. The two moved between the trees, Kakashi was chasing behind and Obito was running ahead. After such a few seconds, Kakashi didn't even touch a single hair of Obito. Advertisement Kakashi, who felt that he could not catch up with Obito, stopped and confronted Obito. This guy is too fast, I can't hit him, Kakashi thought. Kakashi. Hidden under the funny appearance, Obito looked at Kakashi with a little deep meaning. For a while, Kakashi looked at Obito who was indifferent and did not fight back, and suddenly realized something. They came to find Uchiha Itachi. Why is there another member of Akatsuki blocking here now? The answer is obvious, the other party is delaying time. Yamato, let's go together, he's wasting time. After being reminded by Kakashi, Yamato also reacted instantly. Then everyone joins the fight except Naruto. Wood style is interleaved with lightning style, and the three chunin occasionally use some sea level fire style or water style for interference. In the end, the little Sakura rushed forward and gave a strange power punch. As a result, all control, whether it is ninjutsu or taijutsu, all attacks seem to hit the empty space. The little Sakura even went through Obito, which is incredible. Space ninjutsu. Kakashi saw through Obito's abilities. 
Yamato said thoughtfully. For space ninjutsu, if you don't know the characteristics of this ninjutsu, then you can only use space ninjutsu to deal with space ninjutsu. Several people looked at Naruto one after another, but Naruto has been recording Obito's every move. Intended for a strong shock in his near future of Gao Lang. Sensing the gazes of several people, Naruto came back to his senses, looked at them and said, Don't look at me, Flying Thunder God can't deal with his ninjutsu. Yamato sighed, Can't even deal with Flying Thunder God, then this ninjutsu is too heaven-defying. Kakashi thought for a while, and said to Naruto, Naruto, why don't you go and see what happened first, I'm worried about Sasuke's safety. Uchiha Sasuke and Uchiha Itachi appeared in the same place, and it was a man who knew the two would fight. Advertisement. Having not seen Sasuke for two years, Kakashi is not very confident in Sasuke's ability. On the one hand, it is because Itachi has demonstrated too much strength. On the other hand, as Sasuke's teacher, he is well aware of Sasuke's talent. Sasuke's talent is high, but Uchiha Itachi is even higher. It is impossible to surpass Uchiha Itachi in two years. That guy can't die. Naruto doesn't think there is Itachi, the helper demon, who else can kill Sasuke. But since you said so, I'd still like to go. Would you like to go with little Sakura? Little Sakura looked at Kakashi and others, she was thinking about the disadvantages of leaving. Don't worry, Kakashi and the others can deal with this, Wang Hao, tease. As Naruto said, he grabbed the little Sakura's hand, and then disappeared in place. Needless to say, Naruto must have used Flying Thunder God. Obito can't help seeing Naruto slipping away, Flying Thunder God is too buggy. There was nothing he could do to stop Naruto from leaving. The rest is up to you, Uchiha Itachi, Obito murmured. Then he looked at Kakashi and the others, and said with a smile, Come on, let's see who can hurt me first. Asterisk. Kakashi is not so boring, he is now on the same mission as the other party. Just drag the opponent. As for Sasuke's side, Kakashi believes that Naruto can handle it. As Flying Thunder God flickered, Naruto appeared in front of several people with little Sakura. Onito Suigetsu, Karen and Shigego of Eagle Team, Hoshigaki Kisame of Akatsuki. Chapter 124 Goodbye Sasuke. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Mr. Itachi is fighting Sasuke inside, no one else is allowed to enter. Kisame stood in front of Naruto and said. He recognized Naruto and knew how powerful Naruto was, but he was not afraid of Kisame. Naruto glanced at Kisame, but didn't respond to him. Compared to Kisame, Naruto was more interested in Karen from Eagle Team. Of course, they were only interested, and had no intention of approaching them to talk to them. It should be inside, let's go in. This is the hometown of the Uchiha clan, and it is a bit above board for Uchiha Itachi and Uchiha Sasuke to meet again to fight again. Naruto finished speaking to little Sakura, took her hand and disappeared with Flying Thunder God again. Kisame wanted to stop the two, but he couldn't keep up with the speed of space ninjutsu. Every ninja who masters space ninjutsu is powerful and terrifying. I can't stop this kind of scary guy, Mr. Itachi, it's up to you. Kisame looked at the direction where Naruto disappeared, and muttered to himself. Hey, that guy is already in, why don't we go in too? Gaidong Suigetsu still wanted to go in to help Sasuke. But the three of them together may not necessarily be Kisami's opponent. They don't have any weird tricks like Naruto, they can only wait here. Kisame held Samahata on his shoulders, looked at the ghost lamp Shuewi and said with a smile, try to go and have a look. The meaning is obvious, think about it, by strength. Gaidong Shuewi naturally doesn't have this strength, so she can only worry secretly with Shanglin. But Chongo is calmer, he has more confidence in Sasuke. Go deep into 757 inside Uchiha's old place, which has been wrapped in black flames, and ordinary people can't go through to see the situation inside. But Naruto is obviously not an ordinary person, flame control. Naruto's eyes instantly changed to Mangekyo Sharingan, and then controlled black flame to open a path. Advertisement The black flame was burning too vigorously, and Naruto couldn't throw something with the flying thunder god seal inside. So I can only use Mangekyo to control these black flames and move them away. In fact, when fighting pain, Naruto's eyes should evolve into Rinnegan. But Naruto can't grasp the urinary nature of the system. Sometimes it lives up to expectations, and sometimes it doesn't live up to expectations. Just like when he was learning the Book of Seals before, he could learn 80% of ninjutsu in one night, but the other 20% required him to spend another whole day. 
Sharingan can evolve into Mangekyo within days of getting it, and Naruto with white eyes takes years to evolve into Tensigen. Whether the system can live up to expectations depends on whether Naruto's European style is prosperous or not. As for Naruto's Mangekyo Sharingan, little Sakura seemed to know it long ago without being surprised. Naruto took her by the hand and walked through the black flames into the old place of Uchiha, and came to a huge rock house like a yurt. At this time, around the house, the upper and lower floors are attached by Amaterasu, and other people cannot enter the house at all. So Naruto took the little Sakura to the top of the stone house and waited closely. He remembered that this, bib, was the final battleground. Is Sasuke in here? Little Sakura just asked. Suddenly, a loud explosion sounded from below. A figure flew out from the top of the stone roof and hit the stone wall not far from them. Little Sakura took a closer look, and it was Sasuke. Sasuke. Little Sakura shouted to Sasuke who was already in a panic, her tone full of worry. Sasuke clutched his chest, struggled to get up, and looked towards little Sakura. Seeing little Sakura, Sasuke didn't say anything, they were just passers by all the time, and there was no fetter. Seeing Naruto again, Sasuke was slightly concerned, after all, Naruto had always been his imaginary enemy when he was in Konoha. Later Naruto also helped him several times, and even allowed himself to leave Mutu. Sasuke still remembers Naruto's friendship. Of course, this friendship is limited to remembering, and repayment is impossible. Why are you here? Sasuke looked at Naruto and asked. We'll take you back to Konoha, come with us, Sasuke-kun. Little Sakura thought Sasuke was talking to herself, so she answered by herself. Advertisement. It's just that Sasuke didn't respond to her words at all, just stared at Naruto. I heard that you and Uchiha Itachi were fighting here, so I came to see you, Naruto said casually. Sasuke frowned, he didn't know if Naruto's words were true. Given what he knew about Naruto, it was quite possible. It's just that at this critical moment, Naruto's sudden appearance makes him uneasy. At this time, Uchiha Itachi also jumped out of the stone house, and was a little surprised when he saw Naruto. Sasuke looked at Itachi who jumped out, and said to Naruto beside him, Don't get in the way, if you don't want to die, you'd better get out of here. The ninjutsu that Sasuke and others are going to use is too powerful, and he is worried about killing Naruto indirectly. Of course, if he knew Naruto's true strength, he would definitely not think so. Don't worry about me, you guys come on. Naruto waved his hand, took little Sakura and jumped to sit on top of a stone monument wall, intending to play quietly. At the same time, he glanced at the corner not far away without any trace. There is a life there, if nothing else, it should be white Zetsu. Naruto also found him when he was fighting pain last time, but he was too lazy to talk to him. Uchiha Itachi didn't continue to fight with Sasuke immediately, but looked at Naruto with a guarded look. Although he is on Konoha's side, Naruto is also on Konoha's side. But the current position and fight made him worry that Naruto would intervene in the battle between himself and Sasuke. This battle was his final test for his brother, and he didn't want anyone to interfere. Sasuke, is this the helper you brought? Itachi asked blankly. No, I won't let other people intervene in the battle between us, you can only be killed by me, Sasuke said fiercely. Naruto also saw Itachi's worry, waved his hand and said, don't worry, we're just here to watch the show, and we won't interfere in your battle. Watching a play, the corner of Itachi's mouth twitched, and the life and death battle between him and his brother turned into Naruto's drama. But as long as Naruto doesn't intervene in the fight, the battle will be over soon. Fire style. Great fireball technique, advertisement. Sasuke took the lead, and Itachi was one step behind, but followed with the same ninjutsu. The fire styles of the two collided in midair and the collision between the flames made a hissing sound. After a while, Sasuke's fire style took advantage and overwhelmed Itachi's fire style. Itachi felt that he was invincible, so he forcibly opened his closed eye and used Amaterasu. Blood slid from Itachi's eyes, his eyes fixed on Sasuke's flames. Then a group of black flames spontaneously ignited out of thin air in the flames, burning more and more fiercely, and burning more and more intensely. Finally, burn Sasuke's flame directly. It is indeed the strongest fire style ninjutsu, the strongest physical attack method, and it can do such unimaginable things as burning the flames. Amaterasu didn't stop after devouring Sasuke's fire style, but chased toward Sasuke. Sasuke also knows the trigger condition of Itachi's ninjutsu, and it can't be watched by Itachi. So he ran fast, 
On the huge roof, Sasuke ran wildly in a circle, and Amaterasu followed behind. The scene was once extremely dangerous. Seeing that Sasuke was about to be in danger, little Sakura unconsciously tightened the hand held by Naruto, even using her strange strength. Hiss, Naruto's hand hurts. Ah, sorry, Naruto-kun, I didn't notice. Little Sakura hurriedly let go and apologized, and checked to see if Naruto's palm was hurt by herself. Fortunately, Naruto's physical fitness is extremely high, so he didn't leave any traces. If it were a cutie like Hanada who was suddenly grabbed by little Sakura, the hand would be useless. After all, little Sakura's punch can also break rocks. It's okay. Naruto smiled and didn't care. You are worried about Sasuke, don't worry, he won't die. Up to now, little Sakura, everything is gradually getting better, the only thing that still worries Naruto is her two emotional emotions. Obviously she doesn't communicate much with Sasuke, and Sasuke treats her as a stranger, but she still cares about Sasuke's safety and hopes that Sasuke will return to Konoha. Yeah. Little Sakura nodded slightly, believing Naruto's words. Naruto has always been able to give little Sakura a very reliable feeling. If Naruto says Sasuke will be fine, then he will be fine. Chapter 125, Ten Fist Sword, Bring It You, Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Although Naruto said that Sasuke was fine, but the next second Sasuke was burned to the wings by Amaterasu. Then it spread to the whole body in an instant, and the burning pain made Sasuke curl up on the ground in great pain. Little Sakura clenched her hands subconsciously, if Naruto hadn't told him that Sasuke would be fine, she might have rushed to save Sasuke. Not far away, Ju, who had always been afraid of Naruto, saw Sasuke fell to the ground, and subconsciously thought that Uchiha Itachi had won. While thinking about how to take Itachi away, the stone house suddenly burst. A flame powerful enough to burst stone burst into the sky. The target of the flame is the sky, not Uchiha Itachi. So although Uchiha Itachi was attacked, he dodged the attack with a light jump and stood on top of a stone tablet. Sasuke, who escaped Amaterasu's burning with the Orochi flow body replacement technique, also jumped out of the stone house at this time and stood on a stone tablet next to Naruto. If you don't want to die, stay away. Just as Sasuke finished speaking, there was a thunder in the sky. Countless dark clouds gathered. In an instant, the old place of Uchiha became the place where Leihai gathered. What kind of ninjutsu is it that can induce the power of natural lightning? Little Sakura said in shock. As if answering little Sakura, and as if telling Itachi the cause of death, Sasuke sneered confidently. This is the strongest lightning style ninjutsu I have developed. Just like your Amaterasu, it cannot be dodged at all. Its name is Kilin. Itachi turned around and looked at Thunder Kilin, who was so powerful that he could condense a 100-meter entity with an expressionless face. He didn't say a word, and no one knew what he was thinking at this time. After a while, Kilin, a powerful thunderbolt, flew into the clouds, spun around and headed straight towards Uchiha Itachi. Uchiha Itachi didn't sit still, and put Suzano on Kilin early. But Naruto on the side looked at Itachi's behavior and found it strange. Suzano of Uchiha Itachi owns the Yata Mirror, which can change its attributes according to the attributes of the attack, making it invalid. In other words, if Itachi uses the Yata mirror to connect hard, it can almost completely connect to the S-level Kilin lightning style. Advertisement but Itachi didn't do this, but chose to use Suzunohe's body defense to hardwire it. This also caused him to be hurt by Kilin to a certain extent, and he was even beaten out of Suzano form. Little Sakura, come closer to me. Little Sakura looked at Kilin with some fear, and then flinched towards Naruto. Naruto opened Mangekyo Sharingan in seconds, summoning his own Suzano. Purple Meditation Skeleton. This is. Suzano. Ju who was not far away looked at Naruto in surprise. Sasuke, who was on Naruto's side, also looked at Naruto with some horror, not knowing why he had this power. But the shock was the shock, they didn't have time to sigh. Especially Itachi, he had already been crushed by Suzano without seeing Naruto Suzano. Itachi's fall to the ground meant that everything around him also suffered Kilin's attack instantly. For a moment, the entire 100-meter stone house collapsed in an instant, and Sasuke was not spared from being penetrated by his ninjutsu. A few minutes later, the clouds cleared and the sky became bright again. The stone house that was originally towering like a hill has become a land of ruins. Uchiha Itachi fell to the ground, motionless. Uchiha Sasuke was half kneeling on the ground, 
Seeing Uchiha Itachi's appearance, he couldn't help laughing out loud. Ha 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 ha. I finally killed you, Uchiha Itachi. Seeing Sasuke laughing morbidly, little Sakura felt very strange. Sasuke in this state is scary. Not far away, Ju looked at Itachi's fallen body, and the first thing he thought of was not whether Itachi was still alive. But Itachi's Suzano is not as good as Naruto's Suzano. Itachi's Suzano dissipated under the impact of Kilin, while Naruto's Suzano remained intact. Advertisement. Even the little Sakura who stayed inside didn't suffer any harm, it's like, immune to ninjutsu. Is it really possible to just be immune to S-rank ninjutsu? Open black lens bracket ding. Your Suzano is outraged because she has no weapons, so she got the Ten Fist Sword and the Yada Mirror. Close black lens bracket. Naruto was a little puzzled. His Suzano had to meditate with his hands in a specific posture, what would he do with the weapon? In the next second, Naruto tries to summon Ten Fist Sword and Yata Mirror. Naruto's Suzano's purple light flashed, and two purple weapons flashed, spinning around Suzano's body. This. Yuji an attack? Uchiha Itachi struggled to get up from the ground while Naruto was secretly playing. The Suzano on the body is re-wrapped around the body. Not having time to look at the anomaly on Naruto's side, Uchiha Itachi stumbled towards Uchiha Sasuke step by step. At this time the chakra of Uchiha Sasuke is completely used up. Can't perform any ninjutsu. Unwillingly, he could only pull out the Kusanagi sword from his waist and stab at Uchiha Itachi. With a flying leap, Sasuke jumped high and stabbed Suzano. With a wave of Suzano's hand, Sasuke was bounced off like an ant and fell to the ground. Struggling to get up from the ground, Sasuke was full of anger and fear. Ask for flowers, he's tried his best, but this situation still can't beat Uchiha Itachi. Is he going to be killed by Itachi? He is not reconciled. When Sasuke was angry, his neck suddenly hurt sharply. Then the infinitely terrifying Yamada no Orochi suddenly grew from the curse mark on his neck. Naruto couldn't imagine how such a huge thing could be summoned from a small sigil, a type of sealing technique. One of the heads of Yamada no Orochi opened its mouth, revealing the figure of Orochimaru. After waiting for so long, this opportunity finally came. Advertisement, as long as I kill you, I can get the eyes of both of you. Said the excited smile that Orochimaru showed. But just after he was excited, one of his snake heads was chopped off by the Ten Fist Sword. Uchiha Itachi doesn't have much time left, his life is close to dying. Zero he doesn't want to talk nonsense with Orochimaru, any existence that threatens Sasuke should be eliminated. Except Konoha. Orochimaru also saw Uchiha Itachi's Suzano form for the first time. After a brief shock, he began to control the eight heads to attack Itachi non-stop. But all the attacks are useless in front of the huge Yada mirror, which shows how much water Uchiha Itachi put when he picked up Kilin. If Kilin had been blocked with the Yada mirror in the first place, Uchiha Itachi would not be dying at all now. Next, Uchiha Itachi cut off several heads of Yamada no Orochi one after another. This situation makes Orochimaru feel bad, but it's not good, it doesn't help or it doesn't help. Uchiha Itachi manipulates Suzano to seal Orochimaru with the Ten Fist Sword. Orochimaru couldn't avoid it, and was about to be stabbed by the Ten Fist Sword, but a flying sword suddenly appeared to block Itachi's Ten Fist Sword. Uchiha Itachi looked at Naruto, and he knew that this weapon, which was very similar to the Ten Fist Sword, came from Naruto. If you want to protect him, Itachi asked blankly, while secretly calculating how much damage his remaining power could do to Naruto. No, but can you give me this guy to practice? I don't know who to use as a test subject for the newly acquired weapon. Naruto looked at Itachi and smiled. Orochimaru, are you polite? Itachi stared at Naruto, silent for two seconds. Itachi nodded and told Suzano to take back the Ten Fist Sword. On the other hand, Naruto took over the important task of sealing Orochimaru, and manipulated the purple Ten Fist Sword to pierce Orochimaru with one sword, and brought it into the sealed wine gourd that matched the Ten Fist Sword. Poor Orochimaru just changed a gourd and lost his life. Chapter 126 Deal with Itachi Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement After sealing Orochimaru, Naruto took the initiative to make room for the battle between the two. But Itachi didn't rush to fight Sasuke immediately, but stared at Naruto blankly. Naruto wrapped Suzano, drove Mangekio Sharingan and Uchiha Itachi looked at each other. After a second, neither of them looked at each other anymore. Itachi continued walking toward Sasuke, staggering. 
walking and walking, as if chakra was not enough, Suzano dissipated by itself. But even if Itachi relieved Suzano, Sasuke had no power to resist. With his back against the wall, he groped feebly at the wall, trying to find something. But. Nothing. After a few seconds, Itachi came up to Sasuke, stretched out two fingers and tapped on Sasuke's forehead. Forgive me Sasuke, this is the last time. After murmuring a few words in a low voice, Itachi collapsed powerlessly and died completely. He obviously still had the power to seal Orochimaru just now, but now he fell to the ground and died without even making a move. Naruto can only sigh with, oh seven oh, the acting skills are really good. Seeing Itachi fell, Sasuke was stunned for a moment, and then fell to the ground powerlessly. Lying on his back facing Itachi, looking at the sky, fell into a deep sleep. At this time, Naruto withdrew Suzano, came to the two, picked them up and planned to leave. But just as he took a step, someone stood in front of him. If you want to leave, can you put the two on your shoulders down? Looking at Uchiha Obito and Black White Zetsu in front of him, Naruto remained expressionless. Then Naruto's eyes flashed and Amaterasu landed directly on Obito. How did you do this? Ah, Obito screamed, but within a few seconds, the part of his body belonging to White Zetsu fell off, allowing him to escape successfully. As expected, you killed Danzo. Obito looked at Naruto and said with a heavy face. Get out of the way. Naruto said, looking at Obito, or I'll take my time and finish you off. Advertisement. Naruto didn't release any momentum, but still put a lot of pressure on the king. After all, he is a man who has been admitted to have powers that do not belong to Uchiha Madara. Obito hesitated for a while, but finally chose to leave. It won't be long until we meet again, Uzumaki Naruto. After speaking, Uchiha Obito used Kamui to disappear in place, and Black White Zetsu also used floating technique to disappear on the ground. At this time a crow flew down from the sky and landed on the dead body of Itachi on Naruto's right shoulder. Naruto glanced at the crow's eyes, and then said to little Sakura. Let's go, little Sakura, back to Konoha. Naturally, Naruto saved Sasuke not because of any bondage, but because Itachi just made a deal with himself in the Sukuyomi space. Uchiha Itachi asked Naruto to protect Sasuke from being taken away by Akatsuki at the cost of Uchiha Shisui's eyes. This kind of good business, Naruto has no reason not to do it. His distinguished heavenly god's pupil technique is still cooling down, and Uchiha Shisui can only use this one. Maybe before long, he just needs to use distinguished heavenly gods once. Out of the Uchiha tribe, Naruto happened to meet the eagle squad running towards him. The three saw Naruto carrying Sasuke on his shoulders, and stopped Naruto directly. Put down Sasuke, Karen said to Naruto. Naruto didn't intend to explain to the three of them, and directly opened the picture of the cold sweat of the three people. This person is invincible. Sasuke is not dead yet, if you still want to follow him, follow me. After speaking, Naruto took little Sakura straight past the three of them and continued on their way back. The three of Shongolan met each other at a glance. What should I do? Gaidong Shuei asked the two of them. This person is invincible, and he doesn't look like he is hostile to Sasuke. Why don't we follow? Zhongwu suggested. Well, I'm worried about Sasuke. Shanglin nodded in agreement with Shigego. It hit it off, and the three followed behind Naruto. So after walking for a while, Naruto and the others met Kakashi and others. Naruto, on your shoulder is. Of course Kakashi recognized their faces, but he wasn't sure, or couldn't believe it. Advertisement, Uchiha Sasuke and Uchiha Itachi, of which Uchiha Itachi is dead, Naruto said. Uchiha Itachi is dead. Kakashi and Kakashi looked at Naruto in disbelief. What happened? Naruto saw the doubts of several people, and Tien explained one more sentence. Sasuke and Uchiha Itachi fight to the death, and Itachi dies in the end. Guess the rest yourself. Go back to Konoha. Kakashi. Yamato. Back to Konoha. Naruto didn't go to see Tsunade first, but went straight back to his hut. Kakashi thinks that Naruto is doing something wrong. He should send Sasuke to Konoha Hospital first, and then report to Tsunade together. But Naruto insisted on going his own way and ignored Kakashi's opinion at all. So under compromise, Kakashi and little Sakura accompany Naruto to his hut. The four of Yamato went to report the situation to Tsunade. A group of eight people came to Naruto's house, ah, there are so many guests today. Yuhuo was a little surprised when he opened the door and saw so many people. 
Yuhuo, go get the medical kit, to Yuya, arrange for these extra people, and give them some tea. Naruto said and walked into the inner room with little Sakura. Kakashi and others were stopped in the pavilion in the yard. It turns out that I'm also redundant. Kakashi muttered to himself with a helpless expression. After a while, Duoyo also brought tea to several people. But a few people were not in the mood to drink, and looked at Naruto's room with their teacups. Don't worry, as long as that person is still breathing, the master can cure them. Duoyo also said to several people. Master, Onidosuigetsu also has some impressions of Taiyu, but I didn't expect you to betray Orochimaru and stay in Konoha. Quote. I didn't expect you to follow Sasuke. Tayuya and Suigetsu were not familiar. When Tayuya followed Orochimaru, Suigetsu was just a prisoner, and the two had only met once at that time. In addition, Tayuya also has some understanding of Chongo, but the two have never talked. After all, Zongwu is too dangerous, and she will also be afraid under his hidden personality. As for Shang Rin, she came later, and Tayu had no communication with her. Advertisement inside the house. Naruto treated Sasuke with healing jutsu and then operated on him with chakra scalpel. The powerful medical ability looked at the little Sakura's eyes shining. She has studied with Tsunade for more than two years, but there is still a gap compared with Naruto. I heard from the teacher that Naruto just learned from her for a few weeks. As expected of Mr. Naruto, little Sakura thought to herself. After Sasuke's injuries were stabilized, Naruto took the chakra scalpel to Itachi's corpse and removed his eyes and put them in the container. Adding some special liquid to the container can better preserve the eyes. Naruto-kun. Why did you leave Sasuke big brother's eyes behind? Little Sakura was a little puzzled. After the eyes of the Uchiha family have evolved to Mangekyo, they can evolve again by transplanting the eyes of their brothers. These eyes are reserved for Sasuke in 4.0, Naruto said. Evolve your own eyes with the eyes of your own brother. How can there be such terrible eyes in this world? Little Sakura covered her mouth and looked at Sasuke and Itachi. She couldn't imagine what kind of grief the two had to endure using each other's eyes. But thinking that the two were killing each other just now, it seems that there is not so much grief. Boom boom boom. The door of the room rang suddenly. What's up? Anbu's ninjas are looking for you, master. Anbu's ninja? If there is no important matter, Tsunade will not send Anbu to find himself at all. Is it those two old and immortal subordinates? Let them wait. Yes, master. For these two immortals, Naruto will not give them face. Put Itachi's eyes in a conspicuous place in the house to ensure the double insurance of sealing technique and resulting ninjutsu. There are many people who want these eyes. Chapter 127 Showdown, I Killed Danzo, Previous Chapter Next chapter advertisement, Yuhuo, take Itachi's body to another room, and prepare a coffin. Yes, master. Going outside the door, Naruto saw Kakashi and others waiting anxiously. Also saw Anbu who was waiting. Seeing Naruto coming out, the two Anbu immediately stepped forward, Naruto Janin, the two advisors are here. I'll go later. Naruto walked towards Kakashi and the others without looking back. The two Anbu looked at each other and did not urge Naruto. They know the current status of Naruto Jonin, that is the strongest Jonin recognized by Jonins now. Moreover, Naruto has a gold medal for avoiding death at Tsunade, even the two advisors dare not tell Naruto what to do. Sasuke is fine, he should be able to wake up at night. If you continue to wait here, I will let my servant cook your meals. Naruto said. Kakashi and the others looked at each other, and then said in unison, you're welcome. Naruto. He was just being polite, but none of them seemed polite. To Yuya, it's almost time to prepare dinner. I'll go out for a while and come back before dinner. Good 18, Master. Naruto came to the two Anbus and said to them, Put your hands on my shoulders. The two were a little puzzled, but they did it anyway. The three of them disappeared in a flash and arrived at the Hokage building in an instant. Advertisement, lead the way. Naruto said to the two Anbu. He has not been to the offices of the two consultants, so he does not know the specific location. The two Anbu took him around the Hokage building and came to a door. Boom boom boom, two advisors, Naruto Janin have been brought in. Come in. It was Yutatane Kaharu who spoke, and there was no emotion in his tone. The two Anbu opened the door for Naruto, and after Naruto walked in, the two just stood outside the door and did not enter. Is there anything you can do with me? Naruto lit a cigarette without hesitation and smoked. The two consultants didn't care, 
After all, when Sarutobi was around, they didn't smoke less secondhand smoke. Naruto, I heard that you brought back the bodies of Uchiha Sasuke and Uchiha Itachi? Yutatane Kaharu asked. Yeah, what's the matter? Naruto said casually. In my heart, I was surprised at the speed of the two immortals. At this time, Tsunade just got the news from Yamato, right? It seems that these two old guys planted spies around Tsunade. Leave the two of them to us. They should be dealt with secretly as Konoha traitors, Mito Menden said. I said, are you too old and confused? Naruto looked at the two with an uneasy expression. You want to leave the person I brought back with just one word? Do you really think that you can tell me what to do because you are the Konoha consultant? Mitokado Homura and Yutatane Kaharu were scolded by Naruto. The whole person froze for a moment, then flew into a rage. Uzumaki Naruto, who do you think you're talking to? You're just a Konoha Janin, do you think you can keep two people? Mitokado Homura scolded Naruto angrily. Then you can try to send Anbu to me to get someone. Naruto sneered. Advertisement. The faces of the two advisors were ugly, the power Naruto now possessed was no secret to them. Mount Myoboku's sage mode, Tensigen comparable to Rinnegan, beat Six Paths Pen's record. All kinds of things made the two consultants dare not mess around. Uchiha Itachi wiped out the Uchiha clan, destroyed the roots, killed Danzo, and is still doing evil in various countries, what do you do to protect the corpse of such a person? Mitokado Homura asked. Hey, do you really think I don't know the truth about Uchiha's genocide? Naruto approached the two slowly, put his hands on the table and spat eye circles at the two. Didn't you high-ranking Konoha's order Uchiha Itachi to exterminate the clan? Now that Itachi is dead, do you only know the truth? You, Mitokado Homura slammed the table, Uzumaki Naruto, don't spit blood. You know for yourself whether I have spat blood or not. Naruto didn't want to argue with Mitokado Homura either. The three of them just looked at each other and were silent for a while. Uzumaki Naruto, I don't know what Uchiha Itachi said to you, but I hope you can trust Konoha, trust us. You detained Kaharu thought it was Uchiha Itachi who told Naruto the truth. But the truth is that Naruto is a traveler well aware of the decay of these high-level Konoha. Believe in you. Believe in Konoha. Naruto sneered, I still believe in myself. Let me tell you the truth. Saying that Naruto's eyes changed to Mangekio Sharingan. Amaterasu, Heian appeared out of nowhere on the table in front of the two consultants. The two consultants were instantly taken aback, wasting their time away from their desks. They are all too familiar with this thing. You. Dot you, how do you have Mangekio Sharingan, and Amaterasu? Amaterasu. Mitokado Homura stammered, unable to speak clearly for a moment. Amaterasu shouldn't only be Uchiha Itachi, right? Naruto looked at Mitokado Homura to help him add. Yes, yes, the two of them suddenly realized something at this moment. Advertisement When did Naruto have those eyes, has he always had them, or did he just transplant Uchiha Itachi's eyes? I knew this trick when I was 12, and... Danzo was not killed by Uchiha Itachi. Naruto's whisper echoed in the ears of the two advisors. Didn't Uchiha Itachi kill it? Killed by Uzumaki Naruto? At the age of 12, he wiped out the roots by himself, and hid 43 in Konoha and became a popular person beside 5th Hokage. The two consultants were terrified when they thought carefully, and they also became terrified when they looked into Naruto's eyes. Asterisk. Yutatane Kaharu wanted to call Anbu in from outside the door, but he was speechless when he saw Naruto's eyes. Those eyes are so scary. Do you still want someone from me now? Naruto looked at the two and smiled. Facing Naruto's question, the two consultants were speechless and could only silently panic. Naruto felt bored, so he simply extinguished Amaterasu with flame control, and sat on the unburned table to watch the two. He was thinking about how to deal with the two of them. What a waste to use distinguished heavenly gods. Kill them? Naruto thinks it's not the time yet, at least he can't kill with the Hokage building at this time. After thinking about it, Naruto smiled slightly, and Mangekio Sharingan turned again. Look into my eyes. Illusion. Sharingan, with strong pupil power, Naruto easily controlled the two advisors. According to the usual appearance, go to the valley of the end in three days. Yes, master. Naruto clapped his hands and smiled slightly, very well. I let you live for too long, and you actually found trouble on my head. After three days, you have played your last value, and it's time to go on the road. Chapter 128 You don't really think Guyu Sharingan can beat Mangekio, do you? Previous chapter. 
Next chapter. Advertisement. Leaving the offices of the two advisors, Naruto stopped by to look at Tsunade. After symbolically reporting the situation and receiving the S-level task reward, Naruto returned to his hut. At this time, Sasuke has awakened, and Kakashi and little Sakura are persuading him. But Sasuke and his subordinates sat on the grass in the courtyard. His face was expressionless, as if he hadn't heard anything. Seeing Naruto coming back, Sasuke finally reacted, stood up and came to Naruto and said, Thank you. The reason why he stayed here after waking up was not because he wanted to give Kakashi and others a chance to persuade himself and keep him. He just wanted to thank Naruto who helped him many times. No, I didn't save you for nothing. Naruto laughed. What do you mean? Sasuke frowned and looked at several subordinates. Did they pay for it? Itachi. Naruto said. The name suddenly made Sasuke annoyed. Although he had hoped to kill Itachi for so many years, he was not very happy when he actually killed Itachi now. At this time, his heart was complicated and confused. He didn't know what to do next. What else in this world could keep him? You mean Itachi gave you something and asked you to save me? Sasuke sneered, as if he didn't believe the person he was grateful for. Naruto, what happened, what did Itachi give you? Unlike Sasuke, Kakashi thinks what Naruto said is true. Advertisement because Naruto is already a person who does not miss old feelings in his heart. Naruto ignored Kakashi, just looked at Sasuke and said, sit down, let me tell you something interesting. Naruto came to the booth and sat down, Sasuke hesitated for a moment and went to sit down too. Others also leaned over, they were all curious about what Naruto wanted to say. What's interesting? Sasuke asked, staring into Naruto's eyes. Naruto lit a cigarette and said unhurriedly, The interesting thing is that it was not Uchiha Itachi's own idea to destroy the Uchiha clan. Hmm, or maybe he was instructed by someone. Someone instructed Uchiha Itachi to exterminate the Uchiha clan. Impossible, he told me to destroy the Uchiha clan to gain power. Sasuke thought of Uchiha Itachi's words before the duel with himself. Then why do you think he let you live until now? For your eyes? You beat him? You don't really think Goyu Sharingan can defeat Mangekyo Sharingan, do you? Naruto sneered. Sasuke was stunned for a moment, thinking about it carefully, it seemed that Itachi had been making some low-level mistakes during the battle. Could it be, if you still don't believe me? Naruto's eyes instantly turned into Mangekyo, you can try to see if you can hurt me. Sasuke's hand subconsciously moved, and wanted to draw the knife, but his hand stopped in midair and he still didn't make a move. Who ordered Itachi to destroy the Uchiha clan? Uchiha Sasuke tried to believe Naruto's words. In any case, it is still true that Uchiha Itachi killed the entire Uchiha family himself. Advertisement knowing that someone ordered Uchiha Itachi to do it, it was nothing more than killing two more people. At this time, Kakashi suddenly put a hand on Naruto's shoulder, looked at Naruto and asked, how do you know that someone ordered Uchiha Itachi to wipe out the Tomochiya clan? Kakashi wanted to stop Naruto from continuing, because whoever Naruto said next would lead Sasuke to a new hatred. He also wants Sasuke to return to Konoha, never let Naruto do that. Naruto looked at Kakashi, and Mangekyo turned, Kakashi-sensei, who do you think made me receive the cold shoulder in Konoha? Kakashi's pupils were wide open, and he was about to say something when he suddenly passed out. Illusion. Sukuyomi, Naruto. The little Sakura on the side saw Naruto knocking Kakashi unconscious, a little at a loss. Naruto looked at little Sakura, and said, I don't want to be interrupted when I talk next, so I can only wrong Mr. Kakashi to take a break. Sukuyomi is not a hypnosis illusion. Even when Naruto is gentle with this ninjutsu, Kakashi will suffer a lot of mental damage. When little Sakura saw Naruto say that, she could only bow her head in silence. She doesn't agree with Naruto doing this, but she doesn't want to stand against Naruto either. Sasuke, I will trouble you to recite this blame later. It is still very troublesome to hurt Jonin's fishing boat in the same village, Naruto said to Sasuke. Sasuke nodded and said with a blank face, Let's talk about who ordered Uchiha Itachi to destroy the Uchiha clan. Konoha, or the high-level Konoha, Naruto said. Everyone present was shocked, none of them thought that the one who destroyed the Uchiha clan would be the manager of Konoha. It's a lie, why did the high-ranking Konoha destroy the big clan in the same village? Gaidong Shuewi asked the question of everyone present. Of course, the reason was that the Uchiha clan at that time had the idea of rebelling, and they wanted to unite the whole clan to change the high-level Konoha at that time, Naruto said. 
rebellion. Sasuke recalled carefully, and found that he had a vague memory. Advertisement are these all true? The Uchiha clan always think highly of themselves, and they are not liked by the people of Konoha village in Konoha. Their first patriarch, Uchiha Madara, killed Konoha's first Hokage. In the Nine Tails Rebellion 15 years ago, a Uchiha tribe destroyed the production of fourth Hokage's wife at that time, controlled the Nine Tails who came out of the seal to attack Konoha village, and killed countless ninjas. It also includes fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato and his wife Uzumaki Kashina. Kurama, who was lying in the haystack in Naruto's backyard, suddenly woke up from his sleep and felt shabby. Kurama shook his hair, looked around vigilantly, and found nothing strange. Strange, is it a cold? Unable to understand, Kurama could only continue to bury his head in sleep. Naruto will not let it leave here, otherwise it will be resealed. Li Zhao. So it can't do anything except eat and sleep on weekdays. For various reasons, the status of the Uchiha family in the village is very embarrassing, and they are often excluded, and even once excluded from the upper management of Hosokoba. Think about it, would an extremely powerful clan be willing to be treated coldly in Konoha? After listening to Naruto's explanation, they finally understood why the Uchiha clan rebelled. Just why Uchiha Itachi moved the hand? Sasuke asked his own question. Why did Uchiha Itachi move the hand? Naruto didn't answer Sasuke immediately, but said another thing first. Originally, there was a chance to stop the rebellion of the Uchiha clan, but it was all stopped by Danzoke from Konoha route. Naruto waved to the sky, and a crow flew to Naruto's shoulder. This opportunity is the legendary strongest illusion. Uchiha Shisui, owner of the Distinguished Heavenly Gods. Chapter 129 The Weasel's Backhand Distinguished Heavenly Gods in the Eyes of Crows Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement, The Strongest Illusion, Distinguished Heavenly Gods Sasuke had never heard of this illusion. Naruto explained. The ability of the Distinguished Heavenly Gods is to forcibly change a person's will, and Uchiha Shisui wanted to use this ability to change the will of the Uchiha Patriarch to prevent this rebellion. Forcibly changing people's will, Sasuke muttered. He couldn't believe that there was such a terrible illusion. You said earlier that Shisui was going to stop the rebellion, but what did it mean to be stopped by Danzo at the root of Konoha? Sasuke asked. Danzo was one of Konoha's top brass, and the one with the most power at the time besides third Hokage. At that time, he knew that Uchiha Shisui was going to use distinguished heavenly gods to prevent the Uchiha clan from rebelling, and thought that Uchiha Shisui was wasting the value of this ninjutsu. So they sneaked up and took one of his eyes out. Sasuke was shocked. He didn't expect that what could have been prevented would fail because of the greed of Konoha's senior management. What's more, I didn't expect that these high-ranking Konohas would issue orders to destroy the Uchiha clan after they prevented Shisui from stopping the Uchiha clan's rebellion. Thinking of this, Sasuke was very angry, and Rinnegan kept turning. Shisui, who was seriously injured by the surprise attack, entrusted his other eye to Uchiha Itachi. And that eye is what he gave me, Naruto said as he touched the crow's feathers on 333's shoulder. Why would he trade that eye for you to save me? Sasuke couldn't figure it out, since Itachi had such eyes, why did he have to die with himself? If you directly use that eye to change your will, wouldn't you be able to get your own eyes easily? Or in other words, you can use that eye to control yourself at the beginning, and then you can achieve him when you become stronger. Why, he didn't use that eye. At this moment, he finally believed that Itachi had been protecting himself. Advertisement. Because he thinks everything is inevitable. He felt that the Uchiha clan would definitely be liquidated by the high-level Konoha, so when the high-level Konoha asked him to take action against the Uchiha clan, he agreed to the task on the condition of your life. Kill Uchiha, defected from Konoha to join Akatsuki organization, everything he did was for two purposes. One is to protect you, and the other is to protect Konoha. Protect the Konoha? Sasuke inexplicably felt funny. What is there to protect this kind of Konoha? Actually, even if I didn't save you and come back, you wouldn't die there. Naruto looked at Shang Rin, as long as she feeds you blood in time, you wouldn't die either. Shang Lin blushed and said nothing. So, the real purpose of Uchiha Itachi giving me this eye is not to save you, but to take you away, Naruto said. Take me away? Sasuke looked puzzled. Yes, he was worried that you would be bewitched by Akatsuki and stand against Konoha. Naruto laughed. Then you. Sasuke was a little speechless. Although he was not taken away by the Akatsuki organization, he still stood on the opposite side of Konoha. 
obviously, I didn't keep the agreement with Itachi and got this eye. At this time, the crow on the shoulder screamed. With eyes fixed on Sasuke, Mangekyo Sharingan silently activated. But, Naruto still noticed this abrupt chakra fluctuation. He quickly pinched it with his hand, interrupting the release of the distinguished heavenly gods, and then sealed the crow's eyes with one hand. It's so dangerous, I was almost overwhelmed by Itachi. Naruto blushed. It turned out that Itachi didn't completely trust Naruto, but left a setting on the crow. Advertisement When the crow looks at Sasuke, distinguished heavenly gods will automatically activate and forcibly change his will. As long as Sasuke's will is changed in advance, even if Sasuke knows the truth later, he will not be able to hate Konoha. Sasuke looked at the crow in Naruto's hand and knew what happened in his heart. He wants to change my will? Uchiha Sasuke asked. Naruto handed the crow to Tuyuya who was beside him for safekeeping, nodded and said, Well, he wants to stop your hatred for Konoha forever. Sasuke couldn't figure out what made Mochibo Itachi so devoted to Konoha. For Konoha, he actually designed his own brother like this. BIBC, unable to understand, Sasuke shifted his eyes to Naruto. Then why do you want me to hate Konoha? Aren't you from Konoha too? I didn't want you to hate Konoha, I just thought you should know the truth, and I didn't want to waste a chance to use distinguished heavenly gods, Naruto said. Hearing Naruto's answer, Sasuke realized that Naruto's position has always been vague. Although he has been living in Konoha, he doesn't necessarily feel better about Konoha in his heart than himself. Who do you want to use distinguished heavenly gods on? Sasuke asked curiously. Haven't figured it out yet, maybe it's Otsutsuki Kagaya. Naruto didn't know if this ninjutsu would work for Kagaya, but if it did, it would save him one fight. Who is Otsutsuki Kagaya? Sasuke was puzzled. He also thought that Naruto was going to use this ninjutsu against Konoha high-ranking officials, or other important figures. Unexpectedly, he said a strange name. Sage of Six Paths Otsutsuki Yuya's mother, said Naruto. Mother of the Sage of Six Paths. The corner of Sasuke's mouth twitched, he thought Naruto was just joking. You don't want to say it. Sasuke pouted, advertisement. Naruto smiled slightly, but did not explain, anyway, no one believed the explanation. Who would have believed that the mother of the Sage of Six Paths, Otsutsuki Kagaya, would be resurrected in the near future? Among the high-ranking Konoha members who participated in the Uchiha genocide, Danzo was killed by me, and third generation died at the hands of Orochimaru. So if you want revenge on Konoha, you might as well start with the remaining two advisors who participated in the Uchiha genocide plan. They will appear in the Valley of the End in three days, and you can easily deal with them then. Of course, you can also verify whether what I said is true, lest I deceive you. Sasuke was silent for a moment, then said, a few questions. 1. Why did you help me take revenge on Konoha? 2. Why and when did you kill Danzo? 3. Why did those two people appear in the Valley of the End three days later? Naruto gave Sasuke a blank look. Are you why? But forget it, for the sake of Itachi's eye, I'll explain it to you again. 1. Why should I help you take revenge on Konoha? I don't want to tell you. Why and when did I kill Danzo? Forgot. 3. Why did those two people appear in the Valley of the End three days later? You will know when you go. B. Naruto's three answers made Sasuke inexplicably think of when Kakashi brought him to the roof of the teaching building to introduce himself. At that time, Naruto introduced himself nonsensically like this. A lot of words have been said, but Sasuke and the others still don't know anything about Naruto. Chapter 130 Eternal Mangekyo Akatsuki Organization Comes to You Previous chapter Next chapter Advertisement Although not understanding Naruto's behavior, Sasuke acknowledged Naruto's help. Thinking about not taking Naruto and his friends with him when he takes revenge on Konoha, Sasuke left with three subordinates. After Sasuke left, Kakashi was sent to Konoha Hospital for recuperation under the name of being injured by Sasuke. The next day, Naruto resumed training with TNTN. Two days later, Konoha Anbu found the bodies of the two advisors in the Valley of the End, as well as black flames all over the mountains and plains. Apparently Sasuke confirmed the facts from the mouths of the two advisors, and the build-up of anger made him turn on Mangekyo. And at the moment of knowing the news, the system was upbeat. Open black lens bracket ding. Your Mangekyo Sharingan feels the pressure from myopia, and evolves into an eternal Mangekyo. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket host no longer has to worry about overuse of Sharingan and becoming blind, congratulations. Close black lens bracket. Naruto. 
A year passed quietly, and the pen invasion did not come as expected. It seems that because of Naruto, the entire Akatsuki organization did not do anything earth-shattering. Until. On this day, Naruto was teaching Tianchen to train distinguished heavenly gods out of boredom. After practicing for a year, Tianchen has gradually mastered this ninjutsu. I have to say that Tianchen is indeed very talented in space. Every day, come again. Okay, Naruto-kun. Throw out a kanai that has already engraved the imprint of Flying Thunder God every day. Ku Wujan was stabbed on a tree in an instant, and Tian Tian also appeared beside that tree at the same time. It is indeed a preliminary grasp, if you can learn to quickly portray Flying Thunder God anywhere, it will definitely be very useful in actual combat. Good job, Tian Shin. next we will carry out before he finished speaking, Naruto suddenly felt a terrifying force coming towards him. Advertisement, Suzano. Naruto's eyes instantly become eternal Mangekio. the perfect Suzano is summoned to wrap the house. At the same time, the eight-foot mirror was summoned to stand in front of him. Crackling, Suzano of Naruto resisted the onslaught of terror and kept the hut. Naruto frowned, looked around at the destroyed environment. He knew it was pain. Cancel Suzano, after confirming that there is nothing wrong every day. Hai Shu, Shen Wei, Summoning Technique. Referring to Six Paths Pain, the animal path can summoning puppets. Naruto changed it, and at this time, some people who were marked by him can be summoned. Boom. A puff of smoke enveloped, and then several coughs sounded from the zero. Are you all right? Naruto asked the girls. Those who are marked by Naruto or his women, including Tsunade. Naruto? Was the mark you left on his back then used to summon us? Enko spoke in a dissatisfied tone. What if Naruto summons them at any time and they are dealing with some inconvenient business? For your safety. Naruto explained without changing his expression, he did not admit that he had other thoughts. Counting the people who left their marks, there are many. Master, the Akatsuki organization is attacking, and I want to go back to join the battle. At this time, Konoha cannot live without Hokage. Tsunade came to Naruto and said. The sons and daughters who have already known each other are not surprised by Tsunade's name. But even though they know Tsunade has another identity, they still treat Tsunade as Hokage. This is their literacy as ninjas. Respect Shadow, protect Shadow. Advertisement, Mr. Naruto, we also want to go to the battle together. Several girls also came to Naruto and said. Go to the ball, everyone is covered in dust, what kind of battle is fighting, I will go there. You all go back to the house and take a shower. The women are not willing, but they also know Naruto's character. Machismo does not let them take risks. Master. Tsunade still wanted to fight. Naruto looked at Tsunade who was in a mess, and looked at his own Tsunade with pleading eyes, hesitantly agreed to her request. As a Hokage, she really can't hide behind, otherwise she will be gossiped and may lose Hokage's position. If Tsunade loses Hokage's position, he has to support another puppet Hokage. It's really troublesome. Kurama, come together, their goal is you. Naruto said to Kurama who was lying flat. I don't want to go, I don't want to be captured by them to make some kind of weapon. Kurama refused. Do you think you're safe here? Naruto asked with a smile looking at Kurama. Kurama doesn't understand what Naruto means until it releases chakra to sense the surroundings. Only then did I realize that someone had already been squatting nearby, waiting for Naruto to leave to catch it. Kurama, who found the enemy, became violent instantly, and his whole body became extremely huge. Then facing the void in the distance as a tailed beast bomb. Boom. The huge explosion produced countless sandstorms, and a large crater appeared in the small forest where Konoha was saved by Naruto. I didn't expect you to discover such a deep place, Konoha's most surprising ninja, Uzumaki Naruto. Obito walked out of the huge pothole wearing a spiral mask. The accident here no longer refers to Naruto's funniness, but refers to Naruto's surprising power. I didn't expect to find you, but Kurama couldn't bear it anymore. Asking for flowers, Naruto originally wanted to attract the two to Konoha village, and then clean up together with pain. By the way, is that guy next to you still hiding in the ground? Advertisement, it's all exposed anyway, it's better to be frank. Hearing this, the black-white Zetsu who was hiding in the soil also knew that he had been exposed, so he didn't hide at all. I thought I could fool you. Ju said expressionlessly. He was not found because he appeared around Naruto many times, so confidently he thought that Naruto only found Obito. I just didn't bother to talk to you before, but now that you guys are calling me, I can't ignore you anymore. 
Naruto lit a cigarette, ready to start a fight. Black White Zetsu frowned, he didn't think that he never hid Naruto's perception from the beginning to the end. And the other party didn't find him out, it was entirely because he was not interested. Point zero. Obito saw Naruto smoking a cigarette in his right hand. He took out the flying thunder god Kanai in his left hand, and said, before we start fighting, let me answer a question. What question? Naruto asked with a sad look in his eyes. Why do you have Sharingan, your parents should be Namikaze Minato and Uzumaki Kashina. I checked the life experiences of Namikaze Minato and Uzumaki Kashina, and it is impossible for their ancestors to intermarry with the Uchiha clan. So, where the hell did your Sharingan come from? Naruto's Mangekyo Sharingan can be turned on and off at will, obviously not transplanted. Since it is not a transplant, it can only be genetic. But it is impossible for Naruto to inherit this kind of power. Obito is very puzzled. This matter is not important. I not only have Sharingan but also Tensigan. I believe you should know something about me this year, right? Absolutely visited his house frequently during this year, obviously looking for information on himself on the island this year. So I'm still curious. Dot why do you have eyes that rival Rinnegan's? Naruto was not interested in explaining. Looking into Obito's eyes, Mangekyo turned around. Not to be outdone, Obito turned on Mangekyo and looked at Naruto. Sukuyomi. Konoha Center, because of Tiandao Pain's super. Shenluo Tianjung has been turned into ruins. The civilians living in Konoha Center basically died, and although the stronger ninjas survived, they were also in a state of embarrassment. P.S. The state is very poor, and I feel that nothing is right. But it is impossible not to update it today, so I send out a chapter that has been revised several times. I saw the reminders from the bosses, and I will try my best to get back to the status tomorrow. Now my health is too bad, I can't stay up late, and I really have no inspiration for writing during the day, my head is big and heavy.